what is up party people all right so uh like i said i actually plan to do something a little bit more entertaining than this crap but uh i guess we are back at it again only in the sake of uh showing travis that he is insanely wrong and that it is disrespectful to act the way he is being so damn disingenuous um again i, I wasn't planning on doing this like this um how he could act like this was a big um a big uh mystery of how this was going to happen oh no you know how to how to get trapped on the panel no you knew it was going to happen travis you knew and um so what i wanted to do is i wanted to go over the live stream that we i had done um let me see let me find it i have it queued up already um, and basically go over what Travis believes we did on here. Um, the reason I say we is my friend Sean Smith is here. What's up, Sean? Not too much. Just uh, took a bite. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sean did not ask to be here. I asked him. I felt that the people that were on the panel that night um, should be here because, hey, we're owed an apology. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I, Sean here is, is the last person that's going to be planning, plotting to get someone on a panel, as am I, especially Travis, because um, all the interactions everyone got to hear about this happening. The difference is, is that you didn't expect it to actually happen. But the reality of it is, is your, your, your own observations, your own pictures, and the actual data that was should have been collected shows curvature and you're not happy about it i get it i get it so this is what we're going to do um i am going to find my 
find that stream real quick. I actually found it. And more importantly, I'm going to basically just make it, a, I'm going to sum this up real quick. I gave Travis the link. If he didn't want to show up and defend himself, that's fine. If not, I'm only going to do a couple things and then I'm going to skip this subject because, hey, the way I see it is just, he, he's debunking himself and his attitude is showing it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to give everyone who wasn't around a very, very quick summary of what the hell is going on. So, what was it, uh, three days ago? I told Travis, I was, go or let's, let's, get, let's back up a little bit. Two weeks ago, me and Travis started hanging out on these hangout panels and, you know, dude seemed pretty damn cool. Um, then, all of a sudden, uh, he comes at pretty much the panel with this one observation that is of the, uh, what is it, um, damn, the, Anacapa uh, Islands. An Thank you, sir. Anacapa Islands. And he says, look at these boats. Now, mind you, his claim had nothing to do with missing, uh, the, the missing island had nothing to do with the island in the background pretty much at all. His claim, Travis, which you wanted me to say on Jose's, but you had me all so damn irate, I didn't care to. Um, his claim was that the obstruction that was obstructing the boat, I'll go ahead and pull those up because I'm pretty sure everyone wants to see all of those again. And I want to remind everyone, every image we're using, except for the, uh, I'll show you guys, except for this one. Travis gave us this. Share it on my screen. I don't know where the lead up went. There it is. I know where it went. It's buried under your rage. <laughs> That's the thing. I, it's like confused. Like, this is part of that frustration that I'm going through with Flat Earth. Um, what's ended up happening, what ended up happening is that a lot of the people that I thought were very genuine on how they felt about Flat Earth and why, it's turning out the other way around, and it's pissing me off. Like, damn, like, how do you have a conversation for two weeks with someone who seems pretty damn cool, but then suddenly gets all butthurt because someone calls him out? I'm sorry. Um, Erebus is right. And I 100% agree. I think Travis Doctors is shit. That's just me. That's my opinion. No one else on my panel, because I have to now clarify that, because apparently if one person on the panel says something, they all mean, I don't know. <sighs> so, this is the image that started it all. Matter of fact, it's actually an upload. It's a video, which is why he kind of screws himself in this. Because if these were just photos right sean would you agree that that looks like a wave yep yeah okay well if you guys watch that the the, the the upload you'll see it's not a wave it's not a wave at all travis will say it's the ether band we'll go around in circles blah 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 here's the problem that obstruction, whether it be curvature or ether man, is blocking the boat. For all the Travis impaired. See this? There's boat in this area that we can't see. That means it's obstructed, Travis. So it's actually a little bit up above that. Well, yeah, it's not that deep. I get it. <laughs> but, but like I just I was, had to be an ass like that. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, but uh, in, in, in before we started talking about that island in that background right there, we had established in agreement a couple things. One, we had already agreed that the line I just put that you can't see, <laughs> this line... And about here 
are miraging. They're refract. They're they're refracting hard. Like you see it. It's very clear. Make a little bit. Uh, I don't need to make clear. Um, and because of that, it became a okay. What are we looking at? You watch the video. You realize there's no waves, no swells. Those aren't waves or swells at all. Matter of fact, that is so damn consistent. It's eerie when you're looking at this picture. Now the boat does a trolling pattern so basically it's in the direction it's going now it goes up and it comes right back down you know along the inside this uh the channel and that's how it that's what this boat's doing the whole time very slow it's not going fast so we know it's not it's not producing any real wake nothing so that's what it is so i mean in, we're all in agreement of this so far travis doesn't have any problem with what's been said he has no problem which is kind of the funny part Travis didn't have a problem, if I remember correctly, up until Erebus showed the missing part of that island. I don't think, I don't think Travis disagreed with anything about this that we said about the image, and vice versa. I mean, he no, was, it was basically no. the same. Didn't have an issue with it at all. Yeah, we both we all had the same observation, and we all saw the same things. Only difference between us and and, and uh, Travis was when he got down to this water line. And I kept telling him, what is that boat being obstructed by? And his famous answer, At the ether band. The problem with that was, is I would tell him, where is the refraction line in this body of water? There's not. When you watch the video, it's very clear. There is not at all. So, I, I start pressing. And I've been pressing for about a week now, two weeks. Um, Erebus comes out with... <clears throat> Erebus comes on this on the stream and shows us this. And that's when she hit the fan. As soon as Erebus showed us this. All shit went loose with fucking with Travis. He got super pissed. Started cussing a lot, being all ragey. Now, mind you, I'm going to say this very clear. Erebus was a fucking asshole to, to Travis. You guys have heard him. That's their relationship. That's how they treat each other. Difference is, it's my house. So, one of Travis's things is that I allowed Erebus to do so. I don't know about you guys. But I skimmed through. I only got like one or two clips, but we're going to end up watching most of the damn fucking stream if Travis shows up. Probably won't. He kept saying I was letting it happen. I counted ten times. I told Erebus to calm the fuck down. So, you, you put my character in question, Travis. Therefore, your character means jack all to me. Till this panel gets an apology... You're just as bad as chemo spurs, as far as I'm concerned. Um, because of this one photo and this one photo pretty much alone. Um, you could have came at it differently, but you got butthurt over it. Um, again, he wanted to say that in this image, Erebus doctored what was going on. Somehow this doesn't, isn't okay. Why? Because Erebus used this image. And I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but in this image, compared to this image, the island's a little different. But that's okay. Because if you really are looking into the truth, Travis, you will figure out what needs to get done and how it needs to get done to see what's happening. Or to see how Erebus even got to that point. Um, because I figured... Travis didn't trust Erebus for anything. I thought, hey, I'll just do it myself. Maybe Travis will understand where I'm coming from and see that it's not bullshit. So I did it myself. I used Erebus's, Erebus's uh, photo because he put that little graph thing in there. I don't even know why. Um, and I used this one. 
this flurry little bob right here. Now, this is actually one of the pictures that really gets under Travis's skin for some reason. Well, I know why. But here's the thing. Travis wanted to make it seem as if I was being disingenuous because I, I uh, stretched this image to contour to get the profiles to line up. Now, he thinks and somehow that that was wrong. I think I did a damn good job at it. All I have to do as someone who is trying to verify that mountain and the elevation and what's missing, all I need to do is line up those towers and the profile that I'm able to construct from stretching it. And I did. He didn't like it because, again, it shows he's wrong. Um, and because he's not showing, I'm going to basically put the nail in the coffin now because um, we could be talking about so much, something so much better and not with him not here. So, that, I mean, I'm sorry. That's just the kind of respect I would like to have upon me, so I do it myself. But this one right here is the one that got Travis all worked up. And this is why. Again, and I'm going to say this very clearly. This is, has nothing to do with right or wrong about curvature. Now, we're talking right or wrong to observation that he's putting out there. And if they're bullshit or not. Because this is why. This is, this is just so he understands. This is Erebus's claim. And I'm saying this for Erebus because I now understand exactly what I'm looking at. And I, and Erebus, let me know. Basically, this is it. If you look at this image right here, this, one, this nice little one right here, this first one, I want you to notice something. See the nice little towers, the, the lighthouse. Obviously, this is the mountain. But, I mean, we're miraging big time here. So we're not going to see exactly what we want. But... When you get to this one, if you match those up together, there's something very noticeable. And this is what Erebus was trying to say. This is what Sean was actually trying to save Travis from getting into. Those two uh, images, they're different. Now, that's not really that big of a deal. Unless you've been called out and your whole claim is I don't edit or manipulate my images. Because if I'm sorry... That image is manipulated. How do I know? Because that image. Oh, where'd it go? That image is this image. See these? See how these two match up perfectly? But these don't. When Travis gave us these photos, that picture was changed when given to us. Hmm. Yeah, well, seek and find. If you believe that we're lying about what we're showing, then you're just as bad. But I've already established that, so I'm not really too worried about you either. But that is the issue. What we're looking at right now is why this observation became what it is right now. Because Travis got caught. Now, Travis has already said, yep, that's his stuff. Well, if that's your stuff, Travis, and this is what you handed us, you gave us on um, the panel, ooh, I can see where he'd say that. Okay, look, check this out. So, Travis can't say he didn't. Let me show you. Oh, I got a message. He said, not a chance in hell. I wouldn't either if I were you, Travis. I mean, unless you're ready to man up. But so I'm going to go ahead and show this. I'm going to show the other ones. So Travis gave us these images. These are all what we're looking at right now. I'm going to take this off the screen so you guys can see it. All these damn proofs. God damn. There we go. Okay. So all these images Travis gave us, 
before or after that one panel. Oh, whoa, what's that? There you go. There's the image again. Travis gave us that image. So if he says different, he's lying. Let me go ahead and pop it up so you guys can see it again. That was before the panel, too. Yep, way before. That was, yep, it was earlier, way earlier than that. And this isn't even on the same day. This is Sunday. The panel was, I forget what day. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because guess what? These are all Travis's photos that we're using. Nothing was doctored. Nothing was manipulated like he keeps saying. Compressing and stretching isn't even that bad. It, it really helps in a situation of, you know, overlay. The problem is, is when you lie about it, Travis. That's, that's when the problem becomes the problem. Now, flat earthers, seek and find. I, that's the best part. I would rather seek and find come in here and, and try to. You got here late, but... Realization is you can find. I don't think there's flat earthers that can't go, hmm, this is an issue. So, yeah, you explained the obstruction. You explained the change in his, uh, his, his, from what was in the upload to what he gave us. Explain that. And then, so you can find, you can act like someone else is lying beside yourself. So, since I know Travis ain't going to show up, I think I've felt I've proved my case just enough that, you know, He's a fucking liar. And if you don't believe it, okay. Well, if reminded, you should probably listen to the stream I'm talking about. Listen to Jose's stream. And then you can go from there. I mean, that would be the, what, only honest way, right? To come to the conclusion of who's lying and who's not. At least I would think. But hey. I guess apparently I'm not a real truther, but you guys are. I have. But it's no all about idea. research. I think we. Uh, hmm? It's all about research, and uh, I think we uh, went over established that today earlier on Jose's. Yeah, and that's the thing. It it, it was literally Erebus stepping up, because again, we didn't see. That abstract we didn't even I, i'm pretty sure we thought it but no one said anything about that that island missing I, a lot of island no one brought it up it was always about that boat and the water line and then the miraging so once he did that I, I put my due diligence in and i went in i got elevations for everything i i did the i even did the curve calculator from his observation point it actually all adds up perfectly not and when i say perfectly i mean it's a damn globe people it's curvature it's obstruction there's no way around it there's no way you can say it's not obstruction that's the funny part what's up then how you doing sir i'm good sean how's things you for you uh, much better for me i mean i'm i'm here chill not bsing observations and trying to bs people into believing shit that i believe this is all out on the table and only one here to show for it is, is me, Sean, and you. <laughs> and Erebus. I see yeah, Erebus. I do have to wish that Travis would actually bring some information about where he's taking his photographs and stuff from, but no, that's too much trouble for him. And he wonders why his... One second, guys. Were uh, keep going. Keep, keep going. Yeah, no, no, I was saying, I'm just... I don't understand why Travis can't bring the data to back up his observations, considering he knows that they are going to be ripped apart as even more if he doesn't provide anything. Well, that, that's um, when we were going over this uh, the, that stream. Um, we actually have the location from where he was shooting. Um, you know, in in general general numbers uh compared to like uh, the height of the camera and stuff like that so it really, you know we we that's that's why we broke it down as far as we could yeah and his reaction to that is very telling 
Yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, I mean, I understand getting all, you know, getting very defensive, but attacking people for pointing stuff out or, uh, you know, giving information or something like that. At that point, you're just, you're just, you're just, um, you're just hurt. That's all it is. Yeah, well, again, like his reaction on uh, the follow-up on Jose's earlier today shows that he's just being butthurt against about the whole thing as opposed to actually looking for answers and wanting to know the truth. Well, and that was the thing I I tried to I tried to warn him. Look, don't go down this path. You've, you've already started it, but you know, just bow out gracefully. But you know, I just don't understand why he wouldn't listen. How many f- flat earthers have you seen bow out gracefully when put in the corner? Not many. Not many. I would say Aaron, but Aaron's not a flat earther. Had an emergency. I oh, took out half my kitchen just now. <laughs> Hello. What are you? What are you burning? No, no, no. My my dog. Like um. So you know you're you burning your, your trash dog can, and you have your like your um, your mops and stuff that like kind of sit between the the refrigerator. Yeah, he found the mop, so he grabbed it and took everything off the counter in one fell swoop. So it was great. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, probably scared the crap it. out of him too. No, he's a big dog. He don't care. <laughs> he doesn't at all. He ain't gonna give a crap at all. Hello, Sean. Hey, hey Sean. Did you hey, realize up, that girl? that? You, yeah, I'm good. You, you sound as if you're burning your dog. Oh, did I say it? Does it sound like that? <laughs> no, man, I don't do that. No. That's not how I roll. <laughs> no, someone asked, "What are you burning?" And then then you said, "Your dog." <laughs> Oh no no I I wouldn't do that never I I'd burn a human before I burn my dog. <laughs> What's yeah, up, Trey? Be a bit rough. The chat, my friend? How you doing, my friend? Hot second. I said burning your dog would be a bit rough. <laughs> Damn! Did he really just do that? It's gonna be one I of those did. days. <laughs> I just woke up. Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know the only the only minutes way- and. And just had to come in because I saw Travis on MC Toon, mm-hmm. and his double standards on that show were absolutely horrendous. Yeah, it's bad. Um, and this is what I've been talking about. If you're a flat earther and you're not questioning Travis's observations and what he's saying, it's a problem. I, like, I, it's, this is the thing. I don't care about what side you are on or what. Level. If you're my, my, my man Feynman, if you're wrong, if it's wrong, throw it out. Wrong. Period. Travis, you should have just said, damn, my observation sucked. I gotta throw it out and start over. Or the man's dead. One of the two, but regardless, this what he's doing right now is, is very bad. It's the same stuff that I was doing that I saw when uh it when Chemo Spurs is freaking going. This is how it works. This is how it works. You're, finds out he's wrong, and then acts like the the whole evidence of how he's wrong is it doesn't exist. I think more people should be seeing that, not talking shit like Ali B. Oh, and I think it was who was in the chat. Someone said. Someone told me about that. It was someone else in the chat that blocked me from Ali B's. It was on Ali B's request. Um, again, if they could fall in line behind the ether blanket all they want, the problem is, is that with evidence, with evidence that Travis actually agreed on, he, every, everything up until Erebus showed that picture, Travis was still on board for. Miraging, the water not being waves or swells, boat being they're part of the boat being obstructed like it was all good until everything went downhill and his observation didn't make any more sense and then once he got all asshole-ish that's when Erebus came up with the oh yeah by the way I've been noticing this is happening that's just you know that's not my problem that's his problem that's his 
his brain he has to stay with. You know, yeah, the, the, biggest, the, the biggest problem with uh, Travis is that he only fixated on the crippled, deformed images and footage. And then uh, presuppose that this what happens in all other pictures, but we don't see. Like when I show him the pictures of the, the freight, uh, the big ship passing behind the other big ship and there is clear weather and the other ship is half dipped into, into the water. He say, but you don't see the ether band. Well, he brought the idea of the ether band from his crippled images and now he wants to imply it or apply it to every other image. Hmm. And that was why right away I realized it, it, the ether band is nothing more than atmospheric conditions Without in its admitting, worst, huh? Say again. In its worst conditions. Yes. Yeah. And without detail, that's the problem. That's that was the biggest yeah. problem. It was okay. You, I mean, you. I don't care. He could have called it ether crybaby. I don't give a. F the thing is, is that whatever term you make, it still has to depict what you're talking about. And if it doesn't, and it needs more detail, it doesn't work. That that's that was his issue. He loves that word so damn much. It has to be. And then because he's a flat earther, he can't have curvature. So then that boat can't be obstructed by curvature. That's not a truther. That's not there for honest evidence and truth. That's bullshit. That's, that's a narrative. Well, it's, it's also the fact that it, it, it is all from the same exact spot, which, which is fine. Look, you can take all the pictures you want, but why is it that it only happens there because everybody else can get a better picture other places, you know, at different times. And, and why is it only happening there? I tried to explain it to him. Localized atmosphere. It, it, you know, it's it, the, the uh, location that he's shooting from. It's well known that, that there are many different effects going on there at any given time. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, um, I'm not sure what bay it was, but it was it was that video that was put out by um, a bunch of flat earthers just a couple of weeks ago, and they did a shot at 14 miles across a bay. I, I looked up the actual naval um, reconnaissance uh, survey they did of the area. The amount of atmospheric effects that happen on that bay are an anomaly. So in, in one section of about two miles, you'll get wind and haze going in one direction. In another two-mile section of it, you'll get updrafting. In another section, you'll get downdrafting. In another section, you'll be getting swirl drafting. In another section, you'll be getting demisting of the water. It's, it's just the, the amount of shit that happens on that 14-mile stretch of this bay, you mm -hmm. Even the Navy said they cannot get direct radar sightings. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing. And people will go, yeah, well, see, that's ether band. The issue is, is that obstruction in atmosphere, it, it kind of works differently. Um, the, whereas in the atmosphere, everything above the water is going to be different every day, all the time. It's probably mm. almost impossibly rare to have the same atmospheric effects every day almost impossible whereas in, in miraging oh, and, and miraging effects and whatnot i mean yeah and all that takes is a temperature differential hmm? it, to it, make that change it, yeah it's, it's and again this is something and i remember this is, I, I like i make this very clear for this reason the reason i like this whole respect only is because you can get the information you can get information you can put your two cents in and usually it doesn't become a shit show um it only really becomes that way when one person or when the side that is being shown to be wrong is wrong is the only time you usually see shit get hit the fan up here again I made sure I, I said something when Erebus was going on. Why? Because at the time, remember, Travis hadn't talked shit. Travis hadn't said I tricked him onto the panel. I was 
I was watching out for Travis. So that's how I know it's complete crap. Um, let me see. Let me see. Can't see who's here yet. All right, Aaron's here, and and some of you guys didn't want Aaron here, but I noticed something. I noticed it today on Jose's panel that I actually admire. No matter what Aaron is trying to do, no matter who he's trying to defend, Travis, <clears throat> he won't just bullface lie. Anyone else notice that? I did. Yep. Him, he'll he'll try not to turn away from it, but, but, he, but he's he's not gonna lie. He's not gonna give you a bullshit bullshit lie. Not only that, but Aaron likes to disprove fl flat Earth all the time. It's awesome. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he did it on Jose's. He did it a couple times. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the wonderful day that we coax that troll out of fucking Aaron, and he becomes one of the authorities. How about that? That'd be awesome. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be great because and, and, Aaron Aaron is intelligent and uh, he has a lot of knowledge. He just likes to troll. Part, yeah, and that's the thing because everyone in the chat, I guarantee they, because they're not hearing, we're on that lag. So in about two and a half seconds, I'm going to start hearing, are you out your mind? You're crazy. I, I don't know if people notice it. I know people on the panel have noticed it. He is smart. He just acts like an idiot. Stop it, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. How you doing, buddy? What's up, G? Are you mad at me? No, man. I mean, n none of this is uh, important enough to get mad at. You know what I mean? Did you see uh, my upload? Yeah, and I was on that panel, too, when all the... when whatever happened happened. However... Mm. I don't know if you remember, but I came in late. I was doing some other shit, and uh, yeah, yeah. I tried going like, "What's that line, Sean?" And but everyone's like, "No, no, no, shut." That's when Travis was like, "Shut up, Aaron." So, <laughs> I wasn't really following it. However, mm -hmm. you guys, you're kind of acting like Travis is selling something, and you got burned on a bad sale. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's a hundred percent what it is. I that's look not, at that is exactly you know, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, okay, here's it. Here's why, Tra or, or Aaron. Here's why. Because I was a flat earther that that kind of observations and bullshit were coming at. And I did believe it for a while. So, yeah, it rubs me the wrong way. <sighs> what if it traps? What, what, or, what or, is, damn, what I'm sorry. Sell? Aaron, what like, if all of a sudden you found out I had no clue about construction and I was pulling everything out my ass? Feel pretty fucked up, right? No, I'd be like, fair play, dude. You know a lot. About no, it. No, 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 no. What if I'm, what if I'm just it. reading it off of something? Maybe I don't know anything about construction. But to find Fair out I had no clue. I didn't base, but I didn't base any of what I do every day on our conversations, per okay. se. Well, see, that's the difference between me and a lot of people. And I'm not saying you're, none of you guys are like this, but this is me. This So you understand this. Understand this right now. I consider you guys friends. I consider people in the chat friends. There are certain people in there that I don't. But there are certain people, like you guys, I, I, I'm able to do my streams. I'm able to do it for three, four hours because I'm not talking to an avatar. I'm talking to people I know. I know I don't know you guys like that, but I know you, I know you here. What's the Dude, difference between funny, this, Sean, us meeting up at a fucking bar and bullshitting every weekend from someone you just know at work? Dude, you're fucked right? up. I was just thinking that today. I was like, you know what? After that seven hours of Jose's this morning. I was like, I'll bet you all of us, like, if we weren't on mobile devices or, or virtual devices, if we were just at a pub talking the same shit, it would go the same way. Nobody would throw punches. We'd just be arguing the shit out of all this stuff face to face. Yeah, right? well, what would happen is, is all the trolling and all the, um, the keyboard warring, it would stop instantly. Instantly stop. How do I know? Because if you listen to, well, look at the chats and you listen to the panels, and then you go to a meetup, and there's like a couple Globers there, nothing ever happens. No shit talking. It's actually I, every time I've ever heard of it, um, the, the Globers and or flat earthers that were there, like the odd men out, enjoyed the shit out of themselves. So yeah, all I'd love to stuff. sit down at a fucking you know a picnic. With all you guys, right? We'd have our picnic tables lined up. Y'all on one side. Why do you got to be a picnic? 
Why is he picked a Garen? I said a bar. I was like at a bar, and he's like, we have a picnic. <laughs> gonna bring some right, pie, some iced kegger. tea. Right. Yeah, we'll go I, to a kegger. I ain't gonna lie, I go to your picnic, Aaron. There's better be beer there. <laughs> nah, he's like gonna bring tea? wine and cheese and crackers. You can see, Davos is loving it, man. He's already. He's I already... do that when I'm trying to get a girl. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> how, well, how, how well? How well is that working out for you? Ooh. Um. I, I have five children. Oh, um, shit, he won. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, he just bitch slapped you with extra sperm. <laughs> <laughs> but back to serious and things. Aaron, I need to ask you a question. And it's not about Travis lying or it, but it's, I don't care about that anymore. I know. My question is it was I being disrespectful or. Allowing Erebus to go ramp to go ape shit on on Travis on Travis that day. No, no, no. I think it's perfectly fine because the only one winning out of this is Travis. He's going to perfect what his passion is, his hobby now. Well, I hope if he's going to perfect it, then he starts perfecting it with understanding of obstruction. Sure. Hey, that's I, how I we can't, all get better. There's right? no if, photographer if on Earth who's going to make it and make it. Or it'd be any kind of good if they can give a crap less about understanding what they're, sh they're shooting. I'm sorry. That's Travis admitted this morning that, look, when he was taking those Anacapa shots, that was like mm -hmm. the first time, you know, he'd ever done it. He, he's not a professional. That's, that's However, fine. He, he, that's fine. He should have been like that that day. Again, it wasn't like I was letting Erebus go ape shit on him. It, that's bullshit if he... he Keep spouting Erebus that comes across like that, though. Erebus is an across. asshole, but that's why I was helping. Yeah. That's why every time you do it, and a couple times when I felt like he was going to do it, I, I jumped in. Sean, so, let's say I cut grade. I cut some grade, and you come up and you're like, <laughs> "What the fuck is that?" Right? You know, I'm and you just start the fuck out. Uh, tearing <laughs> apart, tearing apart my dirt work, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, I'd be, at first, I'd just be like, fuck off, dude. Right? Aaron, kind Aaron, of like Travis. Aaron, you, know? Aaron, you have an excavator. If someone asks you to dig a hundred foot of trench, and you know your trench ain't straight, and someone comes along and says, your trench ain't straight, you're going you're gonna gonna to treat him like in. shit? I'm gonna, yeah. No, no, but you're going to treat him like shit, or are you going to figure it out? No, I'm going to fill it back in and say, dig it yourself. But there you go. But if you know, <laughs> yeah, but if you know your trench ain't straight... Then what? You gonna you're gonna go home, drink like ten beers, and go, fuck. No, what I would do is surround myself with excellent trench diggers, and learn how they do it. That's what ah, I do. yeah, ah, hey, that's even better. Yeah, that's surrounding yourself with what's called oh, that's authority. Even, yeah, that's even better thing because I know exactly where I. You can't deny this. When you go to a job site, and we call them old timers. Is he's on a machine, or you're on a machine, and he says, hey, do this, this, or this, try this. What do you do? You listen, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. now. Not, well, not yeah, when yeah. we started out. Oh, no. We knew everything then. <laughs> but good operators don't become good operators without good operators. Mm -hmm. Same thing for photography, all those other fun things. I don't know crap about photography, so I'm telling you the truth. I I don't know where to even start on, on his. I know enough that I know well, resolution is is what you want. <laughs> yeah, sure. A clear image would be well, nice, and Travis is getting there. Uh, he's taking, from what I've seen, better and better. Just well, slowing down his panning. You know, he, he before he's panning all over the place. Okay, but all okay, wild. this is what he's but, doing though. He, uh, and then, okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Digital. I'm sorry because I he, I know I'm doing yeah, that. He he doesn't know what he's looking at, and that's the issue. But how do you? But listen. I don't. Was, yeah, you, I don't you, think he. You, no, no. You know, we found that. You know, we found the rest of that mountain or the rest of that island. I honestly don't think Travis thought about it or knew that that was happening. I don't think he did at all. To tell you the truth. Yeah, that's where I'm basing this this comment on is the fact that you show him something directly and he's not grasping the concept of what you're showing him. 
your, uh, your like, guys' little overlay there was not from the same elevation, same distance, same height, same camera, same zoom factor, right? So I understand what you were doing, what Erebus was doing, was was trying to do the blink test and say, oh, shit, here, you know, fuck, fuck, you lied, Travis. H however, they're two totally different shots from two totally different... Everything's different. So that's where when Erebus wants to call Travis a liar... Um, that Travis is like, fuck off. And, and, you're, and you're, you're Travis like, had you every reason. You are my photo. Travis right? had every reason, every reason to blow up at Erebus the way he did. Every reason. I don't fault him in that. That's not my issue at all because I would have done the same thing if not worse. My issue is, is that he went on his live stream and said I tricked him to come on this panel. Yeah, that was a emotional response. I was yeah, there. but he said the same exact thing today. Mm -hmm. Same the same uh -huh. exact thing today. He said he made it out like I set him up for that. Problem uh, is, it, it is I have been seemed like, right? okay, it but kind of seemed okay, like it from here's his problem. point of view. I no, but here's the problem with that. For days, two weeks, I had been telling him I was going to do it. I told him I was going to show him how his ether band did not make sense. I told him that's obstruction. So am I an asshole for providing evidence and data for my claim and sh that which shows his claim is wrong? That's wrong? How's that wrong of me? Whenever, whenever you go into... Isn't that what this discussion is about? I'm right, sorry. Whenever you go into oh, there, there is a thing called fair play to the mm -hmm. death, but fair play, M mm -hmm. meaning... Meaning I don't show up and then have a gang behind me to kick your ass, right? We'll, you and me will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, the um, best part was is that there was, I think there was, what, four of us? Five five at tops of us, and you were one of them. It, between me and Erebus, we were the only ones engaging with Travis. Sean, I think Sean, was, I know Sean was there, but he was engaging. You were trying to, but... When you're talking about who was in this discussion, who Travis would be talking about, well, apparently Sean's involved too now because <laughs> Travis thinks he's part of it. Uh, I thought it was just me and Travis or me and Erebus. But when Travis is thinking it's going to be you and him. That, that's kind of no, what he didn't. Was. No, he didn't. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember nope. when you put up the the uh, screen page, you know, coming well, live. In Guess minutes. what, Aaron? The Travis only, called me. Okay. He was like, dude, look at that yeah, badass. Now check this cool. out. Like I said, I didn't give myself enough time to do clips. Never on Jose's, I told him. But the only clip I got was the one me saying what was going to happen, why we were here. And he wasn't even on the panel yet. He got on the panel, and I literally said, and I quote, Hope this doesn't affect our relationship, but I'm going to show you how the ether band is not reality. Mm -hmm. That was because I had you, gotten you the picture that, from, though. that's Erebus because I had did. gotten the picture from Erebus doing the yeah. overlay. Now, you brought the big bully dick behind you to fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, well, guess what? And I even said this for two weeks. You, Aaron, Sean, Digital, Pro, I was here a couple times, they and them. B-Ball has been here. Guess what? Not one of us said, hey, where's the rest of that fucking island? None of us did. Erebus did. So why wouldn't I? This is my platform. Why wouldn't I present it? What? Why? How is it wrong that no, I no, presented you, it? You, you presented. You, yeah, it's your platform. But the in only Travis's, thing from Travis's, Travis's is, point of view, it wasn't fair play. It's like you let another man in the cage when it was supposed to be used. Um, yeah, but here's the, here's Every, the problem, Aaron. Here's the problem. We, when when Sean was uh, brought up the pictures and everything, he said, I'm, you know, I'm waiting on Erebus. He's busy. All I can do is just show the pictures and, you know, sh tell you what I see in it. And then when Erebus came in, Erebus showed exactly what he did. He explained it. And, you know, whether or not he engaged um, Travis correctly or not, that's you know that's not sean doing it yeah that's what i'm saying it too. was yeah, yes yeah Travis yeah but here's the problem it, it's sean's platform 
and when even even when Erebus was showing him this stuff, Travis didn't have a problem with it all the way up until the island was missing. Part of the island. I think it was more of the attitude. They're, they're, no, they're, no, 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 no. Because no, Erebus yeah. and him were on in agreement all the way up through right up until part of that island was missing. Yeah, and we show and he put the he showed the overlay or he went over the overlay and then once he knew once Travis knew that we had said there was curve there was missing and I showed those my topos that I was going to start doing second I did that he started getting him and Erebus start going back and forth he didn't even come at me he hadn't didn't come at me that whole night it wasn't did you that put night. the um did did you put the overlays in cuz I thought the overlays were the ones that I did where I um made them transparent did you, did you did, guys do you, overlays as well yeah we did them as well yeah I'll, i have them up to I'll, I'll share them so so i've missed some of this drama so i had a, a couple of questions yeah, oh, on yeah, it do we know where yeah, it was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you're going to talk to me, and I, obviously I've been working, so I haven't had a chance. And obviously mm. I've been chatting to Travis. So, so, so where did the sort of difference of opinion come from? Um, sort of um, where did that start? Okay, so uh, yeah, perfect. We from everything from uh. up until this image, we mm. were on agreements with everything. I'm talking. I mean, you had this conversation, so you'll be able to t to say if we're right or wrong. He uh, he agreed with. Um, he agreed that. You know, we did the mirage lines. We found the mirage lines. Ah, so you did the overlay as well, because that's not my overlay, is it? No, no, this no. no. Is, uh... So this one right here is Erebus's. Erebus, he just yep. came in. Um, this one is mine. I did this one um, after all everything went down. Let me go. I gotta find it again. I'll bring it up. I, I mean, Tody, I have so many pictures of Anacapa yeah. Island, like I uh, doing uh, other projects. I know, now. I know, like like, like, like me. So, so this just, is... just to get it in context, because I don't know the context, mm -hmm. uh, was there an actual spat, or was it just with comments and people going back and forth? Okay. Was there actually uh, this a, is this a is exactly what I saw. Yeah, this is just like we're doing right now. Um, this is what it is. Erebus here, our buddy Erebus. Hi, Erebus. Say hi. Oh. Erebus, Travis hates you terribly. Yeah, so, Tody, so... Travis and, and Erebus, they hate mm. each other. They hate each other with a passion. So mm. oh, already, oh yeah, before this right. ever okay, happened. Okay, yeah, pre-existing. Okay, yeah. Right. So um, obviously they didn't mesh. But the problem was, is I I wanted Erebus here, and I mean I want Erebus here anyway. Period. But Erebus had to be here because he's the one who found that overlay. You were just, or he's the one who did the overlay that you saw first. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. This one is mine. Um, and I think I'm trying to find the one you did in the file. Because I did a few, didn't I, as well? I don't know. Um, I don't think I, I don't shared know them what we have. Out, but you probably clipped them. Yeah, which is fine. So, so before we actually get into what you guys thought you saw, I'll tell you what I thought I saw because probably we'd not, you know what I mean? It's been a week. I spoke to Travis, but I probably never shared with you guys or was on a hangout where I said what happened from my point of view. Well, what no, I saw was I, this. I listened to, this. I listened to it. I Did you? Okay, so, so so I'll recap for everyone else. This boat, so I'll give my view now, and also I've considered it as well, of course, looked at it. This boat um, does appear to show probably curvature, right? It's very clear, very clear and clean, this boat, is what I, I believe. Yeah, very clear and clean boat. I couldn't easily see uh, any miraging in the pictures that I analysed. This one, I think you might see some, yeah, but in the picture that I analysed, mm -hmm. it looked like some things on the deck, so I wasn't seeing any mirroring there. And it was very odd that... Oh, out from the island, and obviously the island was, uh, there was a mirage definitely and, you know, distorted and you could just about make out the lighthouse, but something was definitely going with the island. Mm. And it was very interesting that that didn't seem to be affecting the boat. And then suddenly as the boat started to get near to the island, um, you know, it looked like it ran into a zone of whatever, something that suddenly affected it. Yeah. So that's mm. what I saw and that's why I was interested. And you listened to the Hangout anyway, Sean, so you know, know, know what I said, where I was coming from. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it I looks like you've found some reflection on that one. Yeah, yeah some this, miraging potentially. I believe this may have been the picture or this area, the time where I was listening to you guys talk because um, I, I was, I mean, I was listening. I, I was 100% agreeing. It was. But if that's happening, it's on two levels then as well. If it is, oh, I think yeah, that yeah, image, I agree with you. It looks like it is. It, on the image right. I looked at, it looked really clean. Yeah, but it right looks like there's two levels now. there, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's right definitely where my exactly, is. There's, exactly, exactly. And there's one there, right here. and then there's one further up, exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, and, and I was we were... discussing with mm -hmm. yeah. God. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I've been doing. So that I was lot. discussing <laughs> with Travis the fact that it was interesting that there's two 
the effect happens at two different um, places, essentially. Yeah, why, why should that be, right? Why should one thing that's maybe a bit further away mirror at one point and then one closer at another? Um, uh, so what was the thing about the water and taking it on the beach, Erebus? What was the whole... Um, um, what, was, what was that about? Because I don't want to misquote anyone because I, I haven't actually heard any of the, the difference of opinion. Was it about where F Travis took Erebus. the picture from? Or? This is Erebus's fault. Erebus, it's your fault. Me and Travis are friends. <laughs> Fucking like seriously, I was telling. I'm, oh yeah, that's my own issue. Go ahead, Erebus. Well, no, whenever I didn't we know Erebus screen... and Travis were friends. Were, were oh, you no, guys were they, friends? No, no, no. They oh, hate no, each no. other. No, no, they're not friends at all. Oh, me okay. and Travis so I were you cool. Just said they were friends. Okay. We were cool prior to this. My that stream or his stream. Yeah, I guess. What yeah. I just think it's ironic that I pull in here to Galveston, and there's one of those exact same like the trawlers. The exact same model is in front of me. It's going, it's literally going across the water. I'm looking right at it. It's hilarious. You got your camera? Is it, I can tell is it you over the curve? In, in Take a picture. Minutes, I can tell you what kind of boat that is. And, well, I'll be within one of 25 other models because I did find the day or the three days that Travis gave me in that, cha in that channel. Well, find a vessel all that stuff that's why i asked him for the dates um i do know there's it's like 20 different like a, of those type of boats that it could be problem is is like 14 of them are different sizes so to pinpoint it i, I gotta do the little the rabbit in the hole in the middle of the night thing where i'm just like zoned in i didn't have time right now so that's why i didn't bring it so are you guys boats saying have registration on this photo, on this photo um, are you guys saying that with the mouth or the lip of that island there, where it comes down towards the boat, there is a, a, obvious, a miraging effect? Are you yeah, I mean that, that island extends um, the water so, extends to that, or or, or so, not? So, so that I... whole island changes shape across a number of different photos, right? That island doesn't yes. even look like that. There's actually a funny like outcrop of a rock further below and there's a cavern and there's a hole and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so just, much yeah, is missing. He's there. seen it. Yeah. Um, I'm it doesn't look, to, it, yeah, it doesn't even this look right like here. that. Here you go. This is a, that's yeah, so yeah, why yeah, you're talking yeah. about it. The cove, the, the uh, bridge looking rock thing. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. That kind of archway or whatever you call it. Yeah, exactly. They're those, those pieces. Yeah. Now, and there's like, that kind of old man crouching down sort of in between, isn't there? Like that figure that's like, yeah, that's it, that figure. Yeah. yeah. Um, How far away do you think that picture was taken, Cody? This isn't very far at all. That this looks one, like less than I a think mile. it's quite close. Yeah, I reckon yeah. that's in a boat. Because I was trying to look at the angles, by the way. The, the, the trouble there with the pictures the is, too. Right? I mean, the, we, we don't have uh, the qualities <clears throat> from, from that distance where Travis is taking, unfortunately. You know, that, uh, Rumpus is right. That, that, yeah, they're not quite as good as we would like them to be, is the problem. Right, and I think we all agree that you know, but they are interesting, right? And the way that boat comes in is interesting. So, so Tody, um, from this point of view, if we backed up another 19 miles, mm -hmm. I, this is hypothetical. But what what would we expect to see of that on on a flat, okay, on a flat surface? Uh, what would you expect to see when we're talking? And, and Rumpus isn't here, so he can't do the math for us. But like, how big do we think that archway? And that uh, that other black rock, wait, the wait. middle finger sticking up. Wait, wait. You like mean should we see the them? elevation? How, how I can have the elevations right there, be? asshole. <laughs> Aaron, it's right there. I have the numbers. I I did all that already. No, but and when you plug them in, uh, sure. if you backed up nineteen miles. Yeah, yeah. What, what, he's what, trying to what, extrapolate what? from that picture. You should what you is, should still see the entire thing if you move back 19 miles it's flat earth. If it's flat. Yeah, it'll just flat. shrink yeah. uniformly. Yeah, it should just so get smaller. You can see, yeah. Matter you of fact, can see 19 miles, Sean. I would say this would be... It you, is, you can uh, see so a three-meter... Three I, meter... I would say this is what you should see on a flat earth on a regular basis. And it's weird that I'm, I'm even thinking this way, but this is what you would think... I would think I would see if I'm looking at a uh, refraction on a flat earth. Can you put your perspective grid back up on there? That wasn't his. What is perspective going to do to this picture that you can't already see? It's going to reduce it uh, into 
Yeah. How, how is it going to do that, Aaron? Is it going to do that proportionately or from the bottom? Is it going to do it proportionately or just from the bottom? Perspective. Dude, this seems like something I well, think would happen on a flatter. What do you mean? Proportionally, if, if let's say, but, but those those I mean, those layer two. outcrops and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's just the a whole shit thing photo. Will just get smaller. Right? The whole <laughs> thing will get smaller. Like you can't see all. a penny. You can't see a penny across a football field. You know what I mean? With uh, with tools, you can. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Now let's oh, how about Aaron? how about a hundred football fields? With tools, Aaron, you can. Just no. Yep, just get a bigger telescope. Uh, Travis wasn't even aiming any really. He was aiming very, very high when he took that photo. He was taking the uh, when he was yeah, doing the I video. Wasn't there. It does. It does seem like there's more sky than uh, water. Yeah. But that was why you did this one. Yeah, that's why I did the original perspective because that is yeah, where that. Red shows where his camera was aiming. Wait. Um, so, so what did you think he did? Can, can I just ask Garibus, oh, just yeah, to clear yeah, it up yeah, for yeah, all, yeah, for right. the audience and, and, and for me, and I just want to ask the question. By the way, when I'm saying something, there's no leading question here because I don't know what the, all the drama's about, so I'm just trying to dig into it. What was it you think he did, or if you did think that he did anything, Erebus? Did you think that he took the photo from oh. higher up or something or not? Because I, I don't know. I've heard no. different things. The, 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 uh, the point of contention, contention and mm. isn't the uh, that he did anything during the during the filming of his of his observation, he could he could have been right on the on the on the beach. I believe he actually shows himself on the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, fine, that wasn't even a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so that what ended up happening when he decided to utilize a bit of deception was the crop mm -hmm. uh, still that he presented to Sean. Mm -hmm. The weird uh, Mario Cloud, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really match anything. Oh, that's what it's all about. Right, well, which no, is that? Could I, could, uh, which one is that? It's coming right now. It's the super blurry one that he 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 wanted us so badly to get off of what we were talking about that he he needed to have this. We need to look at this because for some reason. That was just yeah. So, so I think this one, and I did look at it with him, was about I don't know whatever two three minutes after he'd done another one, which was a bit blurry, and it kind of changed, and he kind of zooms away and he goes back to it, right? And it's right. kind of like changed. I'm not sure we can tell much from it. it. Just looks like to me a set of clouds. I mean, I can see there is obviously right. the, um, the what do you call it, the the, the lighthouse there, obviously because I know it's a lighthouse. But if I was just looking at this, I'd just say it's some dark clouds at sea. Do you know what I mean? That's right. what I would say. That wasn't even a, that wasn't even a question either. Um, I knew it was a part of the. I knew it was supposed to be a part of the uh, the very the tip top yeah. of the of the island. But if you look at it, the distances between the uh, towers mm -hmm. is wrong. It's too narrow. It looks it looked it looked uh, compressed from left to right. And I, oh, I hang on. Are those two pictures put together. Oh, the two put put together. I was about to say there's not two towers there. Okay. No, yeah. no, but that was to compare to show you where. Yeah, I they're too close. I, I asked about that, and I think that either well, one of two things happened. Either it's actually smudging the um, the tower sideways, right? Do you see what I mean? It's because they are too close together. I agree with you. They're not that close together, are they? If you look at the and you can e tell by even the, lines, the other distorted like pictures. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just. I don't know. They are very let's close say, together, aren't they? Let's say, for instance, yep. in Travis's um, ignorance asked, of how to, how to how to drop to photos quick. and cut photos, let's say he did accidentally compress that um, horizontally somehow. Said, for, for what reason? But here's the thing: what's the reason? What, what, what what's he trying to prove in your mind by by doing that? If he did, that? Aaron, we don't. Aaron, know. that's that's kind of it. It, it, it. That's kind of it. If he accidentally did it. He could have just said it. I accidentally did it, or I didn't know if I did it. No, he did it. But yeah. rather, but rather than do that, he wanted to fight. I and know you know what? Fight. And and look, it, it could be it could be the program. It could be anything. He sure. was given multiple outs on it, where he could have said, "I don't know." It could have compressed on this. It could have compressed on that. Okay, let's but say he didn't. So, let's just say hypothetically that he he did concede and be like, dude, somehow it got compressed. Now, let's what's see. your point? 
See, now, this is the then we would be like, oh, thing. yeah, cool. Yeah, no problem. The, the, what Sean had said earlier is, is this right here, and I'm seeing it again. He doesn't, I don't, if he did it, I don't even know if he knows he did it and, can, and knows why it would have happened or how it so, happened. So I'm going to look at my snapshots in a sec because I mm -hmm. think I've got this and I think it looks like this. And I'm going to go and check myself, oh, yeah, right? Because I, I certainly I, haven't huh? compressed it. No, I have. Yeah. Uh, did, did you check the original? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. the Skype. Uh, right here. And what does it look like on the original? It's, what yeah, does the original right there. show I, you? Yeah, that's it right there. I showed everyone already. Um, I can show you that. All right, so it isn't actually compressed then. Okay, it's not compressed then. Is that right? Okay. Is my Skype working? I'll go and check my images in a sec as well. But uh, all, all I mean is this, right? It, it, it is hard, guys, on these things when, you know, you're presenting stuff and you feel like you're under attack and, you know, there's a lot of images and stuff. I'm sure mm -hmm. Travis is a bit prickly. Right, we're all a bit, you know. That was the thing. It was like the. I mean, I didn't hear it. Same, but, it know, was the same imagine. atmosphere as it's been for the past mm. couple of weeks. Because he's been on like almost mm. every night uh, for the past couple of weeks. Mm. Same people. The uh, the only difference, totally on everything. The only difference is that he was shown that there was that it was obstruction due to curvature, and there was a lot of missing island. The second that happened, and Erebus presented the rest of the stuff. That, he was off the races by that point. He didn't care what anybody was saying. Mm. Oh, Sean! Up until then, the... we were in agreement with all the refraction that we were, all the miraging we were seeing. Mm. We were in agreement because you know he, you're looking at Sean, a video wasn't... picture. So that I, I even said out the, the gate photo. that looks like a it looks like a wave or even a swell. But when you watch mm. the videos, when you see that that's not happening like that, he, he wasn't agreeing to it at all. Photo, right? He, he was huh? defending his character in his mind. Again, again, that's fine. Uh, yes, then why did he come at me? Himself. That's what I'm. Hey, that's my issue. Well, he had to pick on. Somebody. Did he come at you, Sean? Well, okay, how did yeah, he come at you? Um, uh, how, that how, night, or how did he, come he, at you? he he left after him and Erebus got into it, after Erebus mm. called him a liar, mm. and so about an hour later, oh, I go right. to his stream and I say, "What's up?" Mm. And he goes, "You tricked me to get on your panel, manipulated mm. photos." He, he mm. literally blamed me for what happened, like as mm. if I planned it, and that's not how I roll. And I don't, I make yeah. that very clear. And he should know that. And at that point, yeah, came at my character. So, so I guess here's my view of it, and it doesn't mean it's mm. right, but here's my view. Um, I think Travis is one of the good guys because I think he genuinely is trying to search for. I think he's mistaken in his search, but I like Travis, and he's not a mm. he's not a bad guy, right? Okay. And I think when you're, I had it when I was presenting that Egyptian stuff, right? And uh, that guy was attacking me, right? You, you know, when we present stuff, we're all a little bit, you know, sometimes a little bit sensitive. You know? <laughs> just, and that happens. It, it, small yeah, and little, by the way, that, not just... that was the asshole Aaron that's here. <laughs> all right, that idiot, right? Okay. But he was drunk at the time, yeah. All right, now I know exactly who Aaron is. My goodness. And I was actually thinking Aaron was all right the other day. Right, okay, right, yeah. See, oh, troll Aaron. Goodness. No one likes troll Aaron, yeah. but they like right, not troll Aaron. Well, he's not as drunk as he was that night. Anyway, so the, 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 yeah, we had a decent conversation with Aaron last night, actually, me and uh, Bonnie, right? It was oh, right. See, everyone's uh, outing you, Aaron. Everyone, everyone knows. So <laughs> we prefer one version than the other. Look, the, 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 the point is this, right? Everyone can get touchy about stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think of all the flood earthers we engage with, Travis, which is why I spend time with him, is actually, you know, not bad, right? He's not deliberately lying. I don't think he's trying to manipulate that's, photos. I think he, what, he may make mistakes. We all do, right? That's okay. what I said. That's what I was saying in the, you know, before but, you know, all this happened. But like I said, he, he came at me. Of I, course, I, and he shouldn't have done that. And I'm sure he may regret it. And I'm sure there can be bridges built, right? Because all I'm saying is we shouldn't throw him to the wolves because of all the flood earthers we talk to, Travis is one of the quotes good guys. But certainly, okay. we can talk to him. Cody, and he's, Cody. Um, no, it doesn't on, change. Hang on, Aaron. So, Aaron. so hang on. The, yeah. the one thing I'd would defend really Travis tough. on. Hang on. The one thing I would defend him on Erebus is he doesn't change his story week to week. As certain other people, Anthony and others who I do talk to, you know, they change their thing. Travis, if he doesn't know, he says, mm, "I don't know about whatever it is." Right. So you know, he's he's, he's not totally bad. Right. Here's Actually, one. Cody, uh, uh, he got put up earlier yeah. today. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Okay, and I haven't heard that. I need you to see, hang on, hang on, Tony. You need to see where I'm coming from in this because that's it's different from everyone else. Yeah, I, I have a little thing in my in my head that goes, are they lying <laughs> or are they not? Why? Because I, I fed that shit. I was fed that shit for a minute, and I and I actually took it. So yeah, it, it 
when I find out someone's pushing something, like a chemo spurs, I'm not saying Travis did that. I'm not at all. I'm just making the example. When I found out, like, when I ended up being around chemo, chemo was mainly the reason I left Flat Earth. I realized how full of shit it was. But Travis, I didn't see that way. But you know what's cool, Sean? Once something happens and, he gets real, and someone gets, like, real defensive and flighty, like, they're not seeing what's obvious... It, it it throws bells in my head. I'm not going to lie. No bullshit. That's what it is, nobody really. Talks. Nope. And What's when cool he came at me like he did, it, it verified it almost. So, but, yeah, there's Sean, a but Sean Smith said something earlier that really hit that I've been thinking the whole time. What if he doesn't fucking know he's doing these things? What if he doesn't realize that whatever he put his camera on needed to be exactly to be using different f different days like that? Or what if he didn't realize that it was windy and that chair rocked a little bit and it made everything all blurry and it couldn't like he may not have known these things he said that this morning but see he that's didn't totally say that possible he, as well but see he didn't say it like that at all he says it sounds like uh like they're saying like a defense mechanism when he does it not a this is where i'm at in my level of, of doing this he's no he, no, no. He, he said that this was one of the first videos that uh, okay he had but he, what did he, and I guarantee remember, you, but he didn't it, say that on any of the streams he was on presenting this stuff. He it never walked back so, in his plane. It was in defense because, oh, what, Rumpus was on there, Barney, Big Blue. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I wasn't there for that. This I wasn't morning, there for that. Right? So, yeah, I wasn't he said there. it in a defensive tone. Right? I was uh, You were there. So, Aaron, we're talking about so, my panel. Don't worry about Jose's so, my panel right now. Yeah. So, so just, mm -hmm. just to make a point, Travis does the rounds. Okay, this is my perception of it. Doesn't mean it's right, but it's my perception. Travis does the round because he wants to engage with us and have the dialogue because he wants to try and improve and learn stuff. And, and you know, he, he likes the debate, right? He does like the debate. Mm, yep. But he's coming on shows where there are normally, hang on a sec, Sean, six or seven strong <laughs> people. And you know what we're like. It's relentless. By the time one of us has spoken, someone else has thought of a new point, and we hit, mm -hmm. hit, hit, hit. And we do that all the time. And I recognize right. it because I re-listened. Because Travis said, oh, there was this bad fact, show. And I went out. back to listen to it. And I listened to your show, Sean. Right? Mm -hmm. I listened mm -hmm. to it. And you guys were a little bit mocking of him. And you were hitting him. Right? Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that was wrong. No, yeah, no, no. But it was yeah, just... We were. By hitting, I, I mean, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. Oh, yeah, yeah. A point, yeah? Definitely. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's very hard if you've not thought it through yourself, if you're Travis and you've got your evidence to kind of counter all these things. Oh. And, and so all yep. I'm saying is it, it is hard when you're one against many, right? And oh, so you I probably are going to get pretty I, defensive. I used to do yeah. it all the time. I, I know exactly what it is. But the thing is, is that the way I run my, my panel, uh, one thing I can say is, is, for instance, me and Seek and Find in the chat, we don't get along anymore. Like, I'm sick of his one question he thinks i'm a pseudo war, army so whatever blah blah blah. but i guarantee you he'll never tell you that i've been disrespectful to him we go back and forth but i'm not an i don't just go out of my way to be an asshole to nobody like that's I, I not how go. i roll at all i try to stop it on my panel there good night um but i guess that's probably just because he's a little bit upset sean right you need to be there or i would suggest i would hope that you'd be the bigger person right because we need the Travises because we are getting somewhere. Mm. He is giving us stuff, right? It's maybe not exactly what we want. No, I'd love to, you know. I, 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 I say saying, different. Okay. Now, I like okay, Travis. I, I like Travis, um, especially now that I'm having a different look on it. But we don't need people like him. Why? He's not willing to, to understand what's being said or being that he's learning if it's coming from the globe side. That right yeah. there in itself makes you not a truth in my opinion a truther you're pushing right. for flat earth that's not okay yep. so, so yeah, i'll so give you another it? perspective oh. okay sorry uh, so my perspective is this right that we all approach truth maybe in some from different angles right yes, absolutely. and it takes different people different lengths of time to find it and without travis there is no debate really right because travis is definitely one of the good guys he's definitely someone we can debate with there's a very limited number of people that we can have good debates with mm, travis problem. you know it's a good one, and yeah, I, okay. I can give a shit less for debates. Like I said, I, I like well, we're that's all fine. And that, that's your and I've, I've been doing shows nonstop like that. Your I, show, I sure. don't need a fight yep. after. But I see what it's you're your saying. Show. 100%, 100%. It's your show. 100%. It's your show, and you can decide, right? No, no. Okay. I see what you're saying. Which is yeah. why I'm happy to go on his show and have debates with him because I think one on one is better mm -hmm. than six on one. Well, I, right? I, I, which is no, why I went on his show. You're saying it wrong. It's you have discussions, Cody. You're respectful. You don't. You don't get in people's asses about stuff. You, the Travis, I heard you guys talk. We have a discussion. 
That's what I like. I, I but it's have hard when it's one small, against six. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have a small one. statement that I need to make, and I need to know if you guys are in agreement. If someone admits this is not my field of expertise and then goes on to tell you about said field, is that being dishonest? Well, I'll can tell you, you in what an, way. Can you give an example, Davos? Yeah, can tell you, you what example? about that field. Yeah. Okay, say uh, it's geodetic surveying. Yeah. Okay, and you have no clue about it, and you turn around and go, it's not my field, but. And then what comes out of your mouth? Yeah, what? You, who cares? Yeah, You don't know what you're talking about making that map. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. probably, okay, you know, so, that's, that's so probably not a great way to approach things, right? Yeah, is MC Tune an expert in geodetic surveying? He speaks no. to geodetic surveyors. Yeah, he is yeah, also yeah. a pilot. Is it his and field I, of expertise? But see, here, here's the thing, Aaron. It's uh, not my field He of didn't expertise, say it. But I know enough about it that I can keep up with someone talking about it. And yeah, he talks to people. And he didn't say anything disingenuous or wrong last night. Yeah, MC Toon didn't Travis say it's said. not in my field. This is what Travis said. He said, it is not my field, but I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. Devils, he didn't say that. You're, you're making shit yeah, up, yeah. dude. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That's, that's what he does. Well, what hold he does. on. Hold on. Can Aaron, I say something? Aaron. It, oh. Oh, let, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, Sean, um, Sean and then they and them. Okay. So uh, the one thing I have to say is that if you're going to present information as if you're an expert, then you should have all that information. Yeah. Or at least <laughs> enough of a knowledge of the information that you're putting out that you're not just quoting one paragraph of something. And, and that Travis, was one of the things that we went over today. Yeah, Travis basically came on uh, the MT MC Tune show uh, last night. Yeah, yeah, MC Tune yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do something real quick. Uh, uh, Brian, I want you to go ahead and finish. They and them, you're going to say your thing. And then we're going to talk flat earth in this idea, not Travis. Hold on, I just wanted to say one thing. I've been trying to say something for a while. Okay, my bad. And I was just, I was just wanted to agree with you, Sean. But I mean, if somebody is actually looking for truth, you know, they need to be receptive to what's being told to them. If they're not being respect receptive, then what's the point of them searching for truth? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yet, well, I, I don't think it is. That's that's the thing because they're again. This is the issue I have. Chemo spurs. They make so if if it is like it is because again I do have my doubts but at the same time I'm starting to see it if Travis just is just doesn't know and he he's let his, he lets his ego lead his argument that's completely different than someone like a chemo Spurs and that means to me that's two different ways of going about something I felt honestly Toadie, that I was going about showing this evidence as respectfully as I can. How do I know? It took me a week and a half to present it all. Mm -hmm. I had people in the chat telling me, get Travis out of here. But it's like, why? It's a good conversation. I agree 100% with you. It was, like I said, I have no problem with, with Travis. Up until he said, fuck me, I plan this, I plan that. That's the only time I had a. That's the only issue I have. Yeah, yeah, I know because your integrity is attacked. But I mean, I'm not making excuses for Travis because I'm not defending him. Right, but I'm just saying that I'll happily chat to him. I've got no problems with him, and you guys can, you know, you, you, you'll take your own counsel. Um, but it's, it's a shame because I think Travis is one of the people we can talk to, and I do mm -hmm. enjoy the conversation sometimes. And he's quite funny, right? That's that's all I have to say. And he's not, uh -huh. Spurs. <laughs> if, if, and I agree I'm with you 100%. Sure you, he's I'm not, Spurs. Sure in the times you've talked to him, he hasn't said nothing bad about me. Uh, I felt like we got along pretty damn good. I prefer him on than half the Yeah, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I, have a, I, I have the difficulty that there's people like Erebus and Bob, the science guy, that Travis oh, no, no, no. I'm can't tell you help but wind up and, and if, friend, if, or they wind each other up, right? Yeah, and you can I, see I it. want yeah. Travis to, to apologize to me and Sean. Fuck Erebus. Erebus is an asshole. Erebus is the reason this is happening. <laughs> Not his evidence. He's an asshole. Erebus, Let's you Erebus. asshole. That's also... 
why I every time Erebus would get into his little groove, I would say something. Because I don't plan that kind of shit. I don't. Like, wait, 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 wait. Tody, I'm not being honest. I did plan that. Not mm-hmm. like he makes it. But like I said, over that two weeks, I would present a little bit more here, a little bit more. Like, we wouldn't move into these broad strokes. We'd stay fixated on one thing. We were on refraction for three or four days. And it's like, yeah, it does come to a point where it goes, oh, here's what we all missed. And it, it stops everything. Like, we now know. And that was Erebus's uh, overlay. None of us had said mm-hmm. shit about curvature to each other. Or not curvature, missing um, mm. island at all. None of us for two weeks. Erebus said something the other night. That was the first time. That's when everything changed. Mm-hmm. Well, so, what really surprises me of this, that no one else has realized this tactic, by the way, and I'll just say it publicly, right? That when I say something or someone challenges me and calls me a sack of shit or whatever, right? doesn't matter. I just, I'm like one of those sponge I just take it. Yeah, and I go, okay, well, you can think that and I think something different. Because I think a lot of the arguments and spats do come from getting very heated about being right. Yeah. And if mm-hmm. you do try and sort of abstract slightly your emotion from it about being right, because, you know, if you know you're right, you know you're right anyway, right? Someone can call you all sorts of things. But, you know, when you know you're right, you know you're right anyway, right? You've got your own <laughs> counsel. And, and it does diffuse it a lot. Do you see what I mean? Because if you look at it, a lot mm-hmm. of the spats come from, no, 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 I'm absolutely right. And you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. And you're a da, 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 da. And so sometimes, you know, if you take a little bit of that out of it, it's, it's a good tactic, right? Do you see what I mean? Because mm-hmm. someone yeah. can say oh, yeah. what they like to you, and they can say you're an idiot and you're uh, wrong and you're uh, a liar. And you know, I, the problem for me is, is I get to- triggered. <laughs> Tony, I used that tactic today. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a good tactic, right? Because it keeps the conversation going. Yeah, and, it really and, and does. If that's, you know, if that's your intent, it's fine because you know, you know you're right. Right, and that's <laughs> why I right. want everyone to vote for Sean Smith. For new YouTube monitor or moderator in debates. I thought you were yeah. going to say UN peacekeeper. <laughs> yes, he's good. No, he's you, you can't give him UN times. peacekeeper. You want him to be alive. Who, Sean? He's fine. Yeah, if you, you can't give him UN peacekeeper. Someone will try to kill him. No, 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 no. He is the new UN. The, the only no, thing that actually does worry blue. That's what we're going to start doing. Bit. We're going to hey, if they think the flat Earth map derives from the uh, UN map. Well then, let's have a UN. So it'll just be all the Glovers slash Flat Earthers that are so damn reasonable and never yell, and they'll all be part of it, and they can moderate everything. I think that's the what thing happened. that uh, the thing that does worry me um, about hey, Travis Cody, can I jump is in real quick? No, Cody, of course you can, but just very quickly is 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 looking You're at this pre-war sure. driving. It's the thing that really worries me that they'll have an accident one day. Yeah, and uh, I don't wish him any 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 harm like that. Yeah. Uh, you guys, it is Halloween, and I'm. Uh... I'm confident to say that Travis does not wear a mask, unlike the folks that come after him. And um, think about all the publicity he's gotten just today. Almost 12 hours of nothing but Travis Finley. I'm not sure if you would call that publicity. Um, I would. um, Bad publicity is not good publicity. Who the hell is this guy? We got to go check this guy out, right? So the more we talk about it, you know, the more I think Travis is just sitting back on cruise control right now. Beep, beep. Well, Aaron, you got a lot of publicity today, too. Yeah, everyone what knows you you're smart. Oh, you, you guys flatter me. Come on. I do appreciate it. We, we, we Glover uh, I, you. I, I, I made that upload, and now the next series of uh, Aaron will be all his smart moments. Oh. So he can't shoot him. <laughs> that was that was funny. That was funny. The, the double so, life Aaron. Oh, don't, him I'm, what was that? Troll, 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 troll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm playing it right now. I'm just getting it all loaded up. <laughs> you knew I was gonna just not let. Not Is your Google design. broken? Yeah. <laughs> but no, my, my own real issue with Travis is things like what we saw on the MC Tunes last night, where he repeatedly said over and over. I don't see uh, geodetic surveying is not my field. Therefore, I'm going to dismiss it, say they're wrong, and insert something I won't explain. That's not what happened, Brian. That's I exactly don't... what happened. Right. So while Sean's loading that, can I finally, I will say my point. Tody, yes. I think that you're half right. And I also think that Sean's half right. And the, the issue that I personally have with Travis is when he uh, uses sentences like, I know what the ether band is and what it does. 
you just don't understand it, but I'm not going to put any information to it to explain it. That's not what he says. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Aaron? That is Aaron. exactly what he says, Aaron. Yeah, but You're defending what him says with not knowing they and them's position. They and them just exposed his position. Now I know what it. Is, what is they and them's position? <laughs> he said he exposed. <laughs> exposed God damn it. You better put your position away. <laughs> He's on tape. Just for the record, Aaron is two beers deep. Yep. You're, how'd you know, Tom? Because I know. Um, the, you're there, but you're not all there. It's easy to put words into Travis's mouth on any panel. Let's just say Sean's panel tonight. Uh, we can, I, I can put words in your mouth, Brian, they and them, Sean, um, Smith. I, I could just sit there and say, well, that's what he said, even though it's not what you said. And all you can do then is say, that's not what I said. And then we have a big fucking argument about Go it. Go listen to Tunes last night. He repeatedly said over and over, that's not my field, but I know it's wrong. Yeah, I remember because mm. MC Tune at one point said, I'll, I'll, "All right, I'll well, listen. since you, you know, he said since you're not a professional photographer, do all your observations observations not count?" I was, I was listening. Yeah. I was I'll, I'll go back so. and listen just to be honest with you, Brian, because I, I don't. Yeah, think I think you need to, Aaron, because you've got five people in here <laughs> telling you what was said, and you're saying it wasn't. Dave, will stop wagging your position. <laughs> hey, I like <laughs> wagging my position about. It gets me excited. Keep your position. Bunch of grown men wagging their fucking positions and shit. Well, here's the you Are you currently in anatomical position? Jesus. Hey, keep, keep real science bad. out of it. This is not a real science guy. Oh, well, just open fair, the third uh, beer. Uh, All something right. that so, a lot of people actually do don't like... know is anatomical position uh, requires an erect penis. So, <laughs> uh, Thank you. No thank you. Wow, no, it's a it's a real thing. You have an illustration. So in a medical textbook, yeah, yeah, yeah. medical textbook, anatomical position uh, is uh, is actually standing. It's up. It's up. Actually, it's yeah, up. It's up. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't up. understand lit literal demonstrations. Do you have an illustration? Uh, no, um, not one that the monetization will be coming forth with. All right, it, right. Well, he, right. Here's the thing, then, Aaron. I'll I'll give Sean uh, an offer now, and you can bring it to Travis. Because um, I just helped start up a new ch uh, channel uh, streaming last week that is all about giving respect in uh, moderated discussions, not debates. Sean uh, Smith can come on as the moderator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, do you think Travis would be willing to come on and have a one on one conversation with Sean G? Uh, absolutely. One on one. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, they and them. Yep. Yeah, the, Travis that is, is on Marvel Sean Girls channel, so make sure you get the link out there. Uh, yeah, there, there'd them. be no, there's no schoolboy. No, it's like no. Travis definitely will accept. Um, and I, I think Sean know. would too. I, and I think I, it'd be a great. I invited him here. Moderate. Well, he had, probably hadn't talked to Tony yet, so discussion, Giggle. not debate. Giggle. Right? Sean, Sean doesn't Stop debate. That. It's just discussion. <laughs> I don't do. De I don't help try to do debates either. I don't think debates are worthwhile. I think having a civilized discussion is far more beneficial to everybody. All right, fellas, I got to get out of here. Got to meet yeah. you. I agree, because I think uh, a, a debate implies that there's a winner and a loser, or there's points, mm -hmm. and I think that is like the sides thing for me. It automatically sets people against each other, yeah. and it implies you can win, and when people See are people. in games... See you later. Cheers. When you're when you're in games, you try and win, right? And, and when there's a point system, people get competitive. So that's why I think discussions are generally better. Though well, they're yeah, probably not as interesting for audiences. Is a game of point winning. Exactly, and it's a different thing. A debate. If I do a debate, and I don't really do them, as you know, that's very different to a discussion. I the prefer discussions because you get ideas in it. Yeah, yeah Tony, hey, couldn't hey it be like correct or incorrect? Would be the two outcomes. Hey guys, um, when you guys watch Yeah, and this also there's tactics on there in debate. You should have been, if I was debating someone, I could use a lot of psychological tactics to oh, try to get a win, even though I might be, you know, because when I did debating at uh, university, we used to deliberately take the counterfactual, right? So we'd argue the opposite, <laughs> just just for the hell of it, right? To learn how to it's debate well. And I think, de 
Exactly. I think debating and you can do lots of psychological tactics. All of the games that we employ here, yeah. Oh, you're talking over me. Oh, give me a chance to answer. Oh, are you ready? Are you, have you stopped now? Can I, you know, all that stuff that goes on. Yeah. Right, yeah guys, no, guys, no, I want to go any further. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. I want to lighten up the mood and I want to play this. I really want to play this. I want to play my upload. Damn it. Okay. He's, he's, he's missing us. He's this... missing not being on here. I've just heard from Travis. Yeah, because I haven't. He's, he's a bit come on. Uh, How about this? Let's, tell him mm. to come on. We're not going to talk about the observation at all. You talk sure? Anything else? I'm. I'm not going well, we'll to lie. We'll come up with a topic. Need, I, I would. I would like an apology though, because I didn't course, do nothing course, wrong, we'll and see. I and I make sure that. Oh, of course. But of more course. importantly, I, I, more importantly, I need everyone to answer this question. When you guys watch this upload, or are you looking at this right now? Did anybody understand this or what you're looking at? Sean, can I put my two cents in here? No, you got to wait until I'm done playing this because I've been waiting to play this. But did anyone Ooh. get what you're looking at and see the laughter in just this, what you're looking at right this second? Do you understand what you're reading? See it? You don't. Took me a yeah. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a second. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. I'm gonna play this real quick, and then Montreal, good to go. I gotta get on with it, it, Sean. You're always late. Go. Come on. Stop talking. <laughs> Referral though, because I can, I gotta play it through my speaker <laughs> so you guys can hear it. Oh no. I don't remember which one the meat button is. Yeah. No, my volume isn't playing. It's all your guys' fault. God damn it, that, that looks like my avatar on there. God damn it. Some people just don't even know how to stop talking. Here we go. Earth's atmosphere reaction is this uh, water layer that we have surrounding the Earth. Obviously, that's what refraction is, right? You know. No, yeah. that's not what refraction is. What what is what is the what is the light refracting off of? It? Or refracting towards right. or away from? Uh, refracting or? through is 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 the preposition you're looking for. It is refracting yeah. through air. What is air? Sound sucks. Come on. Come on. Really air is a mixture. Air is a mixture of gases. Yeah, it's, uh, predominantly what? Nitrogen. Predominantly nitrogen. Yeah. And do we have any experiments of uh, a laser being shot through nitrogen and showing it refracting? Aaron, that's a good question. I, I have a question. Is Google broken on your phone? <laughs> I appreciate that. That's badass. That was fucking sweet. I, I I saw you posted that, but I didn't click on it. I didn't. Uh... Um, Sean. Stick uh, stick the link in the chat. Yeah, because he says he might come on maybe in five minutes or something. But but no no talking about the observation yeah. Dude, that whole show my, last night. That whole show last story. night was just, See, there's more of them whether it be true fun. or whether it not. I'm <laughs> trolling, dude. A barn. Right. The point is. Here what? Not a thing. All right, never mind. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Nothing. Ribbits. <sighs> yeah, no one heard me. Oh well, it's not my fault. <laughs> I I I had said a lot about that clip we just saw. I know that. 
I didn't hear you. I know. No one heard talking. (laughs) Wait, now someone's... Yeah, me. Oh. I'm so confused. So confused right now. You guys still here? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Still here. No, there were 17 (laughs) of them. Yeah, he went across it, didn't he? Yeah. That's right. What is happening right now? You are right, Tony? (laughs) I'm just winding you up. I was, I was going crazy. I'm, like, I'm ping. I'm. Don't worry. I'm pinging. Uh, I'm pinging Travis. Yeah. I'm, I'm multitasking. I'm a man. I was scared. I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> oh no! I can't find my mouse. There it is. All right. Oh look, Khaled's here. I didn't see. Hi, Khaled. Hey, Khaled. Hello, Tony. Hello, everyone. everyone. Uh, I, li- hey, I uh, liked your Analima thing a lot. I, I never can get my head around Analima. <laughs> It like hurts my brain when I have to start thinking about anathemas. It's one of those things that you know I can get it for the time that I'm thinking about it, yeah. But when I'm away from it, I, I can't come back to it really quickly. I have to immerse me. It's like a swimming pool that's really cold. You know, when you get in a cold water and you have to immerse yourself slowly. Um, and when it gets up to your sort of middle, it really hurts. That's me and analemas. Yeah. Does the analema take into uh, account the uh, daylight savings time? No. Why, why would you count daylight savings time into it? Because <laughs> it would affect the time that you're looking at. If you're taking no, it they work the on a time. universal time minute measurement. If you're working on solar yeah, you, time, it doesn't matter. If, it doesn't matter what the... What do you the use side of real time or UMT? What, what do you use with Analima? I, I think it's UTC. UTC. Yeah. Why so in other words, UTC? no matter where you are, the time will still be the same. Mm-hmm. Why don't we use it? When I say it's all over we, the world, right? No, 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 no. I meant us, this community. Use what UTC? Yeah. Uh, Where are you because, from? Because um, where are you from? Okay, okay. I, <laughs> I'm in the southern hemisphere, uh-huh. and it's nine thirty a.m. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the northern hemisphere, and it's four o'clock. It's four p.m. See, see how that works? Yeah. Like everyone's is everywhere. Why don't we use that shit? So when I say noon, I don't have to quit going, having to remember to go, oh, yeah, West Coast time. And do they say the West Coast because time on the West Coast of other places? Oh, they don't do it in the China because the entire flat. place has one time zone. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's just rude. Lucky bastards. <laughs> yeah. Shout out yeah, from Florida, 7 p.m. over here. Yeah. Western China's over there. Like, Fuck you, people in Beijing. It's so it's so early. Ah, oh, so um, why don't we use it? No one's giving me a good answer. Uh, I, no, I said, w- w- no, we should use it, especially when we arrange for uh, said, uh, videos or live streams. Time we idea. should use it. You just see. Yep, I think so. Now, who's going to uh, keep track so of it for I us? I messaged back to Travis. Ah. I messaged there's these lovely little things on the interwebs called time apps, and there's one that's dedicated to UTC and the conversion to every other time zone. I guess, yeah, why don't we use it? Yeah, see? Hey. Totally. Mind's because blown. because yeah. you can't say it's 12 noon when it's dark. Hey, sh- guys. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to keep my composure. Hang on, stop. Hang on, one second. Sean, you need hang to on, calm down. Shut up, Travis, shut up Aaron. Come on, shut up, Aaron. Come on, shut up, Aaron. Come on. Shut up Aaron. Aaron, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up. Hi, hi, Travis. Wow. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, Travo? Don't we get oi? Oi. I, I always like the oi oi that's said in a kind of Cockney accent. Oi, I always oi. like that. It's like I, I, I know, hello, I hello, hello, hello. There, that know, exactly. But, but oi oi. This is a you completely have to different Travis. atmosphere. This is a completely different atmosphere. I'm still trying to recover from earlier today. <laughs> hello, can I have Travis. can I have one minute before you guys go to go to Travis hello, because I'm going to speak something I, totally different. I, I I think yeah, Montreal was next, right? Montreal was next. In just one minute. Well, exactly what mind. I wanted to happen has happened. Okay. I was going to say the truth has to make up with Sean G, and it's about to happen. So, God bless. Cool, cool, cool. Good. I thought I could speak for like 30 seconds before you guys go, Travis, but I guess I'm mute myself. <laughs> Go ahead, Jose. No, please, man. Oh, okay. I came in to, to cry. I came in to cry a little bit because I am hurt. 
because Ali B uh, blocked my all my accounts yesterday on his stream. When he no. rage quit from my stream, uh, he went to his stream and he blocked my accounts. Then I joined the call, and he told me to go fuck myself. And he doesn't respect me anymore. So sorry. Big hugs for Jose. Uh, is Ali B doing calls now? I didn't know that. Is he set up a show? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, Ali runs a show now. I didn't know that. He, yes, he 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 yes, that's another time. thing I wanted to say, Jose. Do you think it was fair, Montreal? You I have the given, whole situation. No, you think it was fair, no, no, he's, he's pissed. He's pissed, Jose. He's pissed. I think just give him some time. Don't talk about it. He's pissed because he thinks... Okay. Let me tell you why. He thinks that... You guys treat him Brian like, Peck uh, with a hot mic. Sorry, Brian Peck is making such a noise. Uh, he's unhearable, everything. Is it better now? Yeah, yeah. Am I better now? Yeah, go ahead, Montreal. Okay, sorry. Sorry, so what he, what he, what I think he has against you, Jose, is that he thinks you treat him like, uh, like, uh, uh, what's his name? The guy that was talking about the pressure, his name doesn't come to my head. First Kimo. Kimo, uh, first. Kimo first yes, Tomo. yes. Yes, he thinks that you always take other people's side. Because, okay, Ali tends to go on a bit, and you guys, like, sort of take the other side. That's that's what he feels. Ali does that. Yeah, it's that's all right. But he must anyway. understand because he knows, yeah, he knows when there's only one person, I actually do play devil's advocate, and you know it, but most of the people know it, but... He didn't feel in, you know, he, he felt that way that day. Whatever, you know, I don't care. <laughs> anyway. He was saying that. About I think it's not too. the end of the world, Jose. I think if we give him time to chill down, cool off, I think you guys could be, could be buds yeah. again. I think there's like blankets. I'm not stages. sure that. Can, I'm not sure that you should. Can I say something you're... about that issue? Yeah, but um, the, the problem was that when, when he was the only one on there, and I mean the only one on there, um, he was telling Jose how everybody talked over him and things like that. So automatically, he set the precedence for what was going to happen. And Sorry, that, Ali, that was the issue. Ali B knows he does that monologue. Well, he got, he got mad after. That's why, look, put this way. Ali B has, when I first started coming around, Ali B did a live stream like he does now. He talks by himself for three to four hours. And that is awesome. That's why I started doing it. Because I had shit to say. I'm not gonna lie, he was the one one of the one of the reasons I started live streaming. But when he comes onto other people's live streams, he run, he acts the same way. And then because there's a group and he knows he can say it, he'll go, "You guys are talking over me." In reality, it's him trying to just talk the whole time. That's Ali B. He just talks. Amen. He's Thank not you. Not a good yeah. listener. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't make his points very well either. So he goes around the houses to seventeen points, right? Rather than question and answer, question and answer. Yeah. And again, and so he, 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 he doesn't yeah. pause off. Guys, he's I'm absolutely the same way. Also I'm the same exact stream. way. I talk, but I don't listen. I need to listen more. It's the same shit. That, so I know exactly what he's doing. The difference is I'm not telling him to go fuck off because of it. Well, the thing is, Ali's also admitted that he intentionally um, that he intentionally drones on to filibuster a conversation. In a few words or less, yeah, but it, it's obvious. It's too obvious for he doesn't even have to admit it. It's that obvious, I, and I know because I've had great conversations with uh, Ali B where he doesn't do that. He does that because he it's he knows he's not going to get anywhere in the conversation with too many people or a certain person, and he'll. Just, okay, well, if you, think you guys are going to ask me 100 questions, I'm going to talk this whole damn time. That's what he does. He's I mean, away you got, away yeah, Whatever his issue is right now, that's, that's some internal shit. That is not Ali B. He does this every All right, yeah. every six months he does this. Uh, the, the, in, in my episode yesterday, I was alone. I didn't let anybody in for probably over an hour. I was only me for the first hour, hour and a half probably, playing videos and stuff. And then when I, Ali B joined... Then uh, Bob the Science Guy, uh, Blue Marble, and the airline pilot. There were three pilots versus Ali B. That's how I titled the show yesterday. Fluttered, whatever. Ali B versus three pilots. And then everybody started joining in. And then it started getting a little all over the place. But still, it was a decent discussion until Ali B started to go like, oh, you guys are talking over me. I said, Ali B, you made your point. Let him answer, you know. And, and he got triggered. The first time I said, like, Dude, you made your point. You talked for like three minutes, we uninterrupted. 
when somebody start talking, you say, no, I disagree with you. And he want to go on and on. So uh, that, it was a misunderstanding from him. He didn't realize he was over talking big time, even if he was one versus 10, you know? Jose, yeah, it was a good show, by the way. Time, yeah, Jose, a, that it, three verse one was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. One, you could almost say that Ali deserves three times the time. Almost. Aaron, almost. He, he did it, have it. He did have three Aaron, more times the time. Aaron, if you want, if you want, you'd also realize that about at least half the time, Blue was on mute and letting other people talk to him because he doesn't enjoy talking to Ali. Yeah, but Ali was cut off. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Hang on. Hang on. This is the problem I have with this conversation on this. Jose, you can detest that I am not full of shit. Flat Earth Now has decided that they're not going to just sit down and let Globers talk shit. So now they have kind of built their own defense mechanisms that are, are on the offensive. When I was a Flat Earther, when Jose was a Flat Earther, was when it was Globers attacking only it was a lot worse. Those trolls are yeah. kind of like all dissolved fun. now. You guys have no fucking clue what one on ten it really is. Because I used to go to like debate debate flat earth and more. I used to go there by myself. I used to go places by myself knowing it was gonna be bad. I used to go to twenty four seven. There was no Sean G show. There was no Sean G show. There was no Jose show uh, when yeah. people had the chance to speak uh, equally mm-hmm. both sides. Yeah. There was no platform oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. either a globe platform when all the globes are attacking, or a flatter platform when the globes were able to get the war out. But today, there's no flatter platform that they let the globes talk at all. No, no, no. And Jose, when Ali was talking, we we already know. You already know the the global position of the gyro compass and the uh, attitude indicator. We already know that. We've seen Wolfie's videos. We we've watched all that stuff. So why not just let Ali be? Kind of like you uh, are gonna do in three more shows is maybe just a small presentation, ten minutes of. This is how I think it works. This is my knowledge of it. This is what I've talked to. But then Bob came in right away and started uh, really verbally attacking him. You know, and Aaron, all Ali has to do is ask for that time and Jose will give it to him. Yeah, I know. But that's what Jose did yesterday was he said, no, only actually, flat he... earthers, only flat earthers come in. He... Yeah, but the problem I have, Aaron, what, that's what he did. The... He gave him that time. He gave him that time. He so, gave so him pro- all that time. No, um, no, no. So, and so, so the, let Bob, Bob in Blue, afterwards. Bob Blue the, the and the problem, other pilot were in within ten minutes. Right? The problem, Aaron, is he never brings anything other than his own voice. He doesn't I, yeah. bring anything I, to show. I, I, I get yeah. it, but the but only reason that's not true. Yeah, but let me explain you what happened, Aaron. I know you're gonna want to talk, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. All right, so Ali B, I gave him the floor. He said, "Pull this page for me." I said, "All right, I'll pull it." Oh, the I don't know how how you call that. Whatever word, the astral, whatever. Somebody help me. Whatever Google page I pull, I said, "What is this little tool? What is this?" He said, "Oh, he said, he said whatever it is. Uh, is this word?" Altitude, it's an attitude, attitude indicator. I said, all right. So then, you know, you want to make a point? He said, that's it. That, that's a flatter evidence. I said, okay, I got nothing to say about it. He said, all right, yeah, that's it. So that was it. That was his presentation. He said, pull that Google page. That's my flatter evidence. So what did I have to do? I say, I don't have anything to talk. Let me open the panel. If anybody knows about it, jump in, the, jump in it and talk to him. That's what happened, Aaron. So don't tell me I didn't give him the opportunity. He said, that's my evidence and I'm done. And he just sat in there silent. What the fuck do you want me to do? You, Stay silent you, with him in there? You didn't ask him any questions about it? You, you just no, I, did, I don't know nothing about it. That's why I invited somebody to talk about it. You, you open up the lion's den on someone they, who... Exactly. And then Blue, there, which right? is a pilot, he uses that tool. Uh, uh, um, Blue, Blue Marvel Science, he joined. And he was having a beautiful conversation with Ali. Bob the Science Guy was having a beautiful discussion with him. And the airline pilot. Mm. And mm. then... In between those three, Ali B wanted to just overtalk all of them three. When they said, like, but let me explain to you this. When they tried to explain to Ali, Ali interrupted. No, 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 no. That's not the way it works. That's not how it is. That's what happened, Aaron. We listen to it because you're listening to it from a biased point of view. Wanted to listen to Ali only. You didn't want it to listen to the other side. That's what happened. My only bias, Jose, is I like to listen to good shows, right? That's why I listen to yours and uh, participate in Sean's. So I'm not... I'm not... I don't even know Ali B. I don't know Blue. I, I love listening to Blue and Bob, even though I don't like his attitude. But so when when 
the the idea though, Ali came in after an hour and a half of no flat earther coming in. All the panel, y'all are making fun of us. Everybody's making fun. He had the fucking conies to to show up and say, "Hey, this is it." Thinking it may just be you and him. Right? Aaron, I can tell you didn't watch yesterday's show because it was an hour and a half of Jose by himself. Ali was the first person in, and he had the whole floor to himself and Jose. That's what I just said. Yeah. No, you just said there was a bunch of bunch of people in there, and you opened the gates, didn't? And he opened the no, gates. No, no, in the chat, in the chat, everyone was but, making fun uh, of flat wait. earthers and shit. You know, saying, "Oh, nobody's gonna come in." So yeah, Ali B came in. Whoa. Under, the, I believe, I believe the presumption that it was gonna be Ali B and Jose for a while. Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, what Jose said was, if Jose what, said, what I'm, I'm going to do, hold on, Aaron, hold in. on, I'm still I'm talking, I'm still talking, Aaron, I'm still talking. What Jose said was, if, if Flat Earth can bring, bring evidence, then afterwards I'm going to open up the panel. When Ali B finished and he said, this is my evidence, that's it, I'm done. Those were his exact words. That's it, I'm done. Well, at that point... Uh, Jose had no questions for him because he didn't know anything about it. So he opened up the panel. It's That's really not the issue, simple. Sean. He never but, complained about Jose gave him a fair shot. That's not it, his issue. It, it, but it was all explained before Ali B even came in. All of it. All of it was explained. That if, if, um, if Flat Earth came in, made their presentation, then afterwards he was going to open up the panel. And he even asked before that, should I just open up the panel? Because obviously Flat Earther doesn't have anything to bring. That's not Ali's B issue. I told you. He, he doesn't have any issue with Jose on that. He, he we're thinks that after when Montreal, the conversation... We're addressing Aaron's points right now. What, what, what Ali feels is irrelevant. Uh, right, so much exactly. Of argument there. Exactly. No, what Ali feels is relevant. Go ahead, Montreal. Look, uh, whatever uh, you guys yeah, go I didn't on, want to. Just... I didn't want to bring this to this direction. I'm sorry, it was kind of a joke, you know. But I think it's enough. Ali B is not here to defend himself, so I think we should exactly, move on to the yeah. plain truth, you know. For real. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Jose. I would say it was a good show. Shout out to Ali B. Yeah. Jose, it was a good show, regardless of what uh, happened after the fact. I don't know anything about what uh, Ali's. Yeah, I agree. He was good. Hey, uh, Jose, what are you going to do after uh, 200? Like, I don't get it. Are you just changing the title? Or <laughs> right, that, right. Like, I'm confused. Uh, you know what? I was thinking earlier when I finished the show, I said, let me think what I'm going to do after 200. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. But it's not going to be open discussion 201 and continue. It's going to be a uh, similar title, something about like topic, uh, uh, I don't know, open panel, uh, blah, blah. something like yours, like uh, today topic, uh, today's topic, whatever, mm -hmm. fucking, you know, I don't know, nuclear weapons or whatever bullshit, I'm just going to put it on my ass. And then that's going to be what the topic is going to be. Whoever want to join and they want to talk about something else, I give them the opportunity. I, do you know about it? Do you got something to present? Do you got any experience with it? And then we'll talk about it. If anybody knows about it, then I can pull maybe a few articles on Google. I can pull some old PDFs about the specific articles and I can babble for an hour or two. Unless somebody want to join and knows about the topic. That's what I'm going to do moving forward. Jose, it'd be really uh, cool if yeah. like, you find a specific a topic. topic to talk about. Yeah, if you pick the topic that some maybe you're interested in, uh, wh whatever it is. And it'd kind of be like a science channel for the rest of us where we could hear both points of view, all this information from from all these folks that are on these goddamn channels that are fucking smart as shit, and we, we can all just sit there and either listen or engage, and uh, it, it's kind of cool, I, I think. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know exactly, but I, I'll, I'll pull something out, and it's going to be rough the first, probably week, the first two weeks, it's going to be rough, until I figure it out, just like the way it happened in the open discussions. Uh, it's going to be a little of evolution, a little bit of tumbling around the first few episodes. But I think I'm going gonna, gonna to find the, the niche that I need to. Yep, that's the best way. You could always throw out a random open discussion, and you know we'll all show up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I got to throw so, in, you know, a little something. Yeah, I got to throw some crumbles, you know, like, 
you talk about something at least, you know. Kind yeah, of. I think the best ones are when there's a little bit of material of some sort, or there's a little bit of a direction, or there's a little bit of a video that is a little bit whatever. You know, it's always good to have something to, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A seed to form the the episode around. Yeah. Could I suggest one? Exactly. That's what I... I yes. Go ahead, please. Um, how about electric ve electric vehicles? Will they solve our problems? That's the first I, I heard I heard that talk about a few days ago somewhere. I was I was kind of stopping uh, around in some chats. The first electric were we talking about that in Jerry Davis chat the other day. Like, we're talking, talking about it in Sean's. We we're talking about it here. Yeah, we're talking uh, about the, uh, the electric big rigs. The electric and big you've rigs. got the whole Musk. You got the whole Musk angle in that one as well, haven't you? Around his whole yeah. idea that he really yeah, just wants to sell batteries, not cars. Yeah, which yeah, is really in, interesting. In a whole yeah. topic, we can throw like transportation. You know, where will where where are we going from that from here? Are the freaking flying cars is going to be something tangible in yeah, the near they're, future? They're, well, they're you know, what's making, to go no, there? No. Jose, yeah. they're making them. They're making flying cars already. Yeah, they've been prototypes for. For no, at least no, no, twenty no, no, years. No, 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 no. They, they, they're making like they're on a production. Um, I'll, I'll find the one that they're is on production. Line. I'll find it. Yeah, it's in production, I... like, like is it in production, like the uh, Richard Branson moon moon trips, like for the no, last no, twenty years. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> for, for you can That's actually a good one, buy Jose. one, Jose. You can actually buy one. Yep. Hmm? Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting list. Yeah, to leave it to leave it in my driveway. Yeah. I cannot fly it. Probably I can um, buy it. I cannot use it. Um, the first ones you'll probably see will most likely be like Uber. Uber's already had their finger in it. They're just waiting for the go ahead. And then what that does is mean. So put this way: if you buy a flying car, you most likely may need a pilot's license. But the Uber and you getting in that Uber, the Uber flying car, you won't need one. Or um, if it's automated, you know, or it, what is what's the word? Um, where it that flies itself, you just tell it where to go. Sean, what would you think about the idea of the drone on a small scale being uh, expanded into a type of flying car? Because uh, I don't think we're going to have these. Uh, yeah, the, you know, we're not going to have the Jetsons type flying car. But why? But well, because we don't know how that's powered. Like beep 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 beep. beep. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you meant looking because I'm looking at them right now. And I'm like, yeah, these are definitely no, no, no. The look... shape, yeah, the shape might look the same, but possibly in a drone type but, form. Wait, 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 you know, wait. Time out, time out. What were the Jetsons propul? What was the propulsion? It isn't a propulsion as a sound. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Oh, anti -gravity drives. Drives. They were anti-gravity oh. drives from the Jetsons. Are you yeah, sure? I want one of them. I'd sure? love a car that made that noise. <laughs> oh, that would get annoying fast. <laughs> Wait, why would you put a golf cart? <laughs> That's an electric golf cart is what that is. <laughs> Speaking of beep, 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 I'd love to open up the floodgates. Uh, Montreal, um, railgun ballistics, they say, hmm. are uh, lobbed. They're lobbed over, uh, what, uh, no. 200, 200 uh, nautical miles? But they lob I think, them like a football. They they throw them like uh, a football at what? at seven point five. Sorry. Rock seven point five. Uh, why did you? Say I that need to right? comment something. I need to comment something before you guys take take it over because I yeah I'm not gonna be part of this because I want to read this interesting comment from Matrix Media in the chat. Anything uh, he's referring to, he can find. But I mean he he's just indirectly attacking the bowlers, Matrix Media because I know his style. So he say as he can find anything. Mainstream scientists present uh, anything mainstream scientists present them they take is as truth regardless of actual the facts is there in their heads if it didn't come from their father authority they don't want to hear it shout out to Matrix Media you're so wrong in that statement <laughs> you tell them who they <laughs> I don't believe shit from anybody me personally I can yeah. test it and I can learn it from my stuff. Just because it was on TV, I don't have to believe it. I don't. I don't watch TV, so I. <laughs> I don't know what uh, you mean by mainstream. Mainstream. I don't know anything about this subject because of mainstream. Just saying. Uh, I, I, Aaron, yeah. so it's a good I like thing you don't topic. believe that. But uh, I was going to say it's a good thing you don't believe that SS video they that you played earlier today on your uh, on your channel, Jose. 
with the Nazis and, <laughs> right and the there, aliens yeah. and everything. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, um, I because I've done this topic before, I'm not playing any videos. If I play any of these videos, they will literally take me down worldwide. It's happened twice, and both times, I would take I took like 30 Look, look, did you see one of those pictures? The rail gun was elevated. Why did they take you down, Sean? Look, it's elevated. They don't want any military stuff online. They don't give you an accent reason, but that was the one they did. There's tons of military stuff online. Yeah, but do you start... I was showing, like, a... The cloak, that's uh, I was like gonna, a project they have. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, if you want, you can look up, you can look up amateur rail guns, and oh, uh, yeah. they're they're some of those are pretty fantastic. Uh, you don't have to worry about any strikes or anything like that. There, there's videos on them, um, but it, they're it, you know they they show the propulsion and how it works and everything like that. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. People with this shit. <laughs> oh man, we th oh shit! I didn't even know that. I didn't know they had handheld fucking rail guns. They have. Not uh, okay. I've got one. <clears throat> I've oh, holy got shit! One. Um, I'll I get want it one out. too. Yeah, it's a mini one. A little proof of concept. In a sec, I'll get it out. I'll, I'll Wait, fire it up. Are you allowed to do this? <laughs> no, are don't fire it. Well, it's a mini <laughs> one. It's a little mini one. Yeah, Wait, but that guy's allowed? made a bigger one because what what you have to do? Yeah, what you have to do is you got to get a lot of capacitors to discharge for a coil. Yeah. And the little one I've got, you can actually buy them online. Yeah, it uses what calls a, a flyback capacitor. I don't want you to tell me how much, like but can you, can you put it in the side chat? But don't say it out loud because if people. Oh, you obviously not watch the videos. They're, they're pretty fun things. They're pretty fun things. He, he does some tests with it there as well in that video. I'm surprised they haven't taken it down, actually. Yeah, that's, that's Don't I'm worry. It could, be like, uh, Elon Musk. it could be like Elon Musk, not a flamethrower, which is totally a freaking flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, fellas? People new to the panel? What's up, Negator? It's been a long time, my friend. How you been? Who's alligator? The negator. It's the alligator. That's oh, the negator. negator. Sorry, I thought you said alligator. So, Montreal, <laughs> that was an interesting name. Do you think you could lob lob something uh, at Mach 7.2? Why do you keep saying lob? Because they don't lob it. Aaron, oh, stop yeah. it. Yeah, I know it's I ballistic. Don't, I know they don't. It's direct it's line like of sight at Mach 7.2. Okay. Yeah. It, it leaves that barrel. Cold using targeting systems. Okay. Have you heard of targeting systems, Aaron? They're not guided. I also don't uh, understand why you, do you think it's a direct uh, line of sight actually, 250 miles. The newer ones are, I'm so are uh, Aaron. The newer ones are the projectiles that are in the railguns will ha will be having those. If, if you I'll pointed that barrel, I'm so up. glad you brought that up. It, it, yeah, go ahead. There's been a, a lot of talk about this railgun stuff on the on the chat lately, and people don't seem to understand that the railgun is a direct line of sight weapon. No, it's it not. is no, not a direct line of sight weapon. No, 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 no. It is not at all. Yes, fact, yes, it, it is a ballistic no, fact, weapon. Stop, fact, hey, stop only... over talking. Montreal just started, you Dude, guys. What are you doing? Stop over stop. talking, Aaron, Sean. Stop, Aaron. I will. <laughs> hey, hey, Sean, Montreal. can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you good now. Yeah, your mic's good. All right, cool. Yeah, All right. Um, Montreal. The reason the railgun was was made was to overcome the curvature and still be able to get it, it to its uh, its its target without actually having to go out of the up into the hemisphere. To do so. Negative, sir. Okay. The reason why the rail gun was made yeah. was for the U.S. Navy yeah. so they don't have ordnance on the ship. Because in World War II, when the ships would get hit by just one shell from another plane or whatever, a kamikaze, the whole, the whole ordnance on the ship would go up. This is yeah, why they decided. That becomes a placement issue. And I'm telling you right now, they still have ordinances on them. Yeah, also be, the question you're is... You're absolutely wrong, Sean. You're absolutely wrong. Me one. Show me how do you power those magnets? Excuse me? How do you power those magnets to create the propulsion? With electricity? Where do you get the electricity from? Generators? From a big old diesel generator. The size of a train. Okay, and you think diesel doesn't explode? Diesel also, is not combustible. 
Also, what are the uh, 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 yeah, Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, Aaron. What you oh. said is wrong. You can't put a lighter in your diesel fuel and it'll blow up because it's that's not enough no. combustion. It doesn't ignite. It's not hard enough or fast enough. Or blah, blah, blah. Hot enough I misspoke. I, I misspoke. Diesel, diesel is not flammable, but it is yes, combustible. It is. In the is then how does it cause combustion in a diesel is, engine if yeah. it's not flammable? Jesus Christ. Flammable and compressed. combustible are two different things, guys. It's right. compressed. Yeah, That's why it ignites in, in the engine. Yeah, but yeah. then it goes bang. Yeah. No, no, water. no. Diesel only yeah. ignites uh, right. water. Thank you. Doesn't burn. Oh, there's a panel that actually used to make a uh, formulate marine fuels for a uh, ships and tankers. And Schrodinger's cat used to drive a boat. I hadn't said that in a long time. I had to. Hey, Sean. Yes. How you doing, sir? A long time. Hey, man. hey, hey. Meg, guys, that you, you've been that, busting that my chops all week. Oh, man, I'm glad you're on. Yes, uh, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Montreal says that uh, he can prove that uh, rail guns are meant for direct line of sight only. Mm -hmm. He's been holding up on some evidence of that. So. Well, I would love to see that. You yeah. misquoted me again, nigga. Let me tell you what I said. Okay. Currently, currently, the rail guns that are available right now, they're direct line of sight. They do not have ordnance on them. In the future, they're looking for them to have guidance and ordnance. Right now, holistically hitting the target. That's exactly what it is. Anybody right. that can prove me wrong, do it now. So or the, nega, please stop right. hassling me. Working on it. The, uh, the argument is not... Uh, uh, that you provided, um, and the flat earthers to provide is it's a glow or a flat earth proof because they're only dark line of sight. Now, right now in testing, yeah, they put one, they put a real gun on the ground and they point it at something on the ground nearby and they shoot it. So those aren't uh, those aren't production real guns. There's no real guns on a warship out there actually uh, being used. Oh, four. Okay, there is one on. A so ship you've been there. busting my chops all week, nigga, and you knew all this. Right? I, thought no, they, I thought they yeah. had one. I thought they had an experimental one on uh, some ship somewhere. Yeah, no, they do. They have yeah, well, there's, two, there's two ships what, what, that have them. Yes, but what I mean is that you won't find one sailing towards Iran with the intent of using its real gun. Right? Mm, no, yeah, I don't know why they would do that. Right. No, there's still... So, no. Montreal, the, the, from the very start, and, and at no point have you, you made that clarification that uh, currently only the ones in testing. Now, the ones in testing, uh, again, will lead to um, the end result, right? And I, I don't know why you would present this as a flat earth proof. And that's that's the curious part here is if you think... Because the biggest uh, problem they have right speech. now, Negatorix, is yeah. the guidance part of a 7 point, Mach 7.2. No, no, no. Well, look, here, 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 here's, here's what I, right. I, I... They cannot I, uh, do it. They cannot do it because it goes right where it's aimed. At okay. All. Ballistics. Uh, so here's the thing. I'm gonna link you something, Aaron, and, and you guys can read it on your own time. I've right? read your stupid little paper yeah, with yeah, the little arc Aaron, thing where they stop. shoot it up into why space. Why are you all butthurt all of a sudden? Stop it, damn it! Right. We're being so nice why? Tonight. Why? Is, um, what's what's wrong with that paper? First of all, it's a proposed um, mm -hmm. um, document about this is what we want to achieve. Right. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's a it's a proposition. It's a selling so point to, to military uh, establishments across the world. <clears throat> so, first of all, that is not, it's not in practical use. Okay. Okay. That's number so, one. Right, right, right. But you're claiming that it's direct line of sight only. And I'm trying to find out why. You mentioned the Mach 7, but you need to elaborate on that. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me say this. Um, if, if I'm standing with my feet on the ground and I'm on a curve, I'm on a ball, and I, mm -hmm. I hold my hand straight out in a horizontal, and I shoot a fucking mm -hmm. ballistic at Mach 7.2 straight out, it's going to go mm -hmm. into space. It will. Right? Can, can you explain yeah. why? It's going to go into fucking space. But but can you explain why? Because I can explain why it won't, but I'm going to let this you is, know. This is, why that, why. this is why my example it, it does not happen, is because... We live on a flat plane. So when I point my hand uh, straight out, it is going towards a target. So okay. at what point does a projectile come back to Earth? What speed is that? 
Aaron, you, let me let me have a go with him. Well, for, well, no, for no, a second, no, no, no. We're, we're on the right track. Mach seven. You think Mach seven will take it straight away from Earth? What speed will it come back to Earth? Is it Mach one? Is it five hundred miles per hour? Is it ten miles per hour? Who cares? No, because it's, we all. It's very important what to know that is, he's, uh, he, he's making no. an assertion. You're you're you're, you're straying off the subject here. You're straying off the subject. No, no, no. Let me ask you a question, nigga. He's making Montreal, you know Montreal, let, us out. let us let us answer Aaron. Yeah, let us I'm answer not, Aaron first. Yeah, he, he's making a. Call. He's been busting my chops um, all week, guys. You gotta understand this. Qualitative assertion with zero backup. He's saying Mach seven, and Mach seven, and all of our minds just goes, "Bam, proof, he's right." But it's just a number, right? It's, it's one tenth of the escape velocity. It's one tenth of the escape velocity from the surface. Yeah. Now let me let me break it down for you, both Aaron and Montreal. Right. The last uh, railgun I read about fired a 17 kilogram projectile. Right. Now, luckily for us, we can mathematically determine how fast something drops based on its weight. And a 17 kilogram projectile will drop 20 meters in two seconds. So you go to the top of the building, you drop it, and two seconds, it's 20 meters lower. Right. Now, the forward velocity uh, has no bearing on this at all, right? Now, Mach 7 is uh, 1.5 miles per second, right? Per second. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's <laughs> 1.5 miles, seven. right? Now, if it drops 20 meters in two seconds, how far has it dropped in 1.5 seconds? What's your point? Let me know when you're done. Um, so on. if it drops 20 meters in two seconds, that means in 1.5 uh, miles distant, it's dropped 15 meters. Now, you guys, you're, like you're not say, you're not even describing. The, um, you're not. You guys, hold on, I'm not hold done. on, hold on. No, 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 no. no, no. no. We're hold getting, on. Listen. getting to the apex of this here. If the Earth curves at eight inches per mile squared, every mile it must travel. It must drop eight inches to be able to keep up with the curve there equipment. So now, if it's dropped 15 meters in a mile and a half, do you think that's enough to drop eight inches in the first mile and another four inches in the second mile? Yes you're no? missing the whole point, dude. You don't yeah, know what the on, hell yeah, you're yeah, talking hold about. On, hold on, Montreal. Why this wait, 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 wait. Montreal, let me, let me just jump in real quick, okay? So, no, 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 um, no, no, no. What was that? You have to the explain Gator why X? you think 12 inches is greater I'm than asking meters. you a question. You're, I'm you're asking you a Travis. question for clarification, okay? Travis, you're robot okay. hard. Yeah, you're robot. Okay. Negator X, was that is that who was just talking? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. How about this? Is this better? Okay, so yeah, I you described seventeen you, you you described a seventeen kilogram uh, projectile being dropped from a building, correct? Yes. Okay, so that's a vertical drop, correct? Well, all drops are vertical. <laughs> okay, okay, just, just, okay. It's a, it, what I mean is it's, it's not, it's not being thrown. It's not being projected. It's just being dropped. That's what I mean. Yes, but right? Travis, this is what lets me know you, Travis, this is why I know you don't have any knowledge of physics. Yeah, Everything, gravity is the same. Forward, gravity pulls it down. Okay, there's no, yeah. okay. The sim simply because I'm asking for clarification does not give you the right to impugn my intelligence. Okay? I'm not impugning your intelligence. I'm, I'm impugning asking, your knowledge on a subject. You are. You you are. Okay. Hey, your knowledge is, okay, your knowledge listen. on the subject is lacking regardless of how smart okay, you are. Brian, no, whoever Brian, the fuck is Brian, talking to Brian, 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 Travis, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Brian, you're coming in hot. Relax. Breathe it out a little bit. Just a little, please. Night's gonna be a night where we're all gonna talk calmly, even if we're upset. And if not, yeah, take an A. I'll fucking kill you. No, I'm fine. Just <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna breathe it out. All right. Okay. Let's go. Got this. We've all okay. breathed. We've all listened okay, to me. Again, France. again, negator. Yes. I, I, I'm not trying to catch you out. I'm just trying to understand. You're just giving us like a visual idea, like right. You said you're at the t top of a two, 20 store building. You're going to right. drop 17 kilogram weight and it's going to sure. drop uh, 20 meters in two seconds. Right. Which yes. is roughly which is roughly 9.8 meters per second squared. Right. So sure. if you are then now talking about a rail gun that uh -huh. is projecting something at high velocity uh -huh. across a horizontal line tangent, uh -huh. that is not the same as simply 
dropping something from a 20 story building. So it's not going to have the same drop value. Actually, uh, it it, actually, it it is. it's exactly yeah. the same. I, I think yeah. it will. Yeah, it absolutely. It's will. exactly the same. That's how the physics just because it's moving, just because it's okay. moving across, it will still drop. Yeah. Well, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. When I you think, guys are uh, ready, to learn learn has, hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let, let me know Gator and I'll tell you. Go first. Let Gator go first and and answer his question. Uh, well, I, I I'm not sure how I need to help you understand this. So. If, Please, please ask another question or tell me why you think that doesn't make sense. Okay, so I guess one of uh, a further question would be uh, how at what height is a railgun uh, launched, right, or fired, right? Why, because why if it drops, so? because if it drops twenty meters every two seconds, uh -huh. it's it, and it's only a hundred meters up, uh -huh. it's going to drop pretty quick. Right. Yes. Well, sure. Twenty meters in two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Mm, but it, it so, travels pretty so quick my as well. Question, <clears throat> okay. So my question, though, is how high and how far? Right. Because that's that's the issue. If it's if it's two hundred meters up, it goes two kilometers. Two, it goes about two. No, here we are. Three kilometers. Railguns can readily exceed three kilometers per second. How many? How many twenty meters fit into three kilometers? So it sounds like you're. Um, what you're not telling me is that you're assuming the gun is laying parallel to the surface of the earth. No, no, no. I'm just no. I'm no? just trying to ask questions. I asked you okay. how high it was off the ground. That's basically so. Let me let me let me put so, you like this. If you want to hit a target that is a long distance away, how do you orient the barrel of your weapon? Uh, well, if you have enough understanding of the power that you're uh, firing your projectile at, you might have. It's just like uh, using a bow and arrow. You often have to aim up higher because you know the arrow is going to uh, be falling down. Well, it, it sounds like you just answered your own question. I, I'm just uh, trying to understand what you were trying to prove because it doesn't seem to me to be the same idea. That is, again, to change the uh, perspective. If I take a baseball and drop a baseball from my height at six foot, right? And then I take the baseball and I hit a line drive. It's not going to fall at the same rate. Actually, Absolutely if you it will, if they're at the same a, height. Yeah, if, if you could so, move so, hit a, okay. uh, a so, line. So, 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 that's so, fine. Exactly you guys can carry on. Guys, 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 one at a time. One at a time. I know you. everyone wants it. So, so, at a time. so Travis, could I I'll just give you a quick perspective on it, right? Normal um, muzzle velocities, all right, of explosive military guns, yep, sort of big cannons and uh, weapons that are on ships. They go about two kilometers a second, muzzle velocity, I'm talking about. Obviously, it drops off, obviously, because of air resistance, but two kilometers a second, muzzle velocity. Railguns readily exceed, according to this, three kilometers a second. Do you see what I mean? So they've got less problems because they're going a little bit faster than conventional weaponry, which yeah, is obviously right. why they're researching. Tony, why don't you explain to us your knowledge of the railgun? How does it work? What's the trajectory? Because so far, none of you guys know what you're but, talking about. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, stop, 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 guys. Montreal, we're going to get back everyone to this other stop. thing. Montreal. Hang on, stop, stop. Everyone stop. Because Montreal, here's the problem. You have said that basically they only do short projections, but everything I'm seeing is 100 miles to two, uh, 250 miles. Um, you're not showing anything that would say different is what I think the issue would be. You're not you misunderstood. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm so talking that's... direct line of sight kill range. Yeah, yeah. This why is what would I'm they... talking about. You, you guys are talking you about. You said only four, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? Yes, okay. you're wrong. Okay, okay. Then look, perfect. Then I want you. To First of all, five. you guys don't understand the simplest things of the rail. Um, you actually, that's not. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Montreal, don't do that. Enough. Montreal, don't do that because. Another thing that I do is I do research all the DARPA and all the technologies of military. And I was looking at the railgun before the, there was, when there was only one or two railgun YouTube links up. Don't think that. I was just trying to find the stats for you. I just hadn't spoke up yet. But any okay, with the exception of ever, Sean G, then everything I've heard. Seen, hang on. Anytime you've ever seen those things being shot, show me one. One where that barrel was was level. They ever, ever seen one level? Show me. 
Because that would be the only there was thing only that would one. make you You're believe. Missing, there is there was only one, one. that it's showing, one that it's showing through the plates. Yeah, but you guys are point, missing man. them. You guys are missing the point. If What's you just point? let me get it out, you know, yes, sir. everyone's interrupting me. I brought this up. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. If you give me I'm a minute just, or two, yeah, I'll yeah. explain I'm gonna it make to sure, you. I'm going to make sure that, that opportunity that, that no one's going to do that. Hang on. Give me a second. That's all I ask. Okay. Because we there seems a lot to of people be in here. Miss um, yeah. You said Negator was it was you and Negator, right? That, yeah, yeah, he was chopping, uh, busting my chops all week. Okay. Yeah, I know. I heard a couple other people. Who else was wanting to, was engaging or wanting to? I'm gonna try to make this a lot up. of other, a lot of okay. Uh, RT For right now, a whole bunch of uh, that's they're all on my upset. case. Okay. Well, I, it's for <laughs> good reason. I I understand, but we can't do that. We can't. All well, obsess like at that. people talking or having an opinion or. It's, no, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Upset at what? Okay, what part are <laughs> we wrong about? Simple, man. Okay, what part are we wrong about? Everything. Okay. Everything. What? Well, I don't you think there's anything wrong with the facts that I gave. Yeah, I'm you, all, start all wrong. Stuff. Montreal, start with one thing we're wrong about. Okay, first of all, it does. Does not have ordinance on it. Uh, who said Second it? of all, it's not. Who said anything about ordinance? An upward trajectory. That, excuse me. Who said anything, who about, said anything about ordinance, Montreal? You guys did. You were saying I didn't. I compared a normal. I I talked about a normal muzzle loader. Uh, it, was a, it was a small thing that system. was on the. Somebody said, yeah. anyways. Okay, we'll leave that aside. It's a, it's a moot point. It, okay. Do you guys know what kinetic energy weapon means or is? Can anybody yes. answer me that question? Yep. Hey, Montreal, I, I was a tanker and we fired sable rounds, which are kinetic. Did someone just kick me? Rounds, so. Or did it then just you, drop? You have my greatest respect. It Michael. dropped you. Okay. So, what's, so no one kicks me. Okay. No, you're here. What's, what's the point of it being a kinetic energy weapon? Can you explain to me what a kinetic... Could anybody on the panel explain to me what a kinetic energy weapon is and means? Please. Um, Montreal, this this is a, um, a waste of time. I can, but I'm a flat earther. Yeah, we, we all know what it is. Not you, not you, Chris. No, I want to... These guys that wait, think wait, they wait, know wait, everything... Wait, wait. I want them to... I, I expect, I, not... You guys, Montreal, Mega. My beef Montreal, is with Mega. Sorry, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can answer your question. Everyone, okay, but let me say this, Montreal. You're everyone has given you their their answer. You're saying everyone is wrong and everyone thinks they're right. You're the only one that is right, apparently. Can you please explain to us where we're wrong and why? Okay, because you guys seem to think that you can fire this weapon like a tank. No, you cannot. No it has to be we line of that sight. It's not a projectile. We get. We are not. My bad. We get that it is not the same thing as a ordnance round. We get that. One hundred percent. We know. Oh we know. look, it's a projectile. What, yeah, no, wait, wait, I, why, I, um, yeah, exactly? I, I, I corrected myself on that one. What distance? Okay. okay. Do you think it goes? So, Montreal? Why, why can it only be line of sight only, Montreal? What, what's the problem because with it? Because for now. Guys, guys, yeah. one one at a time. Hold on. Let Montreal finish first. See, this is why Ali B gets pissed off. This is why <laughs> don't yeah, no, no, get no. pissed hey, off. You got me and Sean. We're gonna stop it. We're gonna get it. We got you. We got your back. Okay. So now, what was the question? Uh, you 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 bo you boggled my brain, you guys. What do you want to know? How far do Everything. you think that can fire? The current. One I saw can travel up to 25 miles. Right. Uh, does it do that? Now, does it do that? The one I researched. Now, does it do that at a 90 degree angle? Uh, the the yeah, one I that like. I saw, I, I'm, I'm not exactly, I, I don't think so because they were showing it in an upper trajectory. That's why I said the 40 miles to be sure. It's, it's either 30 or 40 miles that it can. Do a direct hit. Like, if there's a tank there 30 miles away, you're toast. So, okay. my point was when somebody asked for, show us some evidence. I think that started with Jose. I brought up that as one evidence. I brought up the Sea Sparrow missile as another one. And I one. brought up the Bolivian salt flats. That's how all this started. 
Right, but your um, point here, when you hopped on and said I've been busting your balls all week, and that's true, is to prove that it is a line of sight only weapon. So far, you've only said it's a line of sight only weapon, but that doesn't. Uh, it's not it is. Evidence, it so. is, Sean. Currently, it's only a line of sight weapon. Can you validate are that? Doing, yeah, where I'm does it stay? Stuff. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that at all. And I'm going right, to up to a hundred. Yeah, it's it's a mental <laughs> weapon. It's, it's it's only line of sight. There's no, no word put on it. There's no where, guidance on it. Can you show show where it it uh, states a line of sight only? No, way, that's incorrect. I can't, I can't, I can't present right now. I, I really can't. So, so, so right you now. are you are also a little bit incorrect because they are also using experimental ordnance on it, explosive rounds actually within it as well. Yeah, not to power. No, it. no, I said in they the are. future. Well, they are. Let me yeah. let me be clear. They're planning to do future tests for that. There's nothing that they're doing right now. Right now, they're doing direct line of sight. That's all they're doing. Okay, your point here is that you can't that. operate on a globe Earth, and you claim that because it only fires direct line of sight, that you've yet to provide some information proving that it fires direct line of sight, and that it does so at targets out there. That's, that's your point here, Montreal. Well, you that was one of, of the points that I used. Yes, that was one of the points that when, when they asked me for evidence, I didn't say it's proof. If the railgun could fire at 30 miles away, a direct line of sight, that means it's either flat or bigger than what they say it is. But you, the problem here is you have yet to Khalid, how evidence that it, uh, it's not me. It's it not me at all. Fires only direct line of sight. I, I can't see who it is. Like, just, hang on, everyone. Because you, you cannot or... understand what yeah, kinetic. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys, and you're dense, man. Try to listen to when I talk. A kinetic what... energy line of sight can only kill at line of sight. Do you not but understand wait. that? Wait, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's wait, because wait, wait, if wait, you point that up, it loses oh, speed. It cannot. It doesn't have the kill speed. If, uh, that's, if you that's put not, it on an up trajectory. Montreal, it, Do you, you not understand that? Who's the tank guy here? Hold okay, on, I, hold on, hold on. Montreal, Montreal. Yeah, yes. Montreal. If you read the documents, I understand what you're saying. It loses velocity. That's why it travels. Uh, the projectile itself gets up to an altitude of 85 nautical miles before it comes back down, striking the target at Mach 5. Is Mach 5 enough to penetrate a target? It will. I, I don't believe it'll, it'll go Mach 5. No, it's no. Where, That's why yeah, they want to put your, ordnance so on it. Is no, your, I don't think you can go up and come down at Mach 5. You, 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 no. you guys can't do it. You, Chris, you absolutely you can. If you, have hyper, if you have a very dense object, you can we absolutely do it. Will it not reach it terminal out. velocity? It, it, yeah, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Before we go any further, I mean, these two are trying to have a conversation. So, mm -hmm. Montreal, Montreal, uh, what part of it's it's still traveling at the at the uh, Mach five <laughs> is not a problem? Which part of terminal velocity is not a problem? Where's the documentation that says that? By the when way, a when excuse me, when something goes into space, right? They're claiming this thing is going into space now. This is experimental stuff, not tested yet. So if something goes into space and it comes back down, will it not reach the lost terminal? It does not go to space. Yeah, you're talking about two space. different applications. Okay. Okay. Now, hang on. So you're talking about two different applications. I've been reading through it. NASA certainly has some applications where they're looking at using it to launch rockets and various other things. Someone's, by the way, could someone go mute, whoever that is? Hey, Carlos, yeah, 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 I muted you. Your yeah, feedback thanks. was okay. radius. Yeah, and and by the way, yeah, there's the other ones that military are using. Obviously, there's examples here where at something like five miles, it went for a steel plate and then carried on for like another ten miles. Okay, so these things have incredible energy within them. I'm talking here about the projectiles that go along. Also, reading here that railguns can deliver area of effective damage by detonating a bursting charge in a projectile. So, in other words, they shoot a projectile and then they uh, explode that, as I say. So, there's a number of novel uses if you read through some of the documents. Of these things. Are you and talking think, future experiment? I'm no, talking today. I'm not. What's today? No, no. I'm using today. Railguns can deliver an area of effective damage by detonating a bursting charge in a projectile, which unleashes a swarm of smaller projectiles over a large area. I'm reading about today. Okay. Current railgun so, technologies. Tody. 
does, does it say anything as to whether or not it's line of sight or it, whether or not it's a mortar? <coughs> A um, hundred miles it can fire. Not that I found yet. Yeah. So Montreal, I guess the question he just asked is still the point. So far, your evidence that it fires direct line of sight is only because you personally think so. You don't actually have any evidence from the source. Is that no? No. Point? I'm telling you what I read. I'm telling you what I read. Right. And, and you and can choose to believe me or not. So, so, it's so up to on. you. I've got one more thing. I've got one more thing to say, and then I'll be quiet, and others can have a go. Right? I gave you the comparison between a conventional weapon of a muzzle velocity of two kilometers a second and a railgun that's three kilometers a second, right? The railgun is more powerful at that muzzle velocity, right? Without a doubt, right? That's why they're trying to use it. Now, we use those um, projectiles, the standard ones that come out at two kilometers a second, and they're not just line of sight. They have different ways of aiming that at obviously different angles, yep, to go beyond the, quotes, horizon. Yep, they're not just line of sight weapons. So therefore, I don't understand why we think the, the railgun, therefore, is theoretically limited immediately to line of sight. I'm, and I may be missing something here, right? I'm not a ballistics expert. I want to you know, quote that up front. You, keep, you are missing a lot of stuff. You keep saying uh, that sure. it's limited to line of sight. I did. Nobody I said it's, it's not limited, limited to line of sight. You just keep blabbering I, that I on. That. I told you they're doing a lot of experimental stuff in the future. Right now, what I read person. is it's a piece of lead, piece of metal that flies that Direct line of sight. That's what I said. That's what I read. Yeah. That's what I'm telling. Where did you read that? Is the question from the very beginning? I read it in multiple in multiple sites. Uh, I wish I can present right now, but I can't. Okay. Earlier today, when I asked for proof uh, or evidence of that statement or to support that statement, you said you couldn't provide it because you were at work. Now you're not at work, and you can link stuff into the chat. How do you know where I am? How do you, how do you know where I am? Because uh, I called the uh, CIA and they tapped me into your webcam. Right, right. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, so, if you so guys can understand a can, how a kinetic, kinetic weapon works, I, so, I mean, hold there's on, no, hold nothing on. else hold I can tell you. Like Montreal, hey, I, I have, hey, look, I, I got to go. This has been pretty frustrating. Look, man, you didn't provide proof. You were even getting kind of violent with me in chat. Game's over, bud. I'm taking off. <laughs> Run away, boy. All right, I found something. Here Montreal, we go. Montreal, yeah, Montreal, right, hang Montreal. On. All right. Um, hang on, guys. Hang, hang on. on. What's going to happen? Hang on. Hang on. Sean, hang on. Sean, I, I got to go, guys. Sean, I gotta, I'm going to go, but I'm going to keep something. it going. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. See? Please. It works. But All I got to right. go. Rail guns are being examined. Okay. You got to go. go ahead. You got to no, no, go. Okay. Tony, I'm being an asshole. Ra rail you guns. Go. Okay. So I'm trying to read something out because I've got to go and make a drink and go to bed at some point. Rail guns are being examined for use as anti aircraft weapons to intercept air threats, particularly anti ship cruise missiles, in addition to land bombardment. A supersonic sea skimming anti ship missile can appear over the horizon 20 miles from a warship, leaving a very short reaction time for the ship to intercept it. Okay, so I, I see where Montreal is. Which sounds like it's going over the horizon. I, no, but I get why Montreal is getting frustrated, okay? Every, we're, we're, and I've said it too. We're presenting him the future stuff that he's read about, but he's talking about what's been used. And I, I, we're not presenting that. And I think that's. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for crying out loud. I just realized yes. it. Yeah. All right. Can I say something? Yeah, I was going to say the same exact thing. Um, at current, well, this is two years ago, they are firing at four and a half thousand miles an hour. It uses 32 a megajoules railgun, which fires at 23,006. Sorry, 23 million. 601,988 pounds foot of force out of the muzzle, right? The reason they haven't mounted on ships, because at the time, two years ago, they only had three ships capable of powering one. And those ships have 78, mega, 78 megawatts of electricity to power them. And there's only three ships two years ago which could actually power them. So that's probably why they're not mounted on the things. But they've got a range two years ago of 100 miles. Two years ago. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. so what they've got now, I don't know, because this is two years old, this article. But that yeah, is that, a that's lot all that's of power. Available, uh, you're correct. That's all that's yeah. available online now. No, that was two years yeah. ago. That was two years ago. Things move on. So they've probably... 
perfect it a lot better, but that's 100 miles away. That's not line of sight. Yeah, I have, I have an article. I have an article I'm reading right now from May 2019 that states rail guns use non-linear or non-line of sight targeting. Okay, so if it's a non-guided uh, ballistic, non-guided projectile, how the fuck do you aim that? That defeats the person. What's that? Why does it well, defeat that's the where purpose? the trigonometry comes in. Because that's where the trigonometry be, comes listen, in, and they'll guys, have listen, they'll, right. Listen, it would have to oh be a mortar. It would have to be a mortar, right? If it's not a projectile, if it's not a line of sight projectile, and it's not an explosive uh, device, so that it doesn't matter where the fuck it lands, it has. Ah. God damn it. I don't remember what it was. I just in that whole damn thing. I don't remember what the hell I did. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Then you don't need a rail gun, Sean. Then you just yeah. use a, a regular cannon. It would lose most of uh, no, it no, wouldn't go nearly as fast. Right, and it would lose most of its kinetic energy, which is Montreal's point. The, right, this exactly. the, no, the reason why you, they made Chris. It, thank it, you Chris did, did you read did you did you hear what what they the reason why they made the railgun was because they needed something that moved faster than the ballistics that they were using incorrect a, incorrect Sean yeah, negative wrong, this, this is, um, I'll tell you why if you want to know it's four and a half thousand miles an hour as far as that that will go through anything it hits it doesn't need an explosive not device. if you lob it not if you lob it it's not lobbing, it's firing at four and a half thousand miles an hour. What don't you understand Lin about that? I, I understand plenty. Is it a linear firing or is it an arc firing? Yeah, what, what's it firing at? It goes in an arc. Everything goes in an arc. Okay, don't, you, have, don't you realize that if you do aim at an arc, you have to change so many different variables in terms of... If, if, you, if you shoot straight, I, can, I don't have to change much. I can just aim at my target. But if I Even want it, to, if I, hold on, hold on now. But however, if I'm using a rifle to shoot 100 yards at a deer, and then I think, you know what? I think I'm going to try to figure out how to hit that deer at an angle. I would have to aim up extremely high if I kept my position. Or if I Then you have never away, used a rifle before. Yeah. Okay, yep. You have never used a rifle before. If you use a rifle, you know that you have to adjust something. I don't know what you call it in English, which is curve or uh, point the rifle a tiny bit up because okay, everything sure that goes. You just if, interrupted me without listening to what I said because you wouldn't be interrupting me if you had. Um, hold I on, Travis. I, 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 Travis, Travis. Travis, why are you getting hot? Um, Really, I mean, he got he got interrupted with a stupid comment. Yeah, because I got interrupted. And all, and the guy fucking didn't even listen to what I was saying. We all have been interrupted. No, because you were talking bullshit. I'm sorry, I had to interrupt you. Okay. So no, it wasn't. Really. Really. You should have let him finish. Guys, yeah, see, I would and love just like for right now. Guys, right. Okay, guys, slow down. Guys, slow down. Guys, slow down. Guys, when you, when you don't people, know something, everyone stop. When you don't everyone know, stop. Hang then on. Someone should stop you. Hang on. Stop. You're claiming things. Everyone stop. I made. Okay, hang on, Travis. Travis, hang on. I was describing. Hang on. Hang on. Changing hang, my hang on, uh, guys, guys, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. The back and forth. The second that happens, it all is, this folds. So this is what needs to happen. When you hear someone else talking, stop. Whoever was initially will continue on from there. We know you're doing. When you know you're doing it, it's got to stop because you know you're doing it because you're talking over somebody else. Stop, and we'll figure it out. And we'll go from there. But when eight people do it, it doesn't work. That's why panels started getting smaller again. Go ahead. Go ahead, Travis. Okay. A line of sight is a linear projectile. Okay. You're aiming because you can see it. And it's right in your line of sight. Okay. If it's not going to be line of sight and you're going to try to get there, you have to change the degree at which you're aiming. And that's that's all that we're saying ultimately and if you have to change your degree of the, at which you're aiming it's not linear but as montreal has pointed out and chris as well if you then have to aim higher you're then going to change the velocity and it's going to lose uh the velocity 
So it's not going to work out the way that you want. Right. So can I well, ask Travis a question then about a if well, you this, take uh, no, women, Travis. If you take a two-two rimfire rifle, okay, and you point it at a forty-five degree angle, the bullet will travel approximately two miles. Okay. Right, but I'm. Are I'm you hoping, aware? Yeah, but I'm hoping that it's going to land in the appropriate spot. That's the difference between a mortar and line of sight firing. Yeah, Travis, uh, actually on that board, no. I could catch that bullet if, if he lobbed it at a 45 degree angle and I was two miles away, I could actually catch it, you know, with a with a baseball mitt. Right. That, no, right. no, 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 yeah. no. Aaron, <laughs> let me finish. Because in the UK, there have been recorded cases where people have been killed with a with people Accidentally discharging a, a, a two-two rimfire bullet. Accidentally. At, um, accidentally. Yes, accidentally. but the force, the velocity that that round is still traveling up when it comes back down, is still sufficient to kill somebody. That's not the point. <clears throat> okay. the, the point that you're bringing up is the fact that if you are lobbing something at an angle, you don't know where it's going to land. You have no, no control you. over where it's going to yes, finally you, come down. Yes, you do travel. As, and it's called ballistics. I know. Oh, I just yeah. so I, okay, can listen, I, hold on. Can I, know can I you, actually... Can I, can I just yeah. give you an example of, of one of the the uh, rifles, uh, which which would be the most uh, the uh, Mosin Nagat, which has on it iron sights and an adjuster for, for mm -hmm. uh, different for, for ranges. Line of sight, with right, Aaron... Hold on, for different for different angles for shooting farther than three hundred yards. Farther than you can sight. Oh wow! No, Man. no, that it's still in the sights. You okay. still know Why where you're that? hitting your target. Yeah, but you have to change the velocity to get there. The velocity does change, but right. it is still sufficient to take down pretty much anything. <laughs> Mother velocity is fixed. <laughs> Like a no, it's not I mean, fixed. What, what you the velocity is the not fixed bullet. at that at that moment. The velocity what is not fixed at that moment because as soon as it leaves the barrel, the velocity changes. No, I'm 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 saying the muzzle. When it leaves the muzzle, it's the same velocity. You don't have to change. You cannot change it. Even yeah, if you shoot yeah, upward. There be factors that do change the velocity. Right. No, there isn't. Well, friction, friction. The friction of the air does change the velocity of the bullet. Uh, I'm Incorrect. talking about the muzzle velocity when it leaves, the moment it leaves the gun. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, I understand. Oh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, the railgun leaves at uh, Mach 7.2. So. Well, the, the point aim, is... Aim that, with... Sean. Aim that. Lob that, right? And okay. Yeah. Sure. I, I'm pretty sure they have already come up with the with the ballistics on that. Um, you know, they they have charts for this stuff. Uh, in the military, they they give you charts for shooting ballistics all the time. Low uh, speed. It's in the handbooks. Absolutely. So, okay. Let it's, me ask. It, no. If two kilometers per second is cannonballs. is low so speed. I'm talking about cannonballs, right? No. I'm actually, I'm talking about two kilometers per per second. Is that low speed? Yes, compared to the railgun. Okay, it's, okay, it's, sure, it's sure. Minuscule. Okay, so look, look, I, I'm not a mariner. I'm not in the Navy. I don't, you know, know anything about tanks, but I've seen pictures, right? I've seen the movies, right? So you have these huge battleships that have these huge, they're what, not even 50 cals. 50 cals are just machine guns that are take okay. your head off. Two, these are 200 millimeters. These are like 200. Well, yeah, they, they, these are huge, right? But, but they are... They are angled at, at you know, it's, it's all about geometry, right? So I don't know whether or not they're trying to figure out uh, exactly where to go or if they're just shooting and seeing where it explodes and then making their adjustments. I don't know. But my question is, is a railgun exclusively a naval weapon? No, it's not. No. So far, so far in what I've no. read. Travis, so far, 
Um, no, it's not. It's no, not no, no, yeah, no, no. Let, let, let me let me say this. In the U.S., so far, yes, but China has already. India has tested them. Russia has been developing, you know, developing them. Um, Japan, all okay. Everybody's all right. So I'm just going to take Aaron's yes. I'm just going to take Aaron's yes and continue my question. Okay. <laughs> so when this rail gun, when this when this rail gun is is aimed. Is it aimed at an angle? Probably. Yes, I, I would like to speak about this, please, everyone. Hello? Go yep. for it. Yeah, because uh, I, I work with, with these equations. So uh, let, let's just uh, presume that the bullet speed is uh, 14 meters per second, 1400 meters per second. And if you point it at 45 degrees, the bullet or the projectile is going to have two components. The vertical one will be 100 meters per second, and the horizontal will be 100 meters per second. Now, what you do is uh, you imagine as if you're throwing someone some, something up in the sky with a vertical speed of 100, and you calculate what's the time it's going to take. Then you multiply that time by the horizontal speed. So there's a, there's a simple equation for this thing, but of course what's make it complicated is the, uh, the air drag, which they have to account for in the chart of the weapon. Did someone kick me out? Is anyone there? No, you're still here. Yeah, 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 yeah you're still yeah. here. You lagged yeah, off for a second on my end. Yeah, you that, dropped that, off. Oh, uh, I say that depending on the angle, or depending on the distance, they angle the, the cannon in a certain way. They can calculate the, ver the vertical speed. And if you know the vertical speed of anything that you throw up, then you know how long it's going to take to fall down to the same elevation again. Mm -hmm. So that's the time, they multiply the time by the horizontal speed uh, produced by that angle. And there's a simple equation for that, uh, but what makes it complicated is the air drag, and that's why they have uh, specific charts for every weapon and caliber. Are they also taking into account the curvature of the earth when they're not, not only fall due to alleged gravity, or, or uh, airspeed or, or friction, but also the curvature of the I earth. can't say. I don't know that. Really. To, to make the weapon effective, it has to be uh, effective. Otherwise, it, it's a waste, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know really, but uh, I think uh, taking, taking that into account, at least geometrically, is, is, not, uh, is not impossible. Are they taking <laughs> into account hills and topography, right, Sean? <laughs> Troll. Yes, they still do. They take in the account, into account Coriolis as well for ballistics. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've seen those charts of uh, Coriolis. Oh, that was a bomb. It's just, this job, is just getting better and better. Good, yeah, good you job, can Sean. laugh, that but that's how bomb. ballistics work. Coriolis at Mach 7.2. Right, right, right. Right, wait a minute. Let's give Travis a chance to prove to us that he understands ballistics. Travis, Travis is what never, is Travis, the... I'm, I'm not your bitch. I'm not dancing yeah, for you. Yeah. Uh, Travis never ever no, said... No, no, no. Travis, I'm, I'm trying to help you here. Okay, you know what? If I, if I want your help, I'll ask questions. Guys, I got to... Hang on. I got I to gotta say something. Um, hey, Sean. Um, you... Coriolis is yeah, go ahead. Real, you, Sean. You, you are the, uh, the, the... You own this panel. Everyone... Sean says goes because I have to walk away from this microphone. Um, unfortunately, anybody who was wanting to get on this panel, you're not going to be able to because the second I leave this house, uh, it's not going to be able to. Uh, but Sean, in f for future reference, by the time tomorrow comes, you'll be able to control my hangout as well. Just so you know. Um, cool, cool. But I, I got to go to practice, so I got to get out of here. Um, but I, I, I'm, for this one, I'm on my. I'll be on my phone. Um, I won't. You won't hear me because I'm not going to be on. I'm just going to be listening in. So I'll be able to control it if I need to. But um, yeah, that's just a heads up from that one, Sean. And then uh, I, I'm i going to get out of here. And if you guys are still on, <laughs> when I get back, I don't know how you will be. But 
good luck. We'll see. Oh, um, no. We'll see how that works out. And otherwise, if it turns into a shit show, it may suddenly shut off because I did it. <laughs> Kick ass, Way to throw me under the bus right there. Sean, good night. Yeah, I know. Hey, Sean, I told you, man. I'm going full blown, man. I'm going to do a campaign for Sean to be moderator everywhere. International peacekeeper, UN peacekeeper. Right, cheers, Sean. (laughs) Thanks, guys. Totally. 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 Uh, I'll I'll be be around. Like I said, I can still control everything, but I'm giving it to Sean so I don't have to keep my ear to the phone. So enjoy, guys. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Sean. Later, Sean. Sean. Later, Sean. Where were we? Oh, you guys are fucked. <clears throat> a Coriolis uh, effect? Yes, there is charts for Coriolis. Oh, Coriolis. Oh, that's right. The Coriolis. <laughs> All right, right, right. Effect. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please, no, please oh, comment, comment on the existence of charts used by the military. Don't say bullshit. Say it doesn't exist. I yeah, we accept. could we could pull them up. We could pull them up again if if you guys want. What's, that's another what fantasy you guys have: the spinning of the Earth. Wow, that's my favorite one. It's not Comment a on the existence of these documents. But you charts know, that people you know we're use. Spinning because you can't feel the spin. Montreal, it makes everything makes sense. Right? You cannot you feel more than three degrees spin. per minute. You have to add the spin. Yeah, where's the evidence for that? Please? Yeah, also. If you're traveling at a constant velocity, do you know what speed you're doing? Uh, Khalid just made a claim. I was a, like, I would like him to uh, maybe even just have a reference. You have a link for that claim? Demonic, your yeah, constant I can velocity. find you one. Yeah, Demonic, your constant velocity seems to be down. And just to say, I don't have blood flowing through my veins because I don't feel it. Just saying. <laughs> hey, Jose. <laughs> He's a zombie tonight. He has no blood. I know. Yeah, the, the, my blood is not flowing through my veins. It's not just, you know, getting recycled and going around and moving and all this stuff because I don't feel it. It's Halloween, Jose. Put on a uh, mask. Yeah, you, you do, Jose. Right. Yeah, yeah, you do. If you sit still, you'll hear, you'll feel your, your heartbeat. I Who feel my heartbeat. Feel? I don't feel my blood flowing through my veins, bro. Okay, that doesn't... That, that's not analogous, first of all, because the world is not a circulatory system, okay? And the fact that you might think that your blood veins have senses, like maybe your blood veins aren't sensory, right? They don't have uh, nerve endings. If they don't have nerve endings, guess why you don't feel it, Jose? Well, uh, your, your ear, the sensor in your ear claim. three degrees per yeah. second or minute, I'm not sure. Look it up. I'm not going to bring it to you. You Just made the claim, it. Khaled. You made the claim. No. Look yeah, up. Travis, he's not your monkey the same way you refuse to uh, uh, answer one of my questions. You have no clue how to even make an argument, they and them, okay? Make he your own research. He I already made a done. claim. Let's keep it civil, guys. Come on. Come yeah, on. yeah. Okay. I haven't called any names. I haven't called any names. Listen, they and them, listen. He made a claim. I said, could you provide a source? He said, and, go look it up yourself. And Travis, every time we've asked you to provide a source for your ether band, you I'm have to... I'm the source. Uh, what have you... I'm the source. Hey, they hey. Sean, Sean Smith. Hold on, now. hold on, Aaron. Aaron, no Aaron, band, relax. No ether relax. Band. relax, relax. All right, so, <laughs> Travis, the, uh, you know, there, there's been a couple times where, where people have asked for everybody to provide proof. Provide me proof right now. Provide me proof right now. And even even when you were asked, I mean, you're you're driving right now, so you know it, it's it's kind of it's kind of like show me because I want to see right now. It's it, a dick a move. Kid well, yeah, it's a, no, no. it's a little kid. It's, it's a little kid yeah. kind of thing. It's a little it's kid a kind of thing. Yeah. No, no. Yep. It's okay. I'm not trying to be strategic in anything. I said, do you have a link? I wasn't asking you to like read it and prove it right now i just simply said do you have a link guess what that I, means but I'm travis but travis up. hold on hold on travis but you you came in hot and the way you asked for it wasn't like that no no it's not like that i, I just want to explain because every time i waste uh, sometimes a lot of time for things and then when i 
show it, just get thrown away and the subject get changed. Well, so yeah, I want you to project that on me. I'm not that way. Well, when you're in the losing position, you'll always do that. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, I'm not in the losing position, first of all. And second okay. of all, sounds like you're projecting again. So whatever, that's fine. You made a claim. I just was asking about a reference for it. That's all. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it to uh, you. Let's no let's let's go back. What was what was the claim for? What, what uh, were you asking for? We were talking for? about Coriolis, and he said that the body could only uh, detect three percent or uh, of some kind of uh, a movement above a movement above three degrees a minute. Or a, he wasn't sure of the actual figure, whether it was per minute, per second, etc. But he was going to check. Didn't you make the first right. claim, Travis, that you say the Earth doesn't spin? Coriolis uh, is not a movement. Coriolis is not a movement. Coriolis, Coriolis is an effect. It's not a cause. Yeah, but yeah. Travis, did you, did you make a claim that the Earth doesn't spin? Was it your claim? That's a claim that you got to prove. I, I, made, I, made no, I made no claim in this hangout along those lines. I made no such claim, Jose. Okay, then my those bad. Words, I think yeah, I heard you words, saying that. No, those words did not come out of my lips. Maybe as he wants to say, we don't feel the earth spin or the earth doesn't spin or something like that. Somebody say it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, earth, I do believe you did say that, yeah. Travis. I, th I think yeah, you said, it was I, it, I think you did, you said we don't feel the yeah. spin yeah, is what it was. Well, yeah. somebody brought oh, okay. up well, I, I did say, I did say, you know we're spinning because you can't feel the spin. That's what I did say. Yeah, Montreal, Sean Smith brought up Coriolis of the railgun. He goes, oh, yeah, you also have taken the fact of uh, Coriolis at uh, Mach 7.2 ballistics. No, we were talking about ballistics. Right. Ballistics. Uh, if I we may, I'd we like to answer Jose's about the... question about the blood. <clears throat> sure. Jose asked, we don't feel about the blood. That's a very good question, actually. And I, I did a lot of thought about stuff like that. And there's an answer to that, Jose. The answer is, believe it or not, your body... Your, your brain has a mechanism uh, that stuff like your, your shirt or your hair or, or, or your blood or your heartbeat, it automatically phases it out. If not, we'd go crazy. There's apparently a mechanism in your brain that cancels all that stuff out. Yep. Believe it or not. That, that could be uh, also the, the, the reason why we don't feel the spin of the earth. Yeah, but you would have to eliminate certain variables to get there. You can't just guess. Well, well he has be. a point. He has a point but, there. But, but, but right, but. it could be because this is the point. We've evolved on this planet. So we may well have evolved to not <laughs> notice <laughs> that. No, Sorry. we may well yes, have I'll evolved. Yes, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But notice, there's right? also this The same story. way that we reject the shirt and the same way we reject the sort of our hair moving and all those little things. Because I agree with you, Montreal. We, as biological animals, you know, um, need to reject some of those silly things or we would go crazy, right? So it could be. Correct. It could be. Yes. It could be. Right. I'll give you that. Even I'll give you that one one rotation. You gotta understand though we're tilted. We're we're moving in a linear rotation, like it's... in a merry go round. Plus we're traveling at five or six or seven, I forget how many other uh, things. So that's but, 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 impossible. Right. So that's this is why it's find... for us not to feel that. That's my opinion. So this... So this is why I have a difficulty with this, and I'll explain why. It's when people go, someone's eating online, it's a horribly distracting noise, whoever's doing that, if you could sign up for space. That, I'm not that, rumpus, but it is a dreadful noise. Um, so we, we get the thing about, oh, if there's gravity, butterflies shouldn't be able to fly, bees shouldn't be able to fly, whatever. Again, they've evolved on the planet, right? So things that have evolved within an environment are pretty <laughs> well adapted to it. So, and again, you can keep saying bullshit all you like, Travis. Um, the, the, the point is that those things that have been developed within that environment are well suited for it so it's almost like chicken and egg it's like of course it's going to be that way of course they're going to be able to cope with that because they're developed from that you know for, like for your, those circumstances yeah i like your explanation Tody. um but is there any proof of that i mean it sounds good you know it sounds good well i think the proof that butterflies fly and bees fly and so forth probably is is reasonable oh, oh, proof no, that they've adapted to, to the circumstances your evolution claim I think oh, problem... right, yeah. Whew, I don't want to get into that one. That's a big... Yeah, <laughs> That's another day. No, it is, therefore it is. It's not a claim. You can't right, say, yeah, oh, right. look, it is, therefore it is. No. Right. That's what you're doing right now, <laughs> it seems to me. Uh, Tony, if you say, well, you know, we, we see what uh, 
um, butterflies do. We see what bumblebees do. We see what they do. Therefore, they must have evolved to get to that point. That's that's circular reasoning. That's I think adaptation. It's, well, yeah, I think it's well. There's there's a there's uh, Simon Dan went o- went over this one uh, actually recently about the Galapagos oh. Islands, um, oh. where where it was uh, the same same types of, of um, turtle, but different ones had evolved for different uh, the different environments that they were in. Uh, like yeah, the, the shell would be different. Is, is a good example of that. Sean. You can't. You right. can't prove they. You cannot prove they evolved to get to that point. You can only analyze them yeah, yeah, in what? their geographical location. And if they are a, if they are a different species or a different okay. genus, okay, you can't then say, well, they're in a different location and they look like this tortoise, but they're different, so they must have evolved. That's begging the question. But Travis, so that's, that's species, kind of the problem. No is, one has the, ever uh, hold on. watched that animal evolve to get to what that point. Species, never but saw Travis, what it was. What species but Travis, did it there's come one, from, there's right, one, Travis? there's one what thing, there's one thing. Come from? If 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 the turtles were all the same species, but evolved differently, would that make a difference? That's that's uh. No, what no, do you no, I, about, okay, first of all, I do not deny uh, micro me. evolution. Yeah, micro. Okay, I do that's not. That's not micro. Okay, can I finish my sentence, please? I do not deny microevolution. What I'm denying is that a species develops something that's going to uh, allow it to adapt to its environment. There it is, Travis. You shouldn't say evolution. Always say microadaptation. That's, that is the word. Okay? No, right, Aaron, issue. just let my him finish, issue is, My issue is you cannot, prove, you cannot look at the finished product and say 10 billion years ago this was a completely different animal and it developed some kind of adaptation for its environment you cannot prove that that is no. correct yes a fish is not going to become an elephant Sean's back i'm back no go Jim's close. no go today nobody died no one died no, no training go. No, nope. Sean. You know what I just thought of, and shame of us. Nobody asked. I am happy you. I came How's back. How's your friend, man? Uh, oh, he's How's good. How's your he's friend good. in the accident? Yeah, he's good. Uh, okay. Pretty banged up. Uh, collarbone, uh, punctured lung, uh, that thing on your hip, the cl- whatever that is, his hip basically, and uh, uh, among a bunch of other little broken bones. But yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, Both Sean. Pretty um, bad moment. I had some good to hear. I yeah yeah. I had some bad news the other day. Uh, my daughter's brother-in-law uh, slammed his motorbike into a bus. Mm. Uh, almost slap, snapped the bottom of his leg clean off. Uh, oh. Collapsed lung, bleeding in the lungs, bleeding of the spleen, broken pelvis, but no head injuries. Uh, he was in a coma. They put him in induced coma for two days. Yeah. They brought him out last night just to see if he was able to be cognitive which he was so that means no head injuries yeah yeah but the thing is he may lose the leg and uh yeah the the pelvis thing the good thing is even though it's broken it hasn't moved but if he if he moves that is a good thing yeah Yeah. but if he moves it'll collapse yeah (laughs) yeah that's so that's a situation where you just got to be thankful. You know, he still has his life, you know? So, yeah. At least at that, so thank God for that. That's right. Anyway, back to uh, Travis. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you disprove evolution? Uh, it's, you, you can't, you can't disprove, uh, I can't disprove your claim necessarily. I'm saying that uh, it's your claim that evolution happens. Therefore, uh, you're the one. It, you can't reverse the burden on me and say, I actually, disprove my position. I can show you. you. Okay. It's... So I'm simply making certain assertions. I've, only, I've already made them. Okay. If you want to challenge my assertion that you mm-hmm. can go back in time and, and show me evidence that you know that this animal developed this adaptation to, uh, to adapt to its environment, then go ahead and prove that. Okay. I'm saying can I, ask you something, I don't Travis? think it can be done. 
Can I? Can, can, so course. if I show you a, a, a species of animal that changed its um, its genetic structure, basically, that would be evidence. Okay. Into into uh, another species, in, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. means they, no. they can't. They can't. They <laughs> also know. means they can't breed together. That, that Are you talking about a mule? Nope. Well, in the Are same sense, yes. Mule? In the same sense. Okay, I'm not talking about micro adaptation. That's John. not micro. Micro uh, it's micro within, adaptation. It's within, it's, it's within the same. It's, it's within the same species, right? No. It's just it's just like it's just like marrying Wait. your cousin and having kids. And then, like a couple generations later, they're not uh, all there, right? That's what? interspecies generation. That's not what I'm talking about. No, that's evolution, not developing something. Evolution is when when the your body, the genome, the species, it it genetically changes from what it was. It doesn't necessarily mean that no, it becomes a, something else. That's not the that's not the mega theory. Sure. No. no it, wait. Are you sure, no Aaron? Mega, You're talking micro no uh, theory. Sure. No, 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 because a micro okay, would be the Sean, same thing what's as. Okay, your example? Okay, the, why don't, the, why don't I have right uh, pitch scales, Sean? We're talking Scale. an amoeba becoming an elephant. <laughs> no, exactly. it doesn't work that way. <laughs> that's no, what, that's, what, that's no, what it is, Sean. That's not what evolution even says. You'd have to pull it up. The same kind of, what you just said is the same thing as when someone says, we all came from monkeys. This is not true. Yeah, but we we yeah. are agree. eukaryotes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Here, I'm pulling it up. Well, right I now. agree. I agree on the flat Earth side, but I'm not sure I agree on the polar side. Okay. Did you need more than one citation, or is one good enough? I just want to know what you're talking about. I just oh. want to know where the monkeys are. Yeah. Talking to one. Anyway, <laughs> that's what you, that's what you earned. Sean, everything was going well until you came, you know that. Right? I know, because no one has this information. <laughs> Sean, you fucked it all up. I use this information on a regular when I talk about evolution. Yeah, I've, okay, so. I've, watched, I've watched and read numerous things on evolution. Um, do, do you know that you're basically related to everything that has one hole for the food to go in and one hole for the excrement to come out? Wait a minute. No. There, I don't believe that it, it's a crock of shit. <laughs> I got that. He said crock shit. Um, so 1971, biologists moved five adult pairs of uh, Italian wall lizards from the home inside the pod capacitor, blah, 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 uh, islands. Uh, let me get down here. Hopefully this is the right one because one of them has pictures and the other one doesn't. So you can see exactly. Nope, this isn't it. Okay, wait, I didn't hear what the animal was. What's the animal? Oh, it's a, it's the wall it's a lizard. lizard. It's a wall lizard. That's what it's called. A wall lizard. Okay. Yes. I'll do this for better for illustration, and while you argue about it, I'll get the documents for it. But this is it right here. <clears throat> what did it turn into? Frogs? No. So, in this experiment, <laughs> it uh, it's genetic. The its stomach and intestines uh, are different. Its bone structure changed. Its head, its jaw structure changed. Um, the main what thing was... What was the duration? 71 years. So far, 70, 71, uh, 38 so, so, years, 39 years, I think. No, 40 years, so I'm sorry. We're in 40 years now. Okay, so, 71. So all of these uh, changes were uh, obviously recorded. Were yes. they all Were they all intermittent or were they all consecutive? It was the consecutive. Okay, so they all happened basically at the same time. All of these changes... Yeah, they, Travis, yes, you know, they studied and watched it happen, yes. Uh, speaking of jaw structure and everything, you know, uh, I have an older sister and a younger sister. <clears throat> I was born. My teeth are actually pretty damn straight. Both of them needed braces. I mean, Travis, that was within, what, four or five years that they were born? I mean, that's evolution right there because their jaw structure was actually different. Uh, you know, yeah, to my parents. My, my, yeah, again, but that, know, would be, that, know, would be that would be the that would be a genetic... Uh, Collaboration oh, between Sean. your parents. That'd just be a variation within the species, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. That's not. Um, yeah. Uh, one stripe. Evolutionary genetical stripe. change, is it? How can you isolate the cause of these changes? How can you? How can you isolate the cause? By putting them on an uh, island. <laughs> yep. And that's what they And did. then testing. 
three different islands. Mm -hmm. Is this the one where they crippled their legs and then they um, compensated uh, for it? Is this the one? No. No. <laughs> or maybe that's the, there's one that they did. Yeah, there's um, I think it was lizards. It was some kind of insect where they they, they, they introduced them into an island and they did something with their legs. Um, um, and then the they other... developed some... Um, no, no, I think they are these the their legs. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Are these the ones that that run across the uh, run across the ground with uh, only on their hind legs? Are those the ones no, you're no, talking no. about? Oh. No, those are government employees. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place down here. Uh, that that would be uh, frill neck lizards and yep. bearded dragons. Yeah. No, no, uh, beard dragons. Well, no, no, no. Beard. Actually, actually, there's there, there's a uh, there's some down here that that um that aren't the frill neck or the or the bearded dragons that run on the on their uh, uh, hind legs uh, let me ask they, you how, how, does they, how, how does a lizard fit into a spacesuit I just can't quite figure that one out what non sequitur yeah uh, there's another there's another evolution test that was done it's called the dark fly experiment like that, it's where, like that, Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> the lizard people. <laughs> so I, I don't think my question was actually really, really addressed. I know that you said they, they moved them, they relocated them. Okay, yeah. Yep. But, but there's, what was the cause in the relocation? Like, what was? Oh, okay, they, I mean, was it just for the study? Like, no, um, it was for the study to. To study if they could, or to see if they can study evolution. So what they did is they took uh, the wall lizards from two different um, er, uh, two different areas, two different islands, and then they put them on a third island. And over the over since 1971, they've been studying it, and these are the, the um, results of it. Where, like I said, the, it says, "Oh, it's a yeah, that it right physically here. changed its genetics." Yes. Okay. So my question, and I, and I am interested in this. So my question is: every single every single specimen they would had we they would have had to have analyzed. Yeah, right? uh, as many as they could find. Yeah, um, they. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was saying here. I remember it saying um, the amount, but yeah, yeah it, I, more I, than enough. I, go, yeah. go ahead and did you put that link in the chat? Because uh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, read this, but it, I I find this very difficult to believe that this yeah, is uh, actually here. valid. There's other ones. I'm, I'm going to pull those up. This is just the. One I know is like, yeah. There's definitely they, another they one, work. as I say, that I heard about where they made uh, a, dif bachelor, a difference to the animal, introduced it, <clears throat> it changed, the major, and then it even yeah, Tony, evolved over about twenty-five point? years. What is the major point here? I mean, did so, it grow a fifth leg or uh, no? Yeah, I can't remember. I think the ampule for, for this one. This one went. The one on the left is vegetarian, and the one on the right evolved into eating insects. And that's where their okay, stomach so and their intestines, diet, uh, yeah. The, the, it, yeah, it all changed. Diet changed yeah. No, okay. it's diet. It's, diet it's hunting. It's it's capabilities. Because remember, if you eat only vegetables and you eat only uh, insects, your jaw structures are different. Their jaw structures completely changed. Whereas you said that yours, your sisters had different ones. That's like um, Tody said. It's, it's variation in the genetic code, but your sisters don't have. Don't have you know like uh what do you call them? Carnivore. Different internals. Yeah, yeah. It's there are not, hundreds of it's not, there are hundreds of thousands of vegans. Uh, humans, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's so by choice. Well that's and not by do selection. Do you believe? Do you believe in forty-one uh, years that they're gonna, their jaw they're, structures going to change? So no, we can because point they're them still out. taking. We'll be like, yep, that's still, a vegan. Uh, no, because right? they still have to take yeah. supplements, and they're still getting the same supplements and vitamins that they're going to be getting on a regular basis. <laughs> Not enough to change. So now, if you, if you and you're in a too. couple of generations, because remember, I'm pretty sure those lizards have, uh, you know, go through their generations a little bit quicker than we do. Um, so they're, they're, they have an ability. That's probably why they picked them. They have an ability to be able to evolve faster than we would because they breed much more than we do. So, again, the idea of adaptation is to compensate in order to, to survive. For okay, an right? environment. So, yeah. this is Foreign my best example of that. If I go, if I live in San Diego, it's, it's warm here. If I go to Alaska, I adapt by putting a jacket on. I adapt by putting a beanie on. Now, my son, 
then he meets somebody and they have a kid, their kid may have thicker blood, more hair, um, darker skin. Oh, my God. No, this is actually proven fact. You want to know how we know? The Sherpas over in uh, um, Mount Everest, the high level, the people that live on the mountains versus the people that live in the lowlands, they're the same people, same same people, but they have a completely ge- genetic code. One's blood is a lot thicker than the other ones, and different at, um, attributes Do of their... they have their... the same diet? No. Sean, that's not evolution with all... They no, don't no, no. have it, the no, same Montreal, diet. Montreal. That's environmental. Montreal. No, it they is. don't have the same diet. It is Montreal. Yes, it that's is. That's um, adaptation. Do you think the diet could have anything to do Travis. with it? Over time. Travis, hold on, hold on. It has everything to do with if it. Sean, everything. If Sean moved down to Antarctica, he would become a penguin, apparently. I mean, that's what he said. <laughs> For a minute, you had me worried or, there, or, Aaron. Good is one. that what I said, Aaron? Or is that how someone would move the goalpost so far back and it would only that it would take make it sound years. so unrealistic unre- that it makes it sound so crazy? But realistically, you're just saying a lot of words and misinformation that deters from the actual reality of what we're discussing. Let's take the opposite. Let's bring a penguin up to San Diego. And if, as long as it was fed, as long as it had food... Could it survive? I mean, do you think it, it, it in just zoos? Survived? They survive in zoos. Yeah, it's called yeah, sea world. Penguins in zoos. Sure, absolutely. Trolling, trolling. Are trolling. they evolving? Yeah, yeah On a time. macro or micro scale? No. Uh, um, no actually, not. actually, if you go to the your local Sea World, um, yeah, actually, you can see evolution in that penguin exhibit because yes, penguins didn't look the same forever and always. They have different characteristics. For instance. Why do you think there are penguins in South America? Mm. Yeah, they got lost when they went no for a answer. swim. Yeah, I have no yeah. Answer. okay, perfect. That's fine. Yeah, that's probably exactly what happened a long, long time ago. But guess what? They're genetically completely different. Completely different. Yeah, but they you do have not to prove that they evolved. Wait, wait, wait. So are you telling me that penguins aren't penguins aren't penguins? I just no, told no, you no, that no. penguins in South America are different from penguins there, but yet there's none across the okay. above the northern hemisphere. There's reason for these do things. Do you know? Okay. Do you know at which point in South America's history there were no penguins? Let's find out. The thing, my Google works. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> what about yours, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> you don't even read Kurt right. I'm lost. I can't get out. I'll troll you guys a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. Now start. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, re- well, real like quick. You real quick. I put it now. Don Smith, I, what is Google? Yeah, what is Google? You tell me. A well, I don't know. Why don't you Google it first? Um, but it, anyways, in, in the okay, side chat, I, I did put... Google. To what? find, okay, go ahead. Sorry. What, uh, Trolling uh, I put a, uh, I put a link into the uh, lizard that that uh, walks on its hind legs in in South Florida. It's called the basilisk, a brown basilisk. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, they're they're uh, they're deemed the Jesus Christ lizard. Do they walk on water. Oh yeah, how about those fish that uh, climb trees as well? They've evolved to climb trees. You've seen those ones in um in Florida, is it? Yeah. You get them. They come out of the water. They can walk. The walking call, fish. Um, yeah. We call them uh, it's some yep. kind of catfish, isn't it? Yeah, it's a catfish. What do, you, what do you call them? The yeah. lungfish, I think it's called. Like, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it breathes air. Yeah, they could be lungfish, yeah. Is, and they climb yeah, trees. Yeah. The problem is you have... Right, right. But the problem is... Have you seen them? They're amazing. You, you, you YouTube it, Sean. Show yeah. us them. <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah, yeah but that's yeah, there's, there's mud become a dog, guys. Or a cat. Mud there's mudfish as well. Hold on. Yeah, yeah mudfish, mud dogs. Yep. Again, the problem is you're looking at the finished product and you're working backwards to say that something happened to get to that point rather than no 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 the but they were introduced always being that no 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 they didn't do that did they they were introduced to um wherever it was in uh, florida i think it was and then they needed because the rivers suddenly yeah, they were up to move to different rivers so they spent longer and longer outside the water and then they started hey, climbing trees and stuff hey sean yeah. hold on aaron hold yeah. on aaron, over the last 50 googled, years aaron, i actually please. googled google i actually googled google sean and it's hang a on, one hang followed on, by a hundred zero uh it's a one Aaron's in the, by in the process of trying to Sean troll really Smith, well, but not you, doing a very good job at it. I know. Are you one of those zeros, Sean Smith? Okay, no. Aaron, uh, hold on, please. Okay, so Toadie, 
So you're telling me that this uh, species was introduced accidentally, I think. Yeah, mm. they escaped, didn't they? They got out of a tub. They says, climbed out of a tub. Says all penguins they, species they live in so- the southern, southern hemisphere so from the Galapagos yep. Islands to the Antarctic continent. None of the wild uh, so they were lives hoppers. in the North Pole. Well, hoppers maybe. Well, I don't know. They got accidentally introduced, didn't they? Uh, have you read up about it? It's pretty mm. fascinating. And now they've been. Um, They've, do, you know, they started to climb trees, right? So it's definitely evolution. That penguin went north of the hemisphere. That's a bold little fucker. I bet that's happy feet. Sorry, guys, I got a kid. Um, yeah, yeah. Calling look, a pen- look at those, a those, a penguin those fish. Can have about twenty. Oh, shout out to Pete Che with the dodo, right there. Ooh, penguins used to be a lot bigger. Yeah, my question to you again was, when was South America without penguins? It was, uh, so far, everything I'm saying, I'm saying they've been from the Galapagos Islands to uh, Antarctica. I'm looking right now for more. I just wonder why my body hasn't adapted the way I wanted it to since I was 16. I'm like, damn. Because you're not Sean a lizard, is and you don't, and you don't, your body SBC. does not change the way other animals do. Uh huh. That breed a lot more than you do. A lot uh-huh. Travis, the more he look, Travis, the more Sean looks into these penguins, <laughs> the more he's evolving into one. I, but I don't. Yeah, you suck, Aaron. Come on, man. If you're gonna troll, <laughs> troll good at least. Here we are. I've got it, Travis. Here you go. Another species, the climbing catfish has even evolved modified fins which can grasp rocks and climb tree trunks. They don't possess lungs, but they've got a wrinkly substitute called a labyrinth organ which allows them to absorb atmospheric oxygen. And they can flop between bodies of water and survive in stagnant pools for long periods. They're called muscles, yeah, I thought I you think, were talking locally. Yeah, yeah I thought you were talking about the, the uh, mangrove killfish. Down here in Florida. Oh, no, Florida. they're another one as well. No, the one I'm yeah. talking about, these, these mud skippers, the, I think it was Florida, but I might be wrong. Mangrove killfish aren't the only fish that can climb. Uh, these ones I'm talking about, the North America. All oh, right, okay, sorry, I've got it wrong. I've got it mixed up. So me, America's all one place. So sorry, yeah, these ones are in North America. There's also another fish that hunts above water. You guys hear about that one? Nope. Is that the uh, flying fish? Guys, huh? <laughs> All right. So I found so it's this fish. Sick. It spits out. It spits out like a jet of oh, water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it even yeah. calculates oh, the fraction. Yeah, because, you know, I have seen that. Yeah, that's the most amazing thing, man. Yeah, I don't know what it's called though. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It knows about refraction as well. You're right. Yeah, because it ha- has to hit its prey yeah, with this jet of water. They're amazing, those ones, aren't they? Yeah, that's the Ooh. coolest thing I've ever seen. Owls are changing colors. But it's still not evolution. It turns into evolution. Montreal, what about, what about uh, carp fish? Okay. Uh, I think it's the Japanese carp that actually just jumps into your boat. You don't even have to put your pole in the water. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, I remember yeah those are cool. video of that raining fish, man. Raining out of the sea. Onto like yeah. hundreds That's an invasive of species. Yeah, yeah. And they just, yeah, they just jump right into your boat. That you seems don't even counterproductive, have to right? Counter evolution, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to fish. Just, just I mean, sit no, there no, and you, crack a, you, crack no, a no, beer. You want, you want those ones to jump in. If we were the species, we'd want those humans jumping in the boat. Just go, yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. <laughs> have fun. Yeah, yeah. Out. Well, here's the here's the issue with yeah. that carp. It doesn't taste good. Just to let you know. So, you know, I mean, they may jump in the boat, but yeah. you don't want to eat it. Yeah, I know That's about those song. because it, it um, a, guys that do uh, that do um, dog sledding, dog sledding, they go out there and, get, and catch those. And then those are, are uh, prime for dogs when si- right. salmon's not around. Sure. Yeah, it's good for food, but not for humans. Like Sean said, like, wait, it doesn't taste no, good. No, 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 no. He said it doesn't taste good. It, it, they, You can survive eating it, though. Oh, sure. I think they're uh, they're eaten in China those fish. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, have you heard about the most disgusting for... thing? Okay, I'll just tell you quickly about the most disgusting thing, and you may well have heard of it. 
Have you heard about this tribe that they have down uh, in Vietnam? And they go out with this big net um, during the summer when they've got big swarms of midges. Do you know what midges are? Is the word midge uh, mean anything to anyone? Uh, yeah, but All right, I um, uh, gnat, uh, <clears throat> gnat. All right, midge. It's an gnat. insect. Um, in, yeah, it's a very small insect. Right, exactly, a very small insect. Right, like a sort of yeah, very tiny insect. Anyway, so they go out with this big like net. Yeah, I mean it's like ceremonial. They wear this headdress and everything. They spin this net round, and what they do is they catch literally millions of these swarms of these midges or gnats, we call them in the UK, these tiny little insects, which are just disgusting. It's like, like fruit flies, but, but more disgusting. Catch them in this net, and they squeeze it all together, and they make like this kind of like beef burger, this patty from it, and then they put it in a couple of buns, and then they eat this. It is a real delicacy. Absolutely mm, disgusting. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I've eaten coming at McDonald's too. Loads, loads of protein, and you need a lot of ketchup on it. Yeah, coming to a McDonald's soon. Oh, wait, it's already there. <laughs> so, uh, try the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that what so, is that what Vegemite is? Is that Vegemite? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it, the, uh, uh, hey, so, so as a survival tactic. So, so as a survival tactic, uh, I've eaten ants. Uh, yep. Grasshoppers, uh, all sorts grubs. of stuff. Grub. Grubs. Yep. That's what I was going to ask you. What's the worst okay. thing that you've eaten? Uh, grubs by far the worst, but if you ha take a handful, they'll make you feel the best. Yeah, nope. yeah. The worst, the worst part is when when you pop one in Get your mouth and them. it wriggles yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. So that's worst, probably the worst. The, so I so I the, thought the worst part is when you bite it and you yeah, it feel that goo. The, that goo. Yeah. Just that's when they start moving it, around. That's when they move. They yeah. trust me. Sloppy, they don't stop. Hey, just because you bit into them, they don't stop moving. Like for a while, like uh, millworms. And they're very chewy worms, as well. They'll 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 try to stop themselves from going down your throat. So they're very chewy yeah, too. So, 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 so to back up. Yep. the worst thing I ate is scorpions because they've got that like white goo inside them when you bite into them. By the way, they were cooked. They were deep fried, but still they got that goo in them. They taste disgusting because the shells cooking is taste decade. like kind of burnt stuff. Yeah, really bad scorpions. And then the other thing I ate in Vietnam, which was really bad, was um, uh, a bit of bear meat. That's disgusting. And the other thing was a, a testicle of a um, river. They river have all these snake. things. River yeah, snake. Not a river snake. Uh, Ooh, they got a parasite that will in South America that will swim up your pee pee and uh yep. It'll go bye bye. Yeah. Oh that fish, yeah, it's called the uh what's it called that fish, yeah. A pee pee fish. You <laughs> know it what looks for like urine, China. doesn't it? Yeah. In, in yeah. China they in China they'll catch snakes, of course, and then cook them up in this big old pot and uh, mm -hmm. and chop them up into little one inch sections with, with uh, snakes don't have a backbone but they have the cartilage there. And the fucking Chinese will just sit there talking to each other and just chew this skin uh, off the side of this thing. And they'll uh, slurp on it. They'll dip it back into the hot pot, you know, the spicy uh, shit. To get the best of it. it. <laughs> and then they'll suck the marrow, like, out of the fucking uh, cartilage, whatever the snake, <sighs> you know, that bone or whatever it's made of. And it's just, like, when I, I was there, I tried one. Um, was it good? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Did you uh, did you eat dog while you were there? Did you eat dog at all? Have you ever yes, tried dog? dog meat, horse what was dog meat. like? Yeah, what was dog like? Horse is good. I've eat I've eaten oh, horse in the UK Cody, and Cody, France. Cody. Horse is good. You should not it's have chewy. brought this up. Um, so here's right. a fish oh. that uh, <laughs> okay. will swim up your penis hole. Yeah, and it's got spikes. It's called on the horror skills. story, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. got spikes on its skills. Man, so leech, no. Out. Uh, yeah, they um, call yeah. it. Uh, it's a uh, can uh, kandiru. Kandiru, kandiru. Yeah. Yeah. yeah other, other people call it the Philly fish, <laughs> and because uh, yeah. it, it filly up your pee pee. That's it. And the thing is, right? You need a special <laughs> thing to protect yourself from it because even if you just go in the water, it can detect the protein that's in your urine, even if you're not peeing, and find out where yeah. to go. Yeah. A little bastard. And yeah, also, it infects you... women too. Surprisingly, it infects women too, not yeah. just men. Yeah, if you're peeing in the way, that'll swim up your urine to get in you. Yep, that's what it uses. That that is evil. Um, yeah, th those are those are evil, and so are the bot flies. Bot flies are pretty evil too. Oh yeah, bot flies. They carry a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, you, you, no, you, yeah, they they make a home in inside of you, and yeah. munch you. 
the, the worst other. thing I ever saw was uh, I was working in the hospital back in the early days when I had my first job and uh, we had someone come in and they'd got um, elephantitis where they got one of those worms mm. that goes into your leg and oh my god it just it stunk number one and the only thing they can do and they have a surgical splint and they just wind it out slowly each day this worm yeah. until they can get it out right this worm and it's a very long worm right and it is just the most disgusting thing to see and, and it was all swollen yeah, we, and bruised oh new guinea you know what's new cool guinea, about that. guinea worm that's it guinea yeah worm. yeah the guinea worm you know what's cool about that situation toady is is the human body it was it was able to still live even with something else living inside it like that. I agree. It's amazing, isn't it? That's how parasites and that's yeah, how parasites totally survive for so many years. You got those it's parasites that will senses. make the animal commit suicide. Have you seen it's those? Oh yeah. Senses, that's the human tr- that's body crazy knows shit. where it's yeah. at. It's uh you know, it knows if it's spinning, it knows mm. if it, you know, you're going around a curve, you know, you, <laughs> that's that's how cool the human body is. You can have other shit living inside. Do you know how messed up the human body is? We can survive a worm attack, but we get a particular virus and we die. Yeah, the interesting thing I listened to the other day, if you've ever heard of this Radio Lab, it's an American program. It's very, very good, by the way, yes. you, uh, for podcasts. But anyway, the, the one they did was on Patient Zero. And I thought I knew where AIDS came from originally. Actually, I didn't realize. AIDS came from two different types of monkey that were eaten by a, um, I think it was a baboon, but anyway, um, no chimp, actually a chimp. And then a human was butchering the chimp um, in Burundi or somewhere, and he cut himself, he cross-infected. But the amazing thing is it entered the human population in about 1910. Incredible, right? Because I thought it was like a 60s or 70s thing. Eight, but yeah. 1910, yep. And it took about 50 years bombing around Africa, do you see what I mean, before it spread out. And they go through the whole thing. They've traced it genetically, yeah, to work out where it came from. It's really incredible. So that, if you, you, yeah, gone. That's why. That's why they had such an issue back then. Um, you know, with with the spread of it over in Africa, uh, over in Africa, because Correct. they didn't. It was already they didn't endemic. Understand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was already endemic, and basically there was this tribe in Burundi, who have been butchering for maybe like I don't know, ten thousand years these particular chimps and it actually came from like the long nose something and the other kind of two kinds of monkey basically which both had to be eaten by a chimp and both had to be in its stomach and both had to be in the same cell at the same time but of course because they're eating monkeys you know chimps are eating other monkeys all the time you know there's enough of that going on that eventually you'll get really unlucky and exactly those circumstances will happen because it's like a one in a billion or one in a trillion chance of course there's lots of cells was it AIDS or was it HIV? Um, so it was HIV because there's something called SIV, which is simian immunovirus, and that's how human immunovirus came about from the two types of monkey with this SIV, and the SIV crossed over into, well, you know, a strong kind of SIV, and then when this guy cut himself, the SIV entered into the human and then became HIV. So let me ask a question real quick, Tody. You you're telling me that they could. Uh, backtrack to an event in 1910 where probably yep. no one was recording what this guy was doing. Doesn't matter. They, the reason they know it uh, is because they have uh, skin and blood samples that are in microscope slides. No, um, no, no, no. This guy I'm went talking to Burundi. About the action. I'm talking about the action of what you described as this guy yeah. killing a monkey and he cut himself, so, so blah, hang on. blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, yeah, let me explain. So they know that it must have crossed over from blood from simian immunovirus that's been around for many, many years. Um, and so, of course, they don't know exactly that's how it happened. It's called the Hunter hypothesis, but it is their top hypothesis because it's hard to see another hypothesis where blood is transferred from a chimpanzee into a human being. Yeah, I mean... There are other circumstances, but as I say, listen to it. It's the most, if you drive a lot, this podcast is incredible. Have you ever considered it's genetic a, It's warfare? a really good one. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, patient zero. By the way, I, I had quickly, they tell the other story on this podcast, which I didn't know either properly. I'd heard of it, but no, properly of, have you heard of Typhoid Mary and her story? Yep. Yeah. That's, all right, so you know about her being sent to the island and then she uh, legally got off the island and the fact that she was cooking things? Yeah, did cooking, you know all that huh? part of it? I'll look the link up. Cooking, I'll look the link cooking up. Cooking where? So, so she cooked peaches. And the reason she infected so many people is that Typhoid Mary was a carrier, but she actually didn't have the symptoms of typhus. 
And so her favorite dish that she cooked, because what they did is they tra- the doctors traced the fact that she um, made lots and lots of households very ill, right? So basically there was a, a very rich family in 19, I don't know, 14 who got ill, 19, 15, 16, 17, 18. She moved around as kind of like a jobbing cook. And her favorite dish, her like pièce de résistance, was cooking peaches. And these peaches were unwashed and not cooked. Because normally cooking will get rid of the typhoid um, you know, infection. Uh, and she got imprisoned. She was released after five years because they didn't want her infecting people. And she promised that she would never, ever cook again. They got her a job as a laundrette. Everything was fine. Five years later, suddenly there's a huge outbreak of typhus. They go to there. And of course, what do they find? They find that she's cooking in a woman's hospital. And it obviously infected all the patients. Mm-hmm. And she never believed that she was infectious. Yep. And at that point, they locked her up forever. They never let her out again. As I say, I'll, I'll look up the links. It's, the, it's a really good podcast. Yeah, if you're interested in that. Oh, kind is, of stuff. is typhoid? Well, do you a, remember which one it, number it is? Because I'm subscribed it's to it. I just gotta find it. It's Travis Patient ahead. Zero. It's, yeah, it's okay. called Travis it's called Patient now. Zero Radio Lab, and I'm sure others in the chat would like it because it's a, you know, honestly, if you listen to this stuff, it's a really interesting one. Yeah, yeah I'll find it. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to it, so I'll find it. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to read that or uh, listen to that. Hmm. Is typhoid uh, an airborne disease, or uh, obviously? Are we still talking about contact? earth rotation? Yeah, no. So um, Are typhus we? is is transmitted through saliva, blood, or urine. Mm. Okay. Someone answer my question, please. What's that, Khalid? Are we still talking about earth rotation and human ear sensitivity for rotation? Because that subject was buried away until I found the document. That's why I didn't want to find it or go look for it. Because it takes a lot of effort and then the subject is thrown to the trash. So actually well, it's not the speed of rotation because if you spin at, let's say, uh, one rotation per second, that's 360 degrees per second for, say, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your ears are not detecting that rotation anymore. But when you stop, you detect the rotation in the opposite direction. So no matter how fast the Earth was rotating, uh, or maybe, no, I was wrong about this. Anyway, the acceleration, uh, it's about acceleration in angular velocity, uh, 3.49 degrees per second per second. So if Travis is not here... Someone tell him. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. But do you do you have a link for me? Yeah, I'll put it in. Uh, Thank I'll you. put it in the chat. There you go. I've just put the link, uh, oh, Sean, in oh, the in, in our chat. To, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, if you want to put it in the main chat, because I can't access that. Sorry, Aaron. Yes, I'll sir. put it in the chats, Sean. Yeah. Khalid, what was this in reference to before we got on the whole evolution thing, and you were you were uh, main part of the chat? I don't get this question. What do you mean? What well, What are you referring to about spin? And um, uh, uh, he's, he's referring I, to I, about when Travis said we couldn't feel the spin. Okay. All right. That's all. I wanted to know. Thank you, Dubbo. And uh, Khaled, uh, are you gonna put it in the uh, the panels hangout? Because that's where I'm I gonna, am. Uh. Okay. Um, go ahead. No, go. To... Put it. No, put, no, no. Put it in there, and I'll grab it, and I'll, I'll put it in here. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll no put it in YouTube. Yeah, it's no problem. Because it's on my PC, and I'm using a meeting on, uh, on my phone. Okay, so, yeah, Khalid, yeah, no um, with, with the information you know about the spin of the Earth on its axis, um, and we we have um, all the latitudes from zero down to 90, the equator. If, if one was on the equator and took a flight, which wouldn't take long to get up to the North Pole, where there is basically no uh, axial rotation, do you think, uh, do you think, uh, on your research, that the ear, the human, could de- be dizzy or detect, te- detect anything? No, no, not at all. I don't not think so. So from 1,000 miles an hour to nothing in four hours, five hours? 
Uh, you're talking about rotation or feeling of speed. I thought you were asking well, if my... They're both... You're, you're talking about the same thing, right? Ro rotational speed. Uh, well, uh, Aaron... The, the, angular the velocity, North Pole not... Is, uh, I was just going to say, the, the at the pole, it's still rotating. We're talking sure, angular, sure. not linear velocity. Angular velocity. Yes. Uh, I put the link in YouTube. Sean, can you see it? Uh, yeah, I already did. Yeah, I got it. So uh, uh, I'm trying to understand your your question, Aaron. Is it are are you talking about changing the speed or changing uh, going up in a plane and would you feel pressure or a change in your ear as a, as you're moving to the North Pole? Or the only, the only speed that we can um, um, talk about here on the spinning Earth, your spinning Earth, is yours. Um, yes, axial rotation. Axial rotation. Yeah, but so, but so we are not accelerating, out, Aaron. Further, yes, the further out we go from that axis, called the equator, is as far as we can go, apparently, it, we, we must be moving, like Montreal said, faster at an angular speed, angular rotation. We, we, I mean, it makes sense. Okay, yeah, but we're, uh, we're not it's accelerating. Speed. It's a constant speed. It's I not know. accelerating. I understand that. I understand and we that. did this the other night, Aaron. Do you remember with Bob? Do you remember? He taught you how to work it out. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, you remember? I still 1,000 have miles papers. an hour to 978. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I still have the papers. Yeah, Bob told me to, to write down all these. You still have none. Oh, where you wrote none. On, on the answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I want to also clarify something. If I am on the edge of a merry-go-round looking up at the sky and it's uh, spinning, uh, and if I move to the center of this merry-go-round, uh, the shape of the sky or the, the rotation of the sky will look the same. It, it will not change. So Absolutely. Because, yep. Yeah. yeah. Merry-go-round merry is a flat disk, right? Spinning. Yeah, I, I made a flat Earth model that spins, by the way. You really? Yeah, pre yeah presuming the sun is, uh, is stationary and the Earth is uh, spinning under it and stuff like that. I, I, basically, I was trying to make the Earth uh, have a centrifugal force downward. Can you imagine how it should spin? It should spin inside the spherical dome so that we have downward acceleration. Was your vector Einsteinian or Newtonian? No, 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 just, just basic stuff. Basically, I'm presuming the Earth as if you're holding a bucket filled with water and you're spinning it. Do you know this experiment? Yes. So that's what I was you know, trying to make. But of course, when it comes uh, to the I, of stuff. I get it. You've got, you've got the flat disk basically flinging around this around a center point yeah yeah and space would be possible at that time and you can shoot uh, satellites uh geocentry satellites and uh, a lot of things would work with that model sounds possible How are you able to determine those a lot of things? I, I calculated uh, some things like, for example, uh, well, I should know what's the radius uh, that uh, flat uh, Earth is uh, rotating inside. Actually, I can't remember how I, I did it, but uh, it just depends so on... You, so you just... Yeah. You just basically projected in uh, mathematical equations. I just wanted the nine point eight downward acceleration. Uh, it's not downward. Well, what do you mean it's not downward? 
Barney, back up. He's trolling. Oh, yeah. I think Barney said the the surface of the earth is pushing against the against your feet. Sure, sure, like sure. That. It depends on yeah, the it's... location of where you're you're looking at your model. Is what Barney does. Yeah. This is where we descend into La La Land. Yeah, we we already yeah we yeah. Thank you, Mark Montreal. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're you're basically just inventing. Uh, a construct that you have no way of, ve of verifying that it even exists. I mean, you, you have yeah. a, you have a, you have a, an idea in your head and then you, you create, you're the God of this world that you just created. Yeah. Something like that. Right. Now, so Travis, that has no bearing on reality. No, 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 no. Travis. Yes, it does. Because, uh, remember he's, he's got the, the spinning disc or the disc out on a yo-yo going around a sun, right? Going around the sun, that's his um, mathematics. It's, uh, cheers to you, Khalid. But what if that was reversed, where the, you know, the flat earth was in the middle, and the sun was going around that? Like, what relativity, right? What, what's the difference? Yeah, the Maybe difference is that... <laughs> Yeah, the difference is that if if the Earth was not if that flat Earth was not uh, rotating, then we'll not get the centrifugal force that I'm trying to to obtain. Well, the Earth isn't rotating. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. There is no centrifugal. No, uh, he's talking about if the flat Earth is not rotating. Oh, it's not my flat oh, Earth. Yours. <laughs> flat Earth is not rotating. Oh, right. Okay. No, no, my world is not rotating. Your mm. world <laughs> might be. Uh, what what he said? His model is go is a flat Earth going around a center point. It, it, this is this is La La Land, like Montreal likes to say. This is absolute horse pucky. It's got it's got nothing. Yep. It's got no. Re, it's not go, Not got. It has no bearing in reality, gentlemen. Show Someone's me, trying to help you, and you're shooting him down. Okay, show me. Yeah, show me one good. practical. Okay, show me one practical. Uh, example uh, that your that your model answers, Colleen, uh, or or Gra you know whatever exemplifies yes. gravity. That's why I made this model. Okay, we I don't need any help with that. We don't need. Help. There is no gravity, gentlemen. So, see, he's he's creating a la la land, and you're saying just let him create his own little world, and you know he's trying to help you envision what unicorns look like and what you didn't look get like my point. Come out of unicorns. Well, I don't want gravity. I don't want. I just want the effect of gravity. A downward acceleration of nine point eight. It's not there downward. Is no downward acceleration. Yes, there is. Oh, whatever acceleration. Then why does shit fall? Things... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you <laughs> stand there. That's why. No. Everything comes to you. That's <clears throat> nope. why. Nope. Dragon. Absolutely. Try again. No. Sean, I'm, I'm about to come to you, all right? I don't, that doesn't even sound right. Oh, that sounded weird. So, are you saying, Aaron, Go if ahead. I drop a hammer, the earth is coming up to the hammer? That's what Einstein says. Are you telling me, are you telling me that if I, uh, if I dig down to the center of the globe... Where, where, uh, where did Einstein say that? The, the gravity would be... Hold on, hold on. We're, we're, we're in la-la land, right? We're going la-la. Thank you, Montreal. If I dig down to, if I, cheers, Montreal. <laughs> if I dig down to the center of the That's earth, right. would the would my gravity would my gravity become more or less if I dig zero? Down? You'd get burned up. You'd get burned up, Aaron. Don't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it will be zero. Fuck this, <laughs> la la. Man. Well, I want to say something. Can you prove that the flat Earth is not rotating as, a, as I said in the model that I invented? Yes. Because obviously Bob Nodu proved that it rotates. No, he didn't. You guys, I, I, you, guys, you guys are not stupid. No one on this panel is stupid. You are not. Measuring so, 15 degrees in an hour does not prove Earth rotation. It proves measuring 15 degrees in an hour. That's it. Of no, what? It proves rotation. Of what? Of it what? Proves, of what? It proves movement. Of what? It proves of movement. What? You're measuring uh, movement. Sure, I grant you that. It does not measuring the rotation mean the Earth is rotating. 
Then who is rotating? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Travis, Travis. This is a visual. This is a vi optical movement of 15 degrees per hour, right? It's optical. We can only uh, visualize this if we look up. Up. No, that, that right, device... Guys? That right, device guys? is... No. No. Uh, can I say something? This device is called a uh, gyroscope. It's meant to tell you what's your direction and if you are spinning or not spinning, spinning right or left, up or down. So it measures your direction. And if you spin at a certain rate, then it will give you that certain rate. Sure. So where where are you placing this gyroscope on your uh, sphere? Where? Well, it don't matter where you place anywhere, it. Anywhere. Anywhere. Because oh, it has it three axes, three so. axes, and it will measure the combination of these three axes. So if you're in, in on somewhere on latitude 45, it will measure the horizontal and vertical, something like that, and combine they are 15, just like the merry-go-round. Cool, cool, cool Khalid. Uh, very good. Can you show me a picture of a uh, uh, standard static gyroscope processing uh, over 15 minutes? Can you show me that? Standard gyroscope? Oh, no, I, I don't have one. I know. Nobody has one, right? Well, you can go buy Aaron. one. Huh? Aaron? Okay, show us that no one has ever done it with a standard gyroscope. Oops. Uh, I've never seen proof, so you're asking me to prove a negative based upon... I never said proof. Satisfaction. I never of, said it's proof. It's true when I can't prove a negative. It, it's already negative, right, Devos? But well, you made the negative I, claim. I have a question. Uh... How about measuring temperature? You can measure it with the mercury uh, thermometer, alcohol, or some stripe that you put on your uh, forehead. So if, if one day uh, all the mercury uh, was decided not to be used because it's hazardous and we use only this uh, digital thing that you put in your forehead and change the colors. So does this mean that you have to, to see a mercury thermometer to admit that mercury uh, expand with temperature? Does mercury on your forehead prove rotation? You are selecting a device because you didn't see it working and you are rejecting the device that works because it uses a, a different concept. No, no, I've looked. There is no, what we would call a standard uh, spin-up disc wheel gyroscope that yes, I, ever I agree. Processes over I, time, I agree. On this I, I, I didn't see it. spinning Earth, it doesn't happen. So, yes. what do they do? Okay, we can go to the laser gyroscope. You know, LRGs, all all these other um, types of uh, uh, spin detectors. Yes, and but it was flat earthers who did it, not globers. Uh, look, all I'm saying is, does a gyroscope work on this Earth or not? Does it work or not? Yes, it works. Okay, show me, show me a process. Oh no, I'm, yeah, of course. It, I thought you are asking about the functionality of the gyroscope. I didn't see any of uh, uh, what do you call it, mechanical gyroscope, do this uh, experiment. But I'm saying that it the if it doesn't does find mean, one. Then we can talk, right, Khalid? Then we can talk. What, then why don't we talk about the laser gyro? Because it's not a mechanical gyro. The, the Earth is a mechanical thing, right? <laughs> well, well, anyway, uh, uh, more objective point. I proved the Earth rotation like 11 or 12 times. On paper, right, Kali? Uh, with reality. So okay. can I take this conversation back a little bit? When Khalid said that he had modeled a flat earth, automatically every one of the flat earthers started trying to debunk it. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> that hilarious. Is, that's because that he's, presupposing, he's, pre he's presupposing motion. Travis, he do you understand the irony of this? Yeah. He was doing your work, <laughs> and you are trying to debunk it. 
That's hilarious. Okay. He was okay. Well, I, okay. He was presupposing spin. He was presupposing motion. That's the debunk. And what you're, uh, but he's he's telling you that it's a flat Earth. He's telling you he made a model of the flat Earth, and oh you're like, God. oh, this is this is it. We're debunking this. That's terrible. Okay. Th th no, I think I think that's proper, Sean. That's what we do. That's what we do as flat earthers is we question everything. We're we're not like you right, where you just sit back and go, Oh, globe, yep, dupe, that's it. Right? Hello, we Bob. actually question everything and, and and we're actually polite to Khalid. Hey. We're I'm asking him questions. I wasn't trolling him, <laughs> Sean. We're 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 being good folks here. And you're gonna sit here and say that, oh, oh, that's funny. You guys question stuff. Right. Oh yeah. no, it is pretty funny. No. It's hilarious, actually. It's, it's Let's go, peeps. My uh, check, my check. Have your own. It's amusing. Yeah. Little laugh. That's irony. Bob the <laughs> what? You know, oh my God. Uh, some flat earthers uh, the other day said that uh, the Earth it, it should maybe it's not flat. Maybe it's a huge ball uh, that's uh, and it has gravity, but we cannot detect the curve. Yeah, the great scale negator. It's amazing. No, I'm not sure who said that, really. Uh, that would be uh, the plain truth, Travis, here. Uh, that would be the great scale negator. Great okay. scale negator. So what are we talking about tonight, Sean? <laughs> Hold on, Bob. You're, you, it's not your turn yet. It's not your turn yet. Yeah, Bob, it's not your turn yet. Hey, Bob, yeah. it's, it's not your turn yet. Go ahead and take a seat. Um, Khalid, Khalid, I've been more than respectful. I've been yeah, more Aaron's than respectful. just trolling right now. <laughs> did Aaron figure out how what, to... Seven? Um, did Aaron figure out how, to, how a gyro compass works yet? Yes, absolutely. Okay. He, he thinks the gyroscope can't show precession. Well, gyro compass sure does. That's how it operates. Only if you set it. You have to set it first, Bob. Set it to what? Wherever the fuck you want that fucking rotational disc to stay. No. No, it yes. automatically finds true north. Doesn't require any input <laughs> from you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How does it do that? Bob, you tell me, how does it automatically find true? I'll tell you, hold on, here it comes. Oh, 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 it's magic. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah, Aaron, magnetic field. Uh, Aaron, you just need to pull up the definition of what a gyro compass is. It tells you there in a second. Yeah, I did that in my stream. And? <laughs> And okay, Bob. Uh, what what's and, your point about how it and, works? And like watch, we know how it works. You you can you spin up a gyro, put a put a um, you know, what do you call it? A hard disk on top, which is a compass. And you, all you're trying to do in with maritime movement is to slow down the effects of uh, let's say swell movement. The, the waves. That's right. Movement. That's right. That's <laughs> it. A, that's that's all you're a trying to do. Works. That's all so, you want. What the hell are you on about? Yeah. Hell, I yeah. want one of those. If pull I can up, stop pull up the wiki. <laughs> pull up the Wikipedia definition of what a gyro compass is and post it. If not, don't have time to bother with you. Yeah, you can no, just anyway, check out. Look, you can check out my response up. video to gyro compass information. You can actually go to right to the end if you want. The punchline's at the end. Nah, but, uh, nah I don't think I'll bother. You haven't figured out how it works yet. Yeah, I did. I read. I read the the articles that were provided for me. And how does a gyro compass work then? He needs you to it's, repeat exactly what Google same, said. The same, well, Bob that Aaron, Bob. the same thing Bob. that Aaron described, Bob. Bob, what are the Aaron seven hasn't steps? Described anything what are yet? the seven steps to set up a gyro compass? There are seven of them. Oh, really? Go ahead and tell us what they are. I'm asking you, genius. You turn it on, and it finds true north. <laughs> Go ask the Navy if there are not seven fucking steps. 
I, I find it I find it funny that you accuse Aaron of trolling when he's asking legitimate questions. No, he's not. No, he's not. It's not a legitimate question. It's a silly question. He's trying it's to not. figure out how to turn on a gyroscope and basically. Uh, it's not a gyroscope, Bob. It's called a gyro compass. Yeah. He wants okay. to know how to turn on a gyro compass. So you so misspoke. What? Yeah, you misspoke there, right, Bob? Well, how does a gyro compass work? What are the seven steps to turn on a gyro compass? Yeah, yeah, the, same, the, same well, the same thing Bob. that Aaron described. Hey, got you've got to bundle it. No, he's on. not. Hang on. Make you sure. turn it on. Make no, he's not. It's not anything. a legitimate question. It's a silly question. He's trying yeah, to I figure out no how to shit. turn I come on here to learn from all this philanthropist Goldberg. Okay. Basically, uh, just hang out and listen. It's not a gyroscope, Bob. It's called a gyroscope. You turn it on, and it self-seeks true north. He wants to know how to turn on a gyroscope. Self-seeks. So you misspoke. Yeah, you misspoke. Self-seeks true north. You don't have to set it down. How does a gyroscope work? What latitude? If if you know what seven steps to turn on a gyroscope? We will Google it. Doesn't matter. Switch. Matrix. Hang on, guys. Guys. Hang on. You've got to. You've got to bundle it. Not. Hang on, hang on. Matrix. You turn it on. Matrix. No, he's someone not. Is, it's not a legitimate is, question. It's a silly is, is question. Echoing. He's trying I to figure out no how to shit. turn on. Okay, I get it. Got it. So Sixth. the uh, and Bob, you can correct me because listen, I respect you. You're pretty smart. But the compass disc that's on top of it um, that, that does sit on top of the gyro compass in the ship itself is pointing towards what we would say magnetic north. Um, no, it's is, not. It, it's, you can point it anywhere. It doesn't matter where it's pointing. The It'll self-seek. It will self-seek true north, north, and it has nothing to do with a magnetic compass. Okay. Okay. So um, what are the other six steps then? Turn it on. That's a good one. Turn what it are on. The other six? Yeah. And it does it. I'll throw a link right, well, next time about the seven steps that are required to, to actually have a, uh, a appropriately functioning gyro compass, Bob, that you cannot explain. Well, can you explain this, it to us, then, Aaron? You see, Please. Aaron, the problem that you're running into is that you're trying to sit down and look at the operating manual of the Sperry gyro compass with certain things that are particular to the operation of that. The bottom line is you turn the thing on and it self-seeks to turn north. That's the function of a gyroscope. It says you. That's not what the Navy says. But go ahead. I don't really give a shit. Okay. That's the way a gyro compass works. You don't even know how a gyro compass works. It's not what the Navy says. Go ahead. Bob. How does a gyro compass work? <laughs> you tell me. You don't know, do you? You no, just you turn know. it on. Apparently, you just turn it on. Correct. You spin it turn up it and on. it self-seeks true north. Yeah, flip the Why? switch, Bob. Flip Why it. does it self-seek true north? And what does it, it use doesn't. to find true north? It oh, doesn't. Oh, really? Really? It does not. Shall we look? Let's go ahead and look at the definition of a gyro compass then. Would you like to pull that up? What are the seven steps to... to Immaterial. Make, Immaterial. To turn on irrelevant. a gyro compass, Bob. It is irrelevant. I'm not playing your game. Tell me how a gyro compass works. Sean, I'm done. Bob's trolling. <laughs> You're trolling. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Aaron, you don't even Aaron, know how it works, Aaron. So Aaron, you, got, you even got Travis fooled. Aaron, are there legitimately seven steps? Absolutely. I'll pull up the document and send it. And to you me. tell me. And you tell me what those seven steps do. Why don't yep. you say, I'll, Aaron? Because I don't know them. And I, like I, I don't said, know we'll them. come back a later date because oh, I'm no, on my phone won't. right now. You Listen, don't have Bob. Any idea I'm what on my phone right now. I'm sorry. Listen, you don't Bob, have, go, you're go take care of your family. Bob, go take care of your family. Why Aaron, are you over here? What, hey, what are you doing? Aaron, Aaron. I'm hey, actually, I'm Aaron. actually no, no, at no, no, a conference Bob, hang on, stop. in Phoenix right Aaron, now. Aaron, stop. And if you want to defend I'm him, actually Travis, at a conference ahead, in Phoenix. Calm down, Aaron. Yeah, I'm at a conference in Phoenix. I have well, then pay attention to the conference, Bob. I'm done with it today. You're entertaining It's over. What was the conference about? Oh, that was a longer link than I wanted to Internal medicine. What was it about? Internal medicine. Internal, internal medicine. medicine. What, you know about you that, mean? Aaron? Internal medicine? Yeah. Do you know what internal medicine is? Sure. 
Okay, well then, that's what it's about. How does a gyro compass work? Specifically, talk about torque and angular momentum and a gyroscopic precession. Tell me how a gyro compass works. How does a gyroscope work, Bob? Jesus Christ. I'm not Can asking do you that? about that. I specifically said, I'm asking you, tell you me, about that, Bob. I don't need, I'm not answering your questions. I'm asking you specifically how a gyro compass works regarding angular momentum, torque, right hand rule, gyroscopic precession. Tell me how a gyro compass finds true north. I'm not here to educate you about how a gyroscope works. I don't need works, education Bob. from you, Sonny. I don't need education from what you. What are the seven steps to set I don't up care. a gyro compass? Bob? I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. I there truly don't. Yeah, I don't that's care. trolling, Sean, right there. That's trolling. He does not even care. You are trolling, so why are you complaining? No. No, I don't care because it's irrelevant. Yo, Sean, can Tell I ask a, a legit question? Absolutely, Tell sir. me how a gyro compass works. How, how old is the gyro compass? Is it, is it four or 2,000 years old? No. No, it's, no it was no. like 1908. No, right. no. So we can we can determine that back then it wasn't determined. 1941. 1941. So it wasn't used to determine the no. shape or the movement of the Earth, correct? No, it was not. No. It was used to stabilize a ship. It has nothing it to do with a stabilizing ship. Gyro compasses do not yes, stabilize ships, Bob. Correct. What the hell are you talking about? No, that wasn't don't. Bob. Talking about. Yeah, what are you talking about, Aaron? Gyro oh, compasses do Aaron. not stabilize a ship, <laughs> right? Correct. That's absolutely correct. Uh, I never yeah, you tell him, Aaron. You tell him, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Bob, Bob just told. Bob just told. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Keep going. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go yeah. on. Just told the other yeah. guy. Yeah, it's used to stabilize you a ship. Just stop That's now. No, Bob that didn't me, say that, Aaron. That was I didn't, me, Aaron. <laughs> no, that was well, that. That 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 that's an utterly stupid statement. So obviously, sorry, sorry. I was that Travis that said that? No. Was that <laughs> yeah. <Travis? laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, hey, right. Bob. Bob. What? You're not going to tell him it was a stupid question, Aaron? Bob. I'm so Bob, sorry. If I'm man enough. This sounds like an amazing night. Listen, All right, are you going to tell Travis guy. that was an utterly idiotic statement? Bob, the science guy. I'll call you by your proper name. I am sorry. Okay. For uh, well, lashing out at you about that, I am sorry about that. I, that's not a problem. I, are you going to tell Aaron he like was an voice. idiot for even saying that? <laughs> you no, were no, quick to no, say no, it about no. me. Are you having yeah. a bad night, Aaron? Are you going to tell? Are you going <laughs> to tell blues? Travis that oh, was a goody, stupid statement since here. you were so quick to do it for me? Uh, I'll, I'll get with. Travis he's about later eight years in, so he's having a good night. Of course not. Yeah, of I'll course not. Later. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll correct him I, later. I'd like to know. I'd like to know why Aaron can't use his phone to do a Google search to find these seven steps when I'm trying to do it using the same device I'm talking to you on. You must have the S model. Because I'm holding a beer <laughs> and a cigarette and a phone at the same time. All right. Because That's it's it. an irrelevant. And Google is broken on his phone. Yeah, it's yeah. an irrelevant Shut statement. Up. It's just Shut it's up. just basically a distraction. All right, fine. That I'll was go back me trolling out, Hold on, Aaron. hold on, hold on. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'll find it. <laughs> and, and I found Bob is correct. With a gyro compass, you turn it on, it seeks true north, and no matter your position on the planet, it will always seek true north. There you go. See that. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> so I think yeah. I think what I think what Aaron is trying to describe is setting up setting up the initial. Uh, a gyro compass on a ship and actually installing it. Well, he's either talking about installing it or he's talking about a specific set of uh, procedures to turn it on and, and fire it up. You know, well, it's that's also all the Navy too. About. So it's also the Navy too. So they could add in any as many steps as they want. Yeah. There are yeah. minor corrections that can be made to it based on latitude and things like that. There's a, an adjustment screw on it. But, um, you know, it's basically irrelevant to the overall function of a gyro compass. Gyro <laughs> compass, you turn on, it finds true north. That's the way it works. And it uses the rotation of the earth to do it.
crickets. <laughs> well, they don't, you know, I, I'm kind of tired of humoring these guys. You know, they don't want to learn and, you know, they don't want to pay attention. So, I mean, why bother with them? Well, They're Aaron fun. does want to learn. He likes to learn. No, he doesn't. Aaron he likes to learn. Team. He likes to, he likes to, he likes to disprove the flat earth quite a bit. He's good at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Well, he doesn't disprove the flat earth. He just doesn't know one way, one thing from another. No, he's like, got the he's got the wool pulled over your eyes, Bob. He's got the wool yeah, pulled right. over your eyes. Yeah, right. He just likes throwing. I'd, like, I'd like to see one of these guys sit down and try and prove the flat Earth without trying to disprove the globe. Give me a positive. Give me positive evidence of the flat Earth. That's all I want to hear. Hey man, hey man, my brother. Hey man, my brother. Proof? Just one fucking time, do it. What do you mean by proof? Just once. Demonstrate evidence of a flat earth that doesn't involve disproving the globe. You said proof, and now you're saying evidence. Which one, which one is it? Both. Do both. Do both. Do both. Yeah, both. Yeah, let's see. Let's, what would be a proof of the flat earth? No curvature? Well, can't do that. Presence of a dome? No, can't do that. Show me a picture of the edge? Can't do that. Show well, me that. a single bit of evidence or proof that demonstrates the earth is flat. On all fairness, now let, let's reverse it, right? And let's ask the same for the globe, right? Show no. me, show me this model. Yeah. I don't need to. I don't need oh. to. I but you guys claim we live on a can't. spheroid. No, and we're asking no. you to give us proof that, you, we, that you live on a flat Earth. You can do me that. Evidence the specifically of the flat Earth. The globe's not on trial. You show me positive evidence of a flat Earth. You can't do it. It's not okay. a single thing that you can present. All so, your entire, can you guys present anything? Your entire song and dance to. is trying trying to say the Earth isn't a globe. Well, that doesn't prove a flat Earth. So Here, I, I have a couple of questions if you guys don't mind. Then it doesn't well, no. matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and blow your mind. The Earth is not a sphere. Now yeah, prove uh, the shape Bob, of the Bob, Earth. Bob, I want to say something, Bob. So Bob, the, Earth, please? the Earth is a spheroid. Yeah. No, the right. Earth is not a sphere. Prove, prove yeah. the shape of the Earth. Spheroid, a spheroid, void, a spheroid. Prove me the shape of the Earth. That's all I ask for. I'm saying I'm it's asking not for a sphere. the same, Bob. I'm, I'm asking you for the same. You don't get it. I'm not giving it to you. We're not here to prove the spheroid. So what Earth. gives you the We're right here. to ask me anything? What gives you the right to ask me anything when you don't want to? When you don't want to give me the same thing that I'm asking you, and because you supposedly you have it. All you want to do is try and disprove the globe Earth. Fine, the Earth isn't a globe. That's fine. Show me the shape of the Earth. Bob. Give me any evidence you have for the shape of the Earth. You guys are claiming that we live on a spheroid that's orbiting through space and infinite space. No. We, I'm we not. want to be able to see this. Who is claiming? I'm not claiming that. I'm not claiming that at all. Tell but me what it, shape but the Earth is. But it's a legitimate question to ask. Then who is it exactly? That is claiming this. What authority? What corporation? I'm Who not exactly? claiming anything. Tell me what the shape of the so earth is. What are you defending then? What are you I'm defending? I'm not defending anything. I'm asking you for evidence as to what the shape of the earth is. I have no idea. Okay, I've, there you go. I've been very clear on that. I'm trying to ask you some questions because you supposedly have a claim. I don't really care to answer your questions because they're stupid and I don't want to give you the time. And that's why you waste most of your life on these chats because they're stupid, right? Can you be any no. more intellectually dishonest, man? Your, 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 mere, dishonest. your mere presence, your mere presence here, is just is, is it shows how much you actually do care. Yeah. Your mere okay then. No, Ask your question then, sir. Ask your question. First question. Go for okay. it. I, okay. According to uh, the majority or consensus or whoever, we live on a no, 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 no. reality. 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 To reality. Oh, okay, we I'm gonna on I'm gonna give you the satisfaction. According to reality, we live on a spheroid Earth, and we have determined this approximately two thousand to four thousand years ago. Now, how, am I going good so far? Doing great. Is that is okay? Okay, so I think two thousand, four thousand years ago. I'm thinking okay. So some guys figured it out. Some guys a figured it people. out. Some lab not a lot of people. And they all communicated at once, or, or you know, how did it work? They were telepathically doing the same research because remember, this is 4,000 years ago, right? No, remember, 
come, I'm people not done. come to the same people come to the same conclusion Ma magically at the same I get time. it I get at it if you time. apply magic it's all magic right I no, get it's it. not magic no but it's four not thousand, magic. okay four thousand years ago a certain I give it that maybe a certain a particular set of people they were researching something that were people. interested of course, of course. Times, right. but I'm wondering I'm wondering how do they communicate their messages in, 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 in an efficient and quick enough time for their for their studies to be usable? Because remember, they don't need before, to. give me a second. If you have a guy theoretically in California and a guy in New York four thousand year year ago, how long is that communication going to take to reach you understand what I'm telling you? So how is it that they figured it out 4,000 years ago and they went to every house, every city, every colony and jackhammered that information into everyone so everybody could be convinced that we live on a globe? And on top of that, everybody just simply remembered the information being told once because... How can you imagine going to one, one apartment? <laughs> can you chill out? Can no, you no, no, chill? no. I'm not done. Can you go to one yeah, apartment? Yeah. And explain oh, to some wow. to somebody yeah. one story, and he's gonna understand it the first time. That's 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 the hey, lie that you people are. Ah, that, mm. That's right. Matrix. That's right. Matrix. Who, who, Matrix. Have can I, who made a requirement ask... that everybody communicated? Let's say none of them did. Then how is it that everybody knew for a thousand years ago, uh, Bob? How? Yeah. I oh. didn't say. How? I Let's didn't be say that any of them how had they to do have it? communicated. How people was it in done? India knew about it. People in China knew about it. People in the Middle East knew about it. Doesn't necessarily mean they communicated with each other. But I'm asking you a logical question, right? You are starting that they knew. Yeah. I'm saying, okay, they knew. I want to know how did the whole world reach they that have conclusion? To. They didn't have to. So what you're telling me is a selected few decided that for the rest of humanity. And nope. then went along well, spreading that, that good information, kind of like Christianity. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No. So they I never all... said anything. Okay, hold on, hold on, Matrix. So can they, I, can I pop Let me in make here? my last point. Let me make my last point. You're saying that somehow they all simultaneously arrived at a certain point? Cool, bro, but can I finish my point, man? So I can let it... All right, bro. So what, what Bob is pretty much trying to say is that they knew 4,000 years ago, right? With their limited communication and traveling, you know, methods, right? I'm wondering, was it magic that somehow people in China and people in Africa and people in all these different places, right? Did they just knew automatically by magic? Right? No, what no what was the form of communication? What tools were they using? Well, oh, Four thousand years. Okay, well, is that the matrix? Is that the question? Thing. Hold That's on, hold thing. on. Yeah, matrix. Hold is that the question? question? Yes, I'm done. Uh, okay, okay. First off, the these are separate people doing separate tests. They probably had no idea that they were doing it at the same time. Now, the communication aspect, it's not like. As soon as they found out, the entire world knew. There's people that didn't even know that, that uh, anything about the Earth. So it, it, over time, over time, everybody else started learning, started taking in information and passing it on. And pretty soon, it became worldwide. Four if thousand people, ago, right? That's what yeah, you're saying. If enough people, if enough people Four, look, they'll find the same answer. You know, truth is truth. So there's no reason. There's if absolutely... it was true, if it was yeah. true, I'll give you guys that you guys have. Because remember, what what flat earthers are doing, right? They're pretty much going up against the big guy, right? No, like, they're we're, not. We're the doing little guy. You guys are the big guys. You guys have the companies and the years of research of you know. So you, you guys have all the information. We don't, right? It's not no, like we can no, just call our buddy. That's not at all what you're doing. You're it's, simply we denying, can't call our our, our you're scientist simply buddy. Denying to give you're us access. We don't have them. Matrix, you you're them still out. talking. Oh. That's because I wasn't all done. You're doing, all you're doing is denying 3,000 years of evidence. That's all flat earth. It's the pet rock of YouTube. Have I denied anything? I'm just asking you questions. That's all. Yeah. I haven't denied anything. Yeah. I just want to know. I, I wanted to make sense. You okay, well, here's, years here's ago, a picture. They here's figured a picture it out. I want to know what was the method. What Chill tool out, bro. Use, man? Chill out. Chill out. Yeah, here's a picture of the spherical earth. There you go. 
Okay, so so um, matrix. So matrix, is it is it the problem of of um, you know, just a couple of people have decided that that the Earth was round that you have a problem with, or is it a collection of people? I mean, it, because it, they didn't have corporations back then that were attempting to prove the Earth was round or anything like that. So, I mean, if 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 their information was correct, and you know, thousands of years later, we are finding out all these new things about the about the universe and things like that. You know, I mean, is that how much evidence is enough? So what you're telling me is that uh, maybe not everybody looks into it, but a certain group of people look into it, right? But how did the masses believe it, though? How did they, if they you wasn't able to yourself. figure it out, how you can was say it they, yourself? All I'm asking is, if we all know this, and we all yeah. knew thousands of years ago, all I'm yeah. asking is, how did the masses, how were they able to figure it out? That's well, all how I'm asking. Well, well, I, can, I can answer this. Uh, well, uh, actually, here's the thing. Okay, so back then, when they started when they started doing these tests and things, they were called heretics. Uh, you know, some of them were probably burned at the stake or something like that. They were the, they were essentially what happened to flat Earth. Uh, what's happening to flat Earth now? Why was that, Sean? Why why, why, why was it? Yeah, what was the main belief at that time? The main belief at that time was well. There were there were a couple different reasons. Um, one was a religious aspect because the the church controlled all the information that was coming out. So anything that went against the church was bad. It, and when you when you talk about about um, things that 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 were held down, science was held down by religion for the longest time. That's part of the that's part of the reason why. Um, that's part of the reason why we, we still have these conversations about flat earth and things like that is because, you know, uh, the, the, there are, there are certain aspects in, in, in human history where things are held back, you know, uh, especially when it comes to science, medical things, that, you know, things that we don't understand, then, you know, then that goes against something that's religious um you know the religion will deny 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 but until until the information is actually brought forward you know they they, they will still deny it well sean the problem is is i don't think that's his question he wants to know how everybody came to believe this well the way everybody came to believe it is you can easily check it yourself and you know i mean matrix how do you measure curvature on the earth Are you legitimately asking me? Because I'm still waiting for curv curvature. Yeah. Yeah. How would you measure it? Physically going to measure it? He's saying if you believe in the in the in the globe, how would you measure its radius? No, it's not right? a it's well, not a no. What I'm saying okay, is sorry. to tell whether or not the surface of the earth is curved, how would you measure it? Or the same measurements would tell you whether it's flat or curved. So how would you measure the surface of the Earth to determine if it's flat or curved? Bob, tell you the truth, that's a very interesting question. All right, well... I'm so amazed let's by go. it that I, will, I would like to ask you the same 4,000 years ago. How, how, did, how was they able to do it? Sure, all you do is go to the go to a mountain and you measure measure the angle down to the horizon with a with a astrolabe. You can easily do it that way. You can do it by looking out over a flat surface and seeing whether or not you can see all of a mountain or just part of it. You can watch ships coming across the horizon, uh, coming sails first and then seeing the hull. There are a number of different ways that you can do it. So I'm asking you specifically, if you wanted to determine whether or not the earth was curved or flat, how would you do it? Well, bro, you will have to go, take notes, you know, start measuring. What would you measure? The land. What else is there? How do you measure the land? Tell me how to do it. By measuring the land. 
Okay, no, the, you just you answered the question by repeating the question. Specifically, tell me how you are going to measure well, the land. What I, what I, well, nowadays, you know, we do it with a theodolite, supposedly. Okay. And I'm what just would saying nowadays because I don't know what would they use 4,000 years ago. What would, you, what would you look for on a theodolite? If you were at the top of a building or the top of a mountain and, you're, and you measured, you leveled the theodolite and you looked down to the horizon, what would that tell you? Are you asking me for the function of this device? Yes. I'm asking you specifically. I don't use this device. I don't use this device. All right. Why haven't you looked it up? Have you never Because heard I don't the use this theodolite? device. Have you yes, ever, I have. Never heard? Okay, so why don't you know what it is? If it's a major part know, of the argument, why I know what it is, it? but I don't use the device. All right, so tell you're me asking what specifically is. on how it's used, what I can't right. tell you because I don't use it. Okay, why don't you know how to use it? Because I'm a grown ass man that has a job. And I don't have time to look into. I'm a grown ass man that has a job. Apparently, you do not. Up. Apparently, really? you do not. Really? I, bro, I, I only come here. You I, work I only come here at night. In the daytime, I'm working, bro. I work ten hours a day. So what you're telling me that I what? I have to stop working and feeding my family so I, I can look into a theater life? How long does it take you? How Ridiculous. long? Right now, you and did everybody four thousand year, year ago knew how to how to work a theater light? Right wait, now, wait, wait, hold you on, guys, hold on, guys, this. hold on, hold on. Um, uh, Matrix, um, have you have you ever thought about building a theater light? Not at all. So uh, Bob Bob does this demonstration where he he shows how to build one. Uh, and, uh, um, and it's, it's pretty cool. It's actually it's really, really lab. cool. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, didn't you, uh, have one with a theodolite as well? Well, there's a couple of ways that you can, can do I say easily. something for the record, Bob, Bob, I am a regular man, right? The masses yeah. are regular people, right? The majority of the people are I'm regular, a regular person too. So you're so telling what? me that 2000 year ago, right? They had yeah. this knowledge of theodolites. And this hot like like you see what I'm saying? You're, you want you wanna you wanna make me seem like I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't know details of a device that I don't use. That's fine, man. You can have that. What is but, a theodolite? But, but if I'm a regular person, right, and I lack this knowledge, right, and I'm telling you I don't know the shape of the earth, how do they know to the how do everyone <laughs> come to the universal knowledge that we live on a sphere? How did it come to be? And can you please explain because it logically? Yes, because we had people that were very <sighs> interested in trying to figure out about the world. And they do things that any of us, you know, everything that we see, according to Steve Jobs, everything you see was invented and created by somebody no smarter than you are. So a theodolite can measure angles. It'll measure horizontal and then it'll measure angles up and angles down. It's a very simple thing to do. Did, were you ever curious as to why the horizon drops below the horizontal? Do you understand the implications of what that means? Tell me. Go ahead, explain it. No, why don't you explain it? If I sit down and tell you, because you've heard this a dozen times, I've, you know, as a matter of fact, I've probably told you myself. Listen, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a Google parrot, man. I'm not going to give you definitions what? as I teach. What I'm not that mean? dude. What so if you want to go ahead and explain it, go on so we can move on. No, I'm not going to. I'm I want not a you to go look it up. I don't regurgitate. No, no, no. no, no. I don't up. do that. Off the top of the dome, always. I don't go away. I don't do that shit. I'm not going to yeah, give you no, you no Google because citations. Because you don't want to know. Bro, I've heard it all before. You want me to go and Google something up and then I'll learn some bullshit, then say it on here, and then you guys say, no, you don't understand it after I go out of my Tell way me. to read it, learn it. Now, get out of here with that bullshit, bro. Get all out right. of here with your... Actually, no, Matrix. Matrix. Basic hold, on, hold on, guys. <sighs> hold on, guys. Matrix, Matrix, uh, the, the reason why I was asking you if, if you uh, ever thought about building one was, was so that you could take the measurements take the measurements of the horizon and things like that. That's all. And, and, uh, and it's really cheap to build. It's, uh, Bob, how much was it that, that, that it cost you? Like three bucks or something like that? Well, altogether? I bought a, 
I bought, you know, I, I really did a nice job with it. So what I did was I went out and I bought a package of cardstock so that it was a little stiffer paper. And then you just run it through the printer. That's all you do. You just print it right off and then glue it together with a glue stick. Okay, I mean, the reason it, I didn't say it's it is simple strong. to do. It's because I don't know if it would do me any good because I don't really go out much. I don't think it would. I don't so think I don't... it would because you don't want to know. What? What? You're That's not your opinion. curious. That's your opinion. Well, That's I mean, it's opinion. obvious. You are not curious enough to even even be able to begin to look at it. How many times have you been told what a theodolite does? That's, how that's, do you, exactly, how do you that's exactly the problem, Bob. How many times? That's exactly have you the problem. That's what I'm trying to tell geometry. you. Listen. I, do you listen, understand? Basic I don't need geometry? a. I don't, I don't need to regurgitate this to you. Do right? you understand? You've already basic been here geometry. long enough to understand what you're trying to do. Yeah, right? I'm trying to show that you're too intellectually dishonest and lazy course, to even course, know basic geometry. Of of course, of course, man. Let's talk about physics, man. What was the last time you actually did anything physical, man? What was the last time you held a tool in your hand? What was the last time you changed a tire, bro? Well, let's see. I well, let's haven't see. changed a tire recently, but I used a sextant the other day. The other and day. I, yeah, I used a sextant. So you just talk ago. all this, all this nonsense, but if you really don't, you don't do nothing physical. Yeah, I mean, I, I used a sextant the other day. I use a theodolite all the time. I built an astrolab this week alone. I also built a triple water level. All right. So oh, you, you know what I, I do? How how about, you know what? That's what that's about, what Bob. That's that? what that's what I had confused. Bob. I had I had the the uh, triple water level. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Bob. So you know what I do for a living? So have you done any of it? Listen. I'm going to tell you what I do for a living, and then I'm going to tell you the tools that I use every day. All right. Okay. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm a motorcycle mechanic and custom Great. fabricator. Good. Okay. I deal with fire every day, with gasoline every day, with chemicals every day. Right? Then you have the technical with skills with, to with be compressors able to make an Every day. Every day. I understand yeah. these tools. I understand how they work. It doesn't mean that I'm going to... I'm going to give you a definition of blah, 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 blah. That's, that has okay. nothing to do with being able to understand the thing. And the, so and the you concept. have the technical skills to do this. Why haven't you done it? <clears throat> because I don't have time to do this shit. I'm trying okay, to tell so you. Too I'm lazy. a busy man. You're too lazy to do it. That's the only problem that you're running into. You have the ability to do it, but you don't want to know the answer. So therefore, you're too fucking lazy to download mm. an app on your iPhone for a theodolite, it costs six dollars. What, what would it do me, Bob? What, 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 how would it I would do show this you the shape it? of the earth? How? Uh, how would it do this? By how showing would I that use there is device? a drop. Okay, by showing that there is a drop in the horizon. The horizon does not rise to eye level. And with a theodolite, you could easily see that. And because the horizon does not drop to eye level, that tells you that the surface of the earth is curved. And you wouldn't would be, I be able going to do out that from one window? From one window? Yes. Would I be able to determine the shape of the Earth with a theodolite? Yes. yes, absolutely. How is this possible, though? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. All right. You go to a tall building, and you check the drop to the horizon in all four directions. You will find that it is the same. You can use that drop to the horizon to tell you what the radius of the curve is underneath it. And since it goes in all directions from any location and comes up to the same radius, there is only one geometric shape that will do that, and that is a sphere. Okay, so I'm going to ask the obvious, right? Do any yes. of you guys have this? And can I yes. see it? Because it sounds yes. interesting. Yes. And you, I'm waiting for you to present it, man. I'm trying to see this. Uh, I've already presented it. All you have to do, all you have to do is show that you go to a tall building, uh, that's surrounded by flat land, preferably water. You shoot the angle down to the horizon, you will find that the angle is the same in all directions. You can calculate a radius of that using the method al Biruni, and that radius will be the same. That radius will be the same anywhere in the world that you measure it in any direction. A um, matrix. And, you have a, and uh, only uh, one uh, shape will do that. You have a bubble level, right? <coughs> Yeah. 
You can make one with that. Yep. I'm about to you pull don't up. Even a, need I was to looking at. That. I was looking at a website and it shows you. Yep. Yep. Exactly. All you all you need is a protractor, a piece of a little length of fishing line, and a sinker. And you can immediately tell the drop to the horizon in any direction. It's as simple as that. The only reason that the only reason that people don't do that is they don't want to hear it. They don't want to have their narrative destroyed. Bob, do you have a video of this? Yeah. Matter of fact, I do. Can you put it up in the in the in the chat? Nope. You can go to my channel and look it up. It's called a, I did a, a mirror from the main surveyor and Al Baruni. It's right on my channel. Go look it up and watch it. And it shows you how to calculate the radius of the earth by simply looking at the drop in the horizon. And it gives all the numbers. <clears throat> I'll just post a, a link in the side chat matrix on how to make one. One second, yeah. please. I'm going to play this real if quick. If you want. I'm uh, I'm honestly on my phone right now, and I don't have the ability to switch around. If somebody wants to go to my channel and pull up the uh, link to the video on Al Baruni, there it is. I'll do that for you, Bob. You the oh, man. Done it. You the man. I had already got to hear when you said that, so um... <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> well, this is different. It was something else, but um, it basically the same yeah, thing. Said, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll post Bob's link up as well. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's a you, simple formula. You post it, then I'll, I'll, I'll pick, pull that up. It's a simple formula, and it, you can even see exactly how it's derived. So, I mean, there's really, oh. there's really no excuse for not. Oh, oh, oh. the the radius of the earth. Right, hang on, Bob. Bob. So it's so easy I, to find. I'm a great, I'm a great checker, and I have a peep fight. When's I have? Oh, I have no. a peep sight, and really? basically, what happens is, is, I use that to tell my level of my eye over a short distance. But this is awesome. I can use that basic tool, which is basically a, a bubble level, but for my eye to be a little bit more precise at a distance uh, within it within hundreds of a tenth, um, down hundreds of tenth, yeah. Um, but what I, I really wanted to talk about that is, is because when I look at that, no matter what, as long as I'm a foot above the sand, because then, you know, it would be in the dirt and it'll be uncomfortable, but um, everything, the horizon will never, ever, ever rise to the cent your center, your level, your eye level, basically. You, you know how that works, right? Because, right, yeah. You know, you're, you know, I mean, Matrix, oh, you, mean you tell me. Par parallel lines don't intersect? Nope. You know, Matrix, you tell me that you have never seen the horizon below a water level. I mean, how many times have we put those things up? You know the horizon drops. Why does the horizon drop? Don't you want to know? And you're Can't telling you me on the flat out? earth, this cannot happen. That's what you're saying. No, I'm so assuming you have you have you you have you could show me that that can't happen on a flat earth. You have it yep. somehow. You have the evidence for that. Yep. All you have to do is just figure out what the what the number of degrees it is dropped, and then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do some math and figure out how far away the horizon would have to be in order to get that degree of drop from wherever your observation height is. So. If you sit down and you get, like, for example, at 45,000 feet, your drop in the horizon is going to be 3.8 degrees. How far would your horizon have to be in order to have a 3.8 degree drop with one leg of the triangle being 45,000 feet? How far out would that have to be? Go ahead and do the math real quick. You can get a triangle calculator and figure it out. But I'm not going to do it for you. Is this your peep site? No, 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 no. Um, I just found this, but I'm I'm planning to go. You know, I have uh, my uh, the the Adelaide app on my iPhone. I have yep, my that's old the Adelaide app. I have my old um, the Adelaide, and then I have my peep sight, and I want to take all of them. I'm trying to um, make a um, some way to hold my peep sight with my iPhone because it doesn't 
you have to line it up so precise. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. But yeah, I'm gonna do this test uh, probably within the next this week, really. Yeah. So uh, to, for the so Matrix, yeah for the peep the site on your for the peep site on your um on your iPhone, uh, if you uh you can you can line the camera up. Uh, it, you know, uh, like face the peep sight down, looking through a piece of glass or something, so you can actually see through the camera on the screen, uh, and then you can basically duct tape it right at that spot. Yep, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, Matrix, have you done the math yet? Did you find the triangle calculator and did you put three point eight degrees in for one of the angles and find out how long it would have to be? I'm good on math, bro. Okay, tell me how far it is. I said I'm good on math, bro. I don't come here to do math. Just come here to have debates, man. How far would the horizon have to be in order to get a 3.8 degree drop? You don't want to well, know, do you? What I don't I just don't understand how is this not possible on a, you on can't a flat figure earth it as out, well. Can you? You can't figure it out, can you? How far what, would the what horizon does, have to be? What does it be? matter? What does it matter? What what because digits of the horizon, I could give you? All right, what does it matter? What? I'll tell Listen, you exactly Bob, Bob, why. Bob, no, no, Bob. no. You stop now. I Bob. will tell you why it matters. Mr. Because if Bob. the horizon would have to be 400 miles away, you know damn well you can't see that far. And that would wreck your entire argument that it could be possible on a flat earth. Now go so, do the damn math. Why do I need to do it? Why do I need to do it? Uh, what, what, what would all right, it prove? I'm done with I you. Just, what would it prove? I'm Absolutely done. nothing. I've it put it in the side anything. chat, Sean. In um, Zoom, Bob's link to his. The, oh, uh, that's yeah. That's the uh, the Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what he's trying what he's trying to do, Matrix, is is kind of give you an idea of what the drop would be at the at that distance. To see how far how far uh, you could see at that distance, just using the math. That's all. I understand all that. What I'm trying to understand this whole time is: remember what I'm asking you guys is that it has to be relatable to everyone. Everyone has to be the masses has to be able to understand it, right? Anybody you guys can do right. that, and that's man. what Bob was describing. It. That's what. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Right, right. I'm not. I'm not hold on, Bob. Hold on, hold on, Matrix. Bob, hold on. That's what Bob was trying to trying to do for you. He was trying to make it relatable for you by saying that you could go up on top of on top of a building to do this. He was trying to make it relatable. It it will take trigonometry. It will take math to do it. But yes, you can do it. But Sean, do you understand why I'm trying to relate it to the time that you guys claimed this was um, known, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to relate it to, to that time. So think about it from back then. Rather than being on a tall building, they could have went up to the top of a mountain and did the same exact thing. So everyone has a mountain around them that Al Baruni did it 1000 AD. So stop it. Just stop it. I don't want to listen to your excuses anymore, Matrix. Either do it or shut up. Bob, let's get one thing clear, man. I don't do it because I know I'm going to waste my time. It's going to be a waste of time for me doing it. That's why. Not because I'm able to do it. It's going to be a way well, wait a minute. because well, it won't ma prove Matrix, anything. And you don't understand why it doesn't prove anything. That's all I'm saying. You what, wouldn't Matrix, understand why. Matrix, hold on, hold on. If, if you're saying that it's a waste of time because you already know that it's a waste of time, how would you know that it's a waste of time? It won't prove a thing. It won't prove why anything. Wouldn't it, why wouldn't it prove anything? Because these if are the facts. These, these, up, these are the, the facts. Mass, hold on, Matrix. If the maths line up, it does prove something. When you're giving me numbers, right, you're already presupposing that we're on a sphere. That's already uh, presupposed. So, but, 
but here's the problem is that if it, if you did that that same exact math on a flat plane it wouldn't work out just just do the math and see which model it fits yeah i'm sorry just man, actually I'm, do I'm, the experiment i'm not going to do i'm not going to well, i've, guy I've seen i've seen i've seen already videos about, about guys doing the math and how they've done models where one of them is like a flat with a dome, and the other one is pretty much reversed, where the where the where the the bottom is the and the top is flat, right? So they were doing putting these models up, and it, it, it just seemed like those numbers they can manipulate them to do whatever they want them to do, right? No, no I don't think that's true. Matrix just right, right. Nobody's manip manipulating the math. Just do the math and see which model it fits. That's all. It's real yep. simple. Rather than watch. Yes. I can't fudge any of it. And the stuff we build here, I'm playing with two to three thousandths of an inch tolerance max. And not only do I have to know what the tolerance is, I have to know the math to figure out the expansion of those parts when they heat up. It's like um, Matrix. You said you're a bike mechanic. You should know how to use a torque wrench. You know that torque wrench is set to that specific pounds foot or kilos not, not meters. A not a bow mechanic, bro. Not a bow mechanic. Motor no, I said a motorbike mechanic. You still use oh, a torque okay, okay. wrench. Yeah, yeah, you still use a torque wrench, yes? Yeah, once in a while. Yeah. Well, that torque wrench is designed so you know it works properly. Same with the Theolite. That does a certain particular job so if you go out and experiment on your own accord you then know yourself don't watch videos go out and do it it's quite fun but it's what fun kind of are you building and fabricating on if i may ask are, are we doing are we talking to yeah I'm talking, to? I'm talking to you matrix what are you working on what, what do you work on Bikes, Harleys, Jap bikes, mopeds. If it has wheels, bro, I work on it. Two wheels. Wonderful. Do Do you know what I do for a living? Not really. I run a very successful machine shop building high performance engines for Harley Davidsons, Jap bikes, and pulling trackers. Oh yeah, man, I remember. I had a conversation with you one time, man. Yeah. So I, I don't know how you could work on something and fabricate a bike without math. I won't build a chassis in my shop until I've done all the math for everything on that bike. Yeah, the problem is uh, when when you work it, it's kind of different, right? It's kind of it's kind of different because it's, it's like your work area is different than, than you having to do it separately, you know what I'm saying? Huh? He's a poser. Working a theatolite is nothing more than figuring out a trail angle on a bike. I'm following the fork angle all the way down to an imaginary point on the ground from an imaginary point on the axle, and I'm figuring out the differences in those angles. It's the exact same thing. And those are both imaginary points that don't even exist physically on the frame. Did you get your radiator in, Crash? Yes, my truck is ugly and hideous, but uh, after the deer committed suicide on it, it's uh, drivable. Thanks for everybody that helped me out. Yeah, man. Yeah, here's something fun. Do, Why don't uh, you start asking him a few questions about bike mechanic work? Let's see if he's really a bike mechanic. <sighs> we can go yeah. over. Uh, sure, bro. Come on. You can Here's prove how. You can prove the pressure gradient quite easily with a motorcycle listen, by riding listen, through the mountains. Listen, 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 man. Listen, you could you could do and say whatever you want. It's still not going to stop me from tomorrow getting up and going to do what I got to do. So you could somehow wear magic your way into believing, getting the people to believe whatever, man. I don't care. I don't need to know your Google definitions. I don't need uh, the five things and how this thing. Nah, man. Fuck out of here with that shit. I that didn't. Is, I that, that prove, is being a poser. That, quite easily with a motorcycle. That just, I, all, I, all I want you to understand is what does it prove? 
you want me to calculate this and calculate this? What I would it prove? You to calculate again? anything? What would it do? I haven't asked you to calculate anything. Why can I not take my Harley up the mountain that's a hundred miles south of my house without rejetting it? Why, why do I have to rejet my bike to climb to a higher altitude? Pressure. Exactly, which proves a pressure gradient. You can only have a pressure gradient with gravity. So there's one thing for the globe. And there's many more using the same stuff. Gravity has to work because you want to be able to use a fucking my crankshaft balancer that we have in the shop. If I dig through all the math and the manual I haven't cracked open for years, I'm pretty sure somewhere in there I have to compensate for my local gravity and magnetic field to make the damn thing work right. Because I know I have to reset it once a month, but I just hit the fucking go button on it. <clears throat> for my drones that I fly for a hobby, I have to to reset the gyro compasses and them for every different magnetic field location I fly at. You know, Matrix, you may think that this is all fun and games and you're being funny with this special little narrative that you have for your flat earth fantasy. But when it comes down to brass tacks, You've got to actually be able to prove some of this stuff. And we've told you many different ways that you could demonstrate that the earth is curved. Yet you don't want to do the math. You do, you're working. You always have an excuse for being able to sit down and say, I just want to watch flat earth videos. You have time to be here. You could have gone to Google right now and figured out how a gyro compass or a theodolite works. So I'm tired of your excuses. Listen, man, you're very passionate about whatever you think you believe in, man. But I don't have no, to go I'm and very, learn, I'm and very learn everything about, you want. I'm very Listen, passionate about idiots trying to lie their way through. At the end of the day, what you're we doing. are all just regular people. And in every conversation and debate, you're with not a anyone, regular person. You're not with a anyone. Person. With anyone, you guys want to ask for these like criteria and things. You, you are know. not a regular person and I'm still because asking you have no myself. curiosity. You have and I'm no still curiosity myself, and you don't want to learn anything. How many PhDs did it take 4,000 years ago to figure this out? This is still what I'm trying to what, think. Who told you guys a PhD? You don't have need a PhD. Zero. Hold but, on. Hold but on. but hold if on. I can't understand on. it... No, Matrix. Matrix. That's because hold you're on. stupid. It takes zero. It takes Zero. Zero PhD. Are you triggered, I don't Bob? have a PhD. Can I trigger you? Hold on. I, I'm not Bob. My name's mm. Sean. And let me explain something to you. I have worked extremely hard my entire life. I've learned a lot on my own. And everything that I've learned, I've applied. Now, if you want to go out and do all the, do research, go do it. But don't sit here and tell me that I needed a PhD to be able to do my job. All it takes is one guy with a little common sense. Sean, that's not what I'm saying, yeah, by the way, man. It takes a basic sense of curiosity and the ability to un comprehend what you're looking at. That's all it takes. Bob, I don't really think you comprehend what you're talking about, man. Really? You want to try me, Sonny? I I'll compare you. SAT tests with you any day of the week. Yeah, Matrix, do you generally want okay. to know? Do you generally want to know, Matrix? Or are you just trolling? Go on, be honest. Are you telling me that you're convinced enough to try to convince me? No, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just asking your curiosity. Are you curiosity? Have you got enough curiosity to find out? Sure. You don't think I believe that I lived on a sphere um, most of my life? I don't know. What do you believe? Do you believe you live on a sphere or a flat plane? Most of my life, I thought, I thought we lived on a sphere, you know, flying through space but, or whatever. But now you don't. What, what, convinced, what changed your mind? It doesn't seem like that's the case now. So why don't you go out with a... Make up your theolite and go out and check it. Just to... Just to find out for curiosity's sake. And that way you'll know. And you're Rather telling me that out people. from one reference frame, I'm, I'm going to be able to calculate that into existence. It's, that's what you're telling me. That's the yeah, part well, that I'm not, I'm really not understanding. 
it's right? math. You're, you're, you're not calculating anything into existence. The math tells you what it is. It's no different than when we did take a block into the shop and I start boring it and cutting it fit in that block. It's the same thing with using the theodolite. Once you do the math with it and figure out the triangulation on it and some basic trig, there's only one answer that fits the equation. So you're telling me that there's only one logical answer. That's well, the, that you only get to one logical. That's it. Well, you'll come to a conclusion. Yes. Pretty much. Yes. There's only one so, thing that fits. It's it's like you use feeler gauges to check your valve clearances on your motorbikes. Why did you trust that feeler gauge to be the exact size? Because it's been measured. Someone's made it. Someone's took the effort to do it. You can do the same. It better be it's, damn accurate for what I paid Snap on for. I'm just saying. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I buy Snap on tools because I know they're accurate. It's a it's a reliable source. That's why we do it because we trust people, and that the proven fact that Plus they work and they work torch. time. Yeah, <laughs> and they mm -hmm. work time after time. So you you know through your own experience how things work and what to trust. You're a mechanic, so therefore you should be able to trust your own measurements. So go out and try it. Okay. You know, don't watch these. Don't so, watch videos. So forget go out and try it. So, so I'm. And I'm, you're more than I'm, I'm going to take some it. time to try to do it, guys. I'm going to take some time to try to do it. But let, let me just say this in advance, right? I want. I would like to understand. Or can you give me a concept of how am I going to be able to? Even if I calculated, or how would I be able to calculate it? Through China, like how would I? How would I envision where I live? Through one point of reference in the theodolite. That's all I'm trying to. That's all I want. The theodolite. Yeah. The horizon will drop for your given location, and if you wanted to figure out how far something else dropped beyond your horizon, uh, you could change the trigger around a little bit and use a map with a known distance and get that too. You can figure out how far below your horizon it is. It'd take a little bit more math, but you could do it for the entire planet. I think if you wanted to. I haven't gone that far with it. I've done my local area with the theodolite, but that was just to, for me to personally prove the concept. But that's what I'm talking about specifically, though, the, the entire thing. Like, and I want to understand this. If I, I could do the math on just one point of reference, you know, but how would I be able to, how would I know um, if, if oh, I do it in China is different? Sake. Come on, oh, man. For you, sake. You're not understanding what I'm saying, Bob. You just keep, you just keep wanting math and you're not understanding. Math is just a concept; it's a tool. It yeah. in itself is nothing. Then use the well, tool. Matrix, there's hold on, hold on, Matrix. If if you're really concerned about it, then you could take a flight over to China and do the measurement over there as well. I mean, really, that that's what it boils down to. You again, could drive 200 miles away. Hold on, hold on. You could drive All 200 right. miles away from your house and do the same exact thing. Take the same exact measurement and you know, and and uh, then then drive 200, 200 miles further, take the same exact measurement. You know, you're you're yeah. gonna find it wherever you go. It's just, you know, it, it's just being willing to do it and having the time. Yeah. If you well, this is what I'm the... saying. That makes a lot of sense, Sean. That that makes a lot of sense. But like this is this is very complicated, right? Look look what you guys are saying. Like get a theater light or try to make one. You know, try to make these. Figure out the it's calculations. Not complicated at all. Oh no, it's no not problem. Complicated at all, and the but, calculations are already Bob, figured out. Bob, but when Sean Sean just described the scenario where I could further confirm, he went. He's talking about going to another location, right? That further complicates the dilemma because now you're telling me that the average person has to go to China. And you or, couldn't have figured that out. No, you don't have to go to China to do. Hold this. on, you don't have to do this. I just I just told you exactly what you could do. You could drive. You could drive a mile away. Take the same measurement. So people back I, then, the only were, thing were the, going you, a mile in their horse to figure this out. Everyone, everyone in the like you. You understand? I think we oh, already went over this. Sake. I think we already went over this about about everyone back then. I think we already went over that. Matrix, you're not interested in learning. You're interested in making an excuse just just to hang on to your narrative. 
Bob, why would I? Why would I want to? Why would I want to believe in? Flat because you, why would I want to? Because you want to feel special and have secret really? knowledge. Yeah. Really. And you why, want to be why a contrarian. Would I want to do that? And you want why to be would a contrarian. I want to do that? Well, I actually, hold on, hold on, I'll Matrix. You. Hold on, Matrix. You came on. You 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 admitted on here that you come on here for the for the debate, right? Yeah, you know the conversation yeah, for the debate the discussion. The di a discussion is different than a debate. Debate discussion, you know, whatever's there's going a, on. There's a big difference. A discussion, a discussion, is two people going over and having a conversation. A debate is there has to be one clear winner. So is, is, that, is that what you is that what you're here for? Are you here to be a clear winner? No, no. The problem yeah. is that every time that there's a flat earth on a panel, whatever, it, it quickly turns into a debate kind of thing. So it's not a debate. We're trying never... to educate you. Okay, yeah. Bob. The problem is you Bob. don't want to be I have educated. Google, Bob. I have Google, Bob. I don't need you to... Then you... No, Matrix, Matrix, hold on. I don't hold need on, you Matrix. to do that, man. Come on. Listen, man. You, 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 listen. We're all human beings here. We're all people, right? We are capable of understanding vast amount of things, right? Apparently Bob, not. we don't need we don't need you to come on on here with your philanthropist attitude, right? We don't that shit needs to stop, bro. You need to stop because you come on here way too much time, and you don't have a five hundred one. You know, so how you know what I'm saying? This is a lot of time that you're dedicated to this. I don't have Just, a five hundred one. What's a five hundred one? So that's what I'm saying. Matrix. That's what I'm saying. You're, Hold on, Matrix. May not, relax, relax, relax. Okay, let's take it back me. now. Not knowing anything, but what's the five hundred one? No, you're making that clear, and you what's don't want to know anything. What is a five hundred one? A five hundred one three C? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, man. Okay, well, I don't know. Just, I we're, we're asking the question. We went over this. Are you talking? Is that that uh, civil citizen one? Nah, man. What I mean one? was. Do you have a tax-free organization okay, that you're yeah. dedicating your time to? That you're constantly Why do I need to here? Do that? So, Why do okay, I need so you're not. A, all right, th th I'm gonna make it make sense. If you don't have a tax-free organization, or you're not a philanthropist, why are you constantly on here trying to teach people? Right? People wait, have. Wait, 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 wait. Stop! 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 What does it have to do with anything? That made no bro, sense at all. He's always trying to. Oh. Uh, let me teach you, man. Get out of here. Don't Let lie. me teach you. Let's have no? a conversation. Let's no? have a conversation. That's we don't what I need do. a I want to teach people how I want to learn. That's what he's here for. He wants to teach. I've learned no, a lot from him. Yeah. That's I've awesome. learned a lot doesn't, from him. Doesn't, but doesn't he have a channel, though, that he could go and teach whatever he oh, wants to teach? Wait, 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 I'm gonna tell you right did now. I, did I, I, I say would, that? If I don't make yes, yes, you did. You said, "Why is he here?" No, why no. What I'm saying is, on his if, channel, if, he does, this is, and I'm honored this, to have him here. That's cool, man. That's cool. But what I'm saying is, right? What he's saying is that he likes being on here to teach people. Yep. Right. Yes. And I'm trying to understand well, this. I'm saying, like okay, maybe he has. Too. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. If I'm trying to have a conversation, why are we no, going? No, not to, really. So when you're in the street talking to people, right? People get loud sometimes when they're in the street, but do they have to whip out a calculator and start ma making measures? Is that a normal thing to ask a person? I haven't done yeah, those calculator, normal things. Wait, I pulled yeah. a calculator. Well, actually, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold yeah. on. Uh, before before we go any further, Matrix, you asked you asked if there were if there were ways that we could we could calculate the curvature of the Earth. Bob gave you that education. He le he gave you that knowledge. We've offered numerous different things on on how you could how you could do this. I, I, is there something wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with it. But what I'm I, I want you guys to understand is when you're having a conversation or discussion, is that normal to be like, yes. oh, go cock? Is that on, is that normal? Yeah, yeah, hey, hey. If, we, if we're we on are the, having you know, a conversation, on the, of, hang on, guys. We are on the internet. We're all sitting in front of a device, and most of us are sitting in front of PCs with computers at the little Windows screen right there. So, yes, actually, in this situation, it happens a lot. A lot. 
it happens a lot just in general conversation at my personal shop because of the stuff we do on a regular basis. I'd, you know, I'll tell you I'd love to Matrix. visit your shop. I happen, I happen to see patients all day long. I see people all day long. Some of them know that I have a YouTube channel. Some of them even follow my YouTube channel. You know something? They tell me all the time, you know, it's fucking fascinating, Bob, or Dr. Bob, the way that you've measured the circumference of the earth with a roofer's square. And you can measure the mass of the earth with a coffee cup? That's just goddamn amazing. My kids love it. You know why? Because they want to learn about these things. Because they're interested in them. Are you interested in it, Matrix? Would you like to learn how to measure the circumference of the earth with a builder's square? Fuck yeah, I would. Yeah, so would I. That's yeah. why I'm here. It's pretty fucking... With people like Bob. It's yeah, pretty fucking like, fascinating stuff. Yeah, people like Bob are giving their own time up to come out and help people like us. I think that's pretty damn cool. And I learn yeah. an awful and, lot and, from and, the people and, I talk to as well. And, and, and Matrix, when, we, when, he, and, uh, when Matt said uh, people like us... That's people like yourself who don't have time to learn all that, but they're getting an opportunity to learn how to do something it's like make a theatolite or be understand what a theatolite does so you want to make one. That little bit of something is why he's here. And again, you're trying to make it seem like he's not helping. He's helped everyone on this panel. With some aspect no, well, of, everyone of on this panel out. is In helping. In reality, what I'm trying to understand is what, how, how would it... No, you're not. How, Listen, hang on, let me finish. You're not at all. Hang on, You're hang not on, trying hang on. to understand Everything. Hang on, Dr. Bob, Bob hang on. Me. Hang on, let him finish. What I, in all that you're saying, I'm trying to sum it up in all that you're saying, right? I'm I'm clear in my beliefs. I don't think we live in a school. And I'm trying to I'm trying to ask you not questions and things so so I can figure out how is it that you believe in. And so we've given you, you dozens of answers and you've ignored every one of them. And, tell and, me and how I, tell me how the drop of the again, horizon again. tells us. Tell me how the drop of the horizon tells us we live again, on the sphere. Again, 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 again. These are the facts. Tell me how the drop I don't know the horizon... what the sun is. I don't know what the limit of the ceiling is, right? So how would I be able to plug in these hypothetical numbers, right, to prove anything? This is what you don't understand. Why are they hypothetical? Right? Because we might not know exactly what we are Do we on, not know geometry? Right? You are assuming we live on this thing that we're we not assume assume anything. numbers. No. Do you know basic geometry? Hey, Do hey. you understand basic geometry? Hey, Brian. I, I have that, a... Hey, is this still going a, on? Yeah. yeah. And is that, I have a, small is that question. a theoretical number? Just a small question, Okay. If we can work out the angles of a triangle that has size one, one, and one, why can't we work out everything else? Matrix? We can work out anything with numbers. And is exactly. it correct? We can work out and anything with correct? numbers. And is it's it correct? Listen, it won't prove anything, Bob. It won't prove anything. Hang on, hang on, Matrix, Matrix, whoa, really? Matrix, Matrix, Matrix. Oh my God. Matrix, we can prove how an engine works with numbers. Fuel tanks, the dimensions of a fuel tank, if you yes. write it up, will tell you how many litres of petrol you have to put in it. Engineering. Yes. Engineering. Yes. engineering. It's engineering. It's with, with, with the geometry world is. around us. With the world geometry is engineering. Us. Oh, my God. How can you be a mechanic? Are you that obtuse, Matrix? Not, hold on, hold on. How can we measure the tides? The tides come in, the tides go out. How can we measure those and have an accurate map of when the, when it's going to happen? So I can go out and catch a drum <laughs> at midnight on Thursday. How can we do that? We use math. I want to go back to the geometry question. Go on, go on, go on. Hold on, hold on. That's interesting. How how would you do math to to do that? How would you exactly? Well, let's see. We measure we measure the um, uh, going through with the moon, the the uh, moon and the eclipses, and 
uh, basically procession of the, of the moon, uh, which kind of gives us the geometry to the Earth, which then gives us the approximate location of where the tides are going to start. And once the tides start coming in at the shore near us, we can measure the time that it comes in, the time that it goes out. It's all done with math. And you don't understand uh, of, a big problem in what you just said and all those assumptions? No, nope, not assumptions. Not thing. Measurements aren't assumptions. An average... <laughs> <laughs> So are you no, saying they're not assumptions when there is results yeah. that matches what we see in reality? Peck, are you I'm sorry, not Peck, Matrix, are you saying when you time an engine up, you're assuming? You're assuming the numbers? Because you know it won't work because if you don't get your timing right, you know it's gonna happen. When your engineering is different. That, that's what engineers do. I'll Yes, no, that's I understand what, what you're saying, but what you guys don't understand is that you guys are trying to relate it to the things in the sky, and you guys have a confirmation Christ that they work a certain way. And I want to know is how is it that you guys are so convinced of it? How do Come you guys know? you right now, Matrix. I've got an answer for this because I don't just build build stock engines out of shit and rebuild it. I design shit for industrial use. I can draw that up with geometry on pen and paper. And I know when I go to transfer that to steel and aluminum, that it'll work because of geometry and math. Not only can I tell you what it's going to do on pen and paper, I can do some more math and figure out roughly what kind of efficiency that motor is going to have and how much fuel it's going to use and tell you the power output of it before I even build it. And I'm good enough that I'm usually within 5 to 10% of what I've grown up. There's some unknown as far as bearing clearances and oil drag that are really hard to figure out that I usually just leave out. Five to ten percent is a good number for a theoretical engine design before it's been tested. Yeah, you're an asshole like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, for example, for example, like the nice gloss over there. Like the, the, uh, the, the no, no, Bob. The no, Bob. No, no, how, no, Bob. How do we derive that? The distance to the moon. 30 Earth distances. You can also use Kepler's laws of orbital mechanics by basically telling how long the orbit of the moon is. It's 27.3 you know, days, and that gives Bob, you an exact I don't know number. What orbital, Bob, I don't know what orbital mechanics is. Can well, then go it? fucking learn it. Can you please explain it to me? No. Go to Hang on, you build it. engines and don't know what orbital mechanics are. Go no. Your no, no, I want Bob to explain it to me. Go no, you go learn it, man. I'm not. I'm not teaching you anymore because you don't want to learn. Okay, you can you look it tell up. me what is orbital mechanics? Can you tell me the basics? Go of look up Kepler's laws. Hey, at Matrix. This point, at this point, Matrix, you're, you're, Matrix, you're intentionally being a prick. Yeah, you, you are. are. You're being, you're being actually, intentionally obtuse. Do you see? You guys don't. You have. You guys don't trust me oh. enough. I'm actually asking a, a legitimate question. You're not go look at legitimate question. Hold on. 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 That was Hold on. Was give me question. give me one second here. Give me one second here. Okay, so Matrix, are you gonna are you gonna look up at the autolite? Are you gonna I, learn to build one? I already said I was gonna look into it. Okay, right, go. So I think I think I think that's enough. I, I think that 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 should be enough for now. Now, the more you, you ask about, the more you ask, the more you're you're gonna have to do research on your own. You know, if you really want to know Matrix, go look at Northwood Scientist, my playlist, Northwood Scientist, and look up Kepler's Laws of Orbital Mechanic. There's a 15-minute video there that will tell you everything you need to know about it with examples and how to calculate the distance to the moon. I I could go down to his, he could go down to his local radio club, and they could help him range the damn thing. Yeah. Right, right. There's, not a, there's not a lot of time left. There's not a lot of time left, and I think it's only fair for Matrix to answer some questions from the panels, just kind of a scattergoing question, hey, like, hey, uh, what is this? What is that? Is uh, Let me start. Uh, Matrix, a question. Uh, yes or no answer. I just, it's all I need. Is the Earth flat? Yes or no? Flat is the aspect of a shape. So, yes or no? Is the Earth flat? <laughs> I don't think it's completely flat. Point proven. He cannot answer a yes or no question. Thank you very much. I'm out. Does a pressure gradient exist on this planet? Uh, 
crickets. Yeah. <laughs> He's too fucking clueless to even answer. I'm done with him. What was that? Yeah. I, I was. I said, does a pressure work. gradient exist in our atmosphere? Well, the higher you go, the more the more pressure you feel. So yes. No. Well, no. that is entirely backwards. Yeah. Seriously, you don't even know the answer to that. That's ridiculous. What I'm yeah. saying How is, an when you work? you feel the the difference of the pressure when you go How high does an up the mountain. How work? Even better. No, no, a carburetor wouldn't work by that math. The higher you go, the less atmospheric pressure there is. Therefore, you have to rejet the carburetor for the less air that's going into the intake. Yeah, that's or I have good. to crank up the boost on my supercharger or on my turbocharger to generate the same amount of boost. There's all kinds of things wrong with that statement. What, why, why, why is there a mixture a mixture knob on an aircraft? As you go up, you have to change the fuel mixture. Yeah, in order to get an efficient engine. Up. Well, my function no. Matrix should know this answer because he's a bike mechanic. He knows how to reach out. Engine. Matrix Matrix is just wasting our time. Matrix, is there space? A vacuum of space? I have no idea of the space. I have never gone there. Is Do there you an have ISS? I have, Do you have something to go there to know. <clears throat> Fucking synthetic bullshit. Guys, I have a have question. Go there? Hang on, stop, 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 stop. Everyone stop, <coughs> stop, stop. Because I've been listening. I've been eating, so I didn't say anything. But you guys are just attacking now. So enough. No more. No more. I don't want to even hear excuses for why. I don't care. Just, now it's just getting ridiculous. Um, yeah, you're right. You, so so we went back do? to the old style. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, like no, no, Matrix. No, Matrix I, 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 it, it was attacking 100%. I'm not, I don't even give a fuck about what anyone's saying. You were being attacked. Don't worry about it. You're not at fault. I knew exactly what you were doing. I just couldn't say anything because I was eating pancakes. Oh, damn you. That's right. Pancakes, motherfucker. You're doing what I did the other night. At this hour of the evening? <laughs> yep. Pancakes at night. What's up? Have you got Have you got Canadian maple syrup? I will kick your ass. No. <laughs> there is nothing Canadian about anything on my plate. No, what's on my plate? And in my oh, so it's not real pancakes then. <laughs> what did you just say? If oh, it doesn't got Canadian to, maple to, syrup on it, it's not pancakes, start, bro. We're about to start. Uh, we're about to start kicking people off this panel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Over pancakes. <laughs> this is bigger than bacon. No, wait, no, nope. My bad. I shouldn't have said that. I kick myself uh, off oh, the panel. Canadian bacon conspiracy. Hey, I, hey, Sean, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go get, get you. Some to eat. Yes, sir. I do appreciate you being on. I know, I'm sure you you understand. Um, but I do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I've had and, uh, enough of this nonsense. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna go and look at some of your videos. I, I definitely gonna DM you because I want to do. I'm gonna do. Um, I want to do that theatolite thing with my son, but I, you know, I know how to use one, but I just want to make one. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, on my on my web page, not the oh, not okay. the channel. You can find mm -hmm. you can find the link to the web page on the channel. Yeah. I've actually got a link to the uh, site that you can use to just print it off. Oh, and nice. it's you know it's a full oh, like this it's shape. a full yeah no i mean oh, all the printing yeah. and everything is on it okay. and okay, it's a cool. full uh, it's a full astrolab so you oh. can tell the time oh, nice you the can dog. tell when stars rise with it hmm? everything that you need on it cool awesome Call yeah, control control the dog, it took me about 15 minutes to make it awesome is that, is a, that a pdf file link yes Oh, cool. So I can scan it into my laser jet or my laser printer and uh, engrave it in some aluminum. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, can you? Yes. Yes, I can. All right. If you do that, I'll buy one off you. All right. Yeah. Give me a couple days because I've got to get some material. But uh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, what, what size can you make it? I can make it up to uh, 48 inches wide and as long as the sheet of steel that I put in it. All right, it's uh well, it's round, obviously. Right. Um, how the fuck are you gonna get it to me? Uh, that depends on how big you want it. I mean, I can ship it how FedEx or UPS. All right, make me a big one. <laughs> All right, give me a couple days to uh, figure out how big a one I can make feasibly. Now you're gonna. The only problem that you're gonna run into it is you're gonna have to uh, print one of the sheets on clear plastic. Can you do that? Uh, would, uh, would polycarb work? Yes. Yeah, I can oh, do it on poly. All right. Uh, how much do you think it'd run? 
Uh, let me do some math and see how much materials cost me because that's all I'd charge you, Bob. All right. Well, we're good up to 50 bucks. Okay. Did, sound? Did you say math? $342,000. <laughs> well, we're good up to 50 bucks. All right. Blue, you want one too? Three. I, do you I want can one too, Blue? I'll take two of them. Yeah. You'll take two? <laughs> yeah. Well, goddamn, right. I'm going to start another side so, business now. Shit. <laughs> well, yeah. no, I mean. <laughs> No, and, and, you know, here's the deal. I've got a store that I'm putting together on my website for, um, you know, shit like that triple water level and stuff. Oh, you mean science? Yeah, and I'm going to, you know, and I've got some some equipment on there. I've got links to all of the stuff uh, in my studio. I've got links to the sextant that I own that you can just buy directly from the company. I'll put a link up if you want to build theodolite, or if you want to build up build Astro Labs. I'll put a link on there. We'll get you some damn orders on it. You figure out how yeah, much like you want. Yeah, you got any? You got any links to those uh, shotguns and rifles in the background, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Mossberg 500. Just look it up on the internet. You can get it on Gun Broker. Yeah, you can 3D <laughs> print it. Yeah. 3D, 3D printing. Those aren't something. even those aren't even the nice rifles, man. Those are just my everyday. You know, those are just some twenty twos and my deer rifle and shit. Oh, they the nice get out of my house rifle. Yeah, but those. Are, <laughs> no, they're the, they're the when the zombies show up. I've got ten thousand rounds of ammunition for them. Right? You guys are making, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys are making me jealous because I can't own one anymore. But bow season is coming up, so I'll be out with my crossbow that my lovely doctor just signed my permit for. I was just well, we say, don't I need, thought crossbows were We don't need were permits for them. No, we can use them in Michigan. I have one, actually. I just don't use it. I can use it. I a muzzleloader, too. I had to have my doctor sign a waiver saying that my shoulder was too bad to pull uh, my compound bow back. Yeah, I can't pull a bow <laughs> anymore either with my shoulder. Can you there guys you can you use a muzzleloader? Uh, not with my particular background in this state. Uh, <laughs> it's one at a time. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I didn't know if they excluded muzzle loaders from that or not. Pretty much every other state does, except here. Well, thank God for Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Time for All you right, to move. Guys. Let's let's do the final I can't, word. Or I would. You want to do Come final to word? Michigan? We can use claymores. Doctor Bob, you want to do the, first, the final word? Start it off. Word. Don't. Let's buy. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's let's build. Let's build some astro labs, man. Fuck yeah. Bird, bird, bird. Yeah, I mean, uh, eighteen inches would be a good size for me. If you can make it a little bit bigger, that's great. I've seen them up to three feet. Yeah. Well, I just I want the, something that I can I, carry up to the top of the Willis Tower and find the I, find the. I will. What I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna go over to your channel in a little bit, and then I'm gonna go look that stuff up like you're in, on your website, and then I I'm gonna try to remember. I'm gonna write it down right this second. But I'm gonna try to get your uh, website, and I'll put it down in the uh, in my description as well. So people can have a way to get there from here. Well, hell, and, if you want to put something down, put my Patreon down. There's a link to the website right on that, and they can give me money. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck yes. You know me, or just put down your information. I ain't giving money to a doctor. I've got free health care. I mean, I do ask for 98. percent Or did I say 98? percent I meant 99. <laughs> no, you know, in all honesty, the only reason. The only reason I have a Patreon is some people have asked me if they could support the channel a little bit, and this is a nice way of doing it. And, um, you know, it's cheap. It doesn't really get you anything. Everything on the channel is free. But if you want to support it, you know, that freaking uh, – that sextant cost me 300 bucks. not to mention all the equipment in the studio and everything. And my wife gets pissed when I spend money on myself. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And There's she gets all the money from the channel. Anyhow, I don't see any of it. Exactly. That's I, yeah. I was like, what the? <laughs> no, I mean, it literally yeah. goes right yeah. into her damn account. I don't even see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, Bob, but they, I, mine tends to forget about that part of it. Well, yeah, yeah. But then I go on out and, you know, you bought a what? <laughs> uh-huh. I ain't got no, worried about that the no camera, more. man. I learned yeah, I how to fix that. Oh, honey, I fixed the chair. Okay, right, guys, guys, I, okay. You guys can keep going all you want, but I got to get out of here. I'm right. tired. I, I um, got to I gotta go get something to eat. Yeah, it, does Shut it down, want, show them. Anybody want to promote anything? Let anyone know something's coming up? Anybody? 
Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry Astro 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 shit to do. <laughs> um, so no, it's fine. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, right, I, I have something. Ahead, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Go ahead. Yeah, for for like four or six months now, I've been asking uh, if anyone has experience with the stick motors to help me with a project. Uh, I'm not. I don't have the tools, but maybe he can do it at his end and make a good video. Uh, how to physically uh, plot the eclipse path on a physical model of the globe. So if anyone knows anyone who is willing to help me with his tools, uh, at his end, not at my end, uh, that would how, be great. Okay. How to plot eclipses? How to plot the, the, uh, the path of the solar eclipse uh, on, the, on, the, on the Earth, on a globe model. Physical ah, oh, oh, the the ecliptic plane that uh, the um, yeah, yeah, but the ecliptic plane that the eclipse shadow will fall. I I, I have all the calculations. Uh, I just need someone who has the tools, the accurate tools, to help me plotting it. I, I partially did it, uh, but but it's not accurate because in in my uh, in my model that I made. I couldn't make the globe to rotate 15 degrees per hour. I don't have that accuracy. Is that? But if I have, Dross. Then, yeah. Dross, the legend, I believe, is the the guy you should be asking. All right. Yeah. I'll be seeking him. Yeah. Thank I you. I believe. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we're just okay. wanting to drive a globe at like 10 to 15 degrees an hour. Is that what we're trying to do? Uh, but, not only the not only the globe, but the globe and a camera attached to it, because I'll be moving a laser pen uh, on, on the path or level of the eclipse, and that camera will be taking long exposure, and uh, and the laser pen uh, will show the uh, the path of the eclipse. Sounds like a cool project. Yeah, a little bit of gear math to figure out, but yeah. Yeah, uh, and some orbital mechanics, mathematics too. Uh, no, not really. I just uh, I, I take the uh, the declination angle of the sun and the moon from that day, and I just uh, uh, plug them in. I don't do much. Work. Yeah, that's 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 orbital mechanics is finding the declination and where it's going to fall. Yes. Yeah, but <laughs> you sound like the man. I can calculate the declination angle of the sun. But with yep. eclipse, it should be accurate by one of a hundred degree. Gentlemen, if Sorry. I may take this opportunity. I've been listening on and off. I'd like to say thanks to Sanji. I got to go. Yes, yes. Good night, everybody. Thank, hey, thanks for Good night, um, good, good conversation. See you, Montreal. Talk to you, Montreal. Montreal. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Um, Speak to you soon, Montreal. Yeah, anybody else? Because I'm going to get out of here. Um, I just. For, go ahead. Go ahead. I'd just like to say thank you for everyone giving their time. That's uh, most mm -hmm. enjoyable. Thank you, Sean, for inviting yeah, absolutely. me. That's been, absolutely. That's been a great evening. Yep. Thank you for being here, sir. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> uh, Blue, you got anything coming up? Or are you still on, in, the, in the workings? I'm still uh, still working on some stuff. We, uh, I suppose, need to address some of Travis's nonsense. <laughs> Best of luck but, with that. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, that may that may take a minute. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I personally, I'm gonna take a, a break from the Travis. Or I'm no, I'm gonna take a break from the Ether Band. That's what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna reassess my <laughs> my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So what you're saying is you're quitting the band. I am quitting the band. <laughs> yeah, right. you've left the Ether Van because you don't want to be in the Ether Band exactly. with the Ether Bunny. That's ether right. Band plays Metallica. I, I like Travis. Oh, I hate the Ether Band. <laughs> it, it is ultimately the reason that we had that fight. But we're better now, I think. Yeah. I haven't well, checked this yet. We got to either uh, ignore him or kill him. One of the two. <laughs> I agree. Both <laughs> options would work. Yeah, both options would work, Blue. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's who wants to take the, you know, who's taking the fall, but, you know, the Ether Band's got to go. I mean, I got, I got, I got a tombstone for the, the Ether Band, 
You guys can do the rest. That's not on me. You did good. You do a, yeah. Can't you do a satirical band called the Ether Band? Well, there already Which... is a band called the Ether Band. They come out of Poland. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah, out of, uh, <laughs> Chess, Chesapeake <laughs> Bay or what is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it only happens at Chesapeake. <laughs> yeah, but every night, by the way. All right, I gotta get out of here. Um, I think that's oh. ever, anybody. If you got something to say, let me know. Um, you guys can stay here. Um, anyone who's trying to get in, too bad. I'm, I'm, I when I click off that thing, I'm not like Jose. I don't stick around. I just click off and I'm gone. <laughs> You guys can fend for yourself in there. Um, I have a question. What's up? So, um, how many cows starved to death when Matrix was building that ridiculous straw man from 4,000 years ago? I don't know, man, but you stopped me for that. You know, you've been doing that lately, Brian. He has these like, sorry. Little, sorry. really weird short quotes that just make no sense that just pop out of nowhere. At least Channel X is in here. If he says anything about those damn beans or whatever the hell those things are, I'll snap. But I gotta get out of here, guys. Um, I think right. everyone. I got everyone. I got yeah. I got like a two minute rant real quick, and then uh, I'll be out. Thanks again, Sean. I'll be hitting you up on DM, and I do appreciate it, sir. No problem. Take it easy, man. You guys have a good one. All right. <sighs> I I to tell you the truth, I didn't even realize I had done uh, five hours. Uh, yeah. Five hour stream. What the hell is wrong with me? Um, like I said, I actually enjoyed this one. This one was fun. Um, I, I, I don't, no one saw it because I did it on the backside. And the reason why, you know, me and Travis didn't get into it, uh, uh, we were good, I think. Um, but more importantly, I didn't think about that. And I think it's a good example of why blowing up at the, and flying off the handle doesn't work. Um, is, 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 I, I honestly think now. The way Sean put it was perfect. Maybe Travis just doesn't understand it enough. Doesn't understand it. And, and he's not seeing the things we're seeing. He's not understanding why we're saying the things we are. Um, I can tell you now that when you're in that quote-unquote rabbit hole of flat earth and you're trying to figure things out, it's not as clear as you guys are thinking. It's not as clear. Like I know you expect to say this this and this and this is how it works um but it doesn't it doesn't work that way not everyone thinks the same not everyone learns the same um some are a little bit more disingenuous than others but ultimately what it is is it's not about cramming it in someone's brain it's about helping them understand it and the only way that's going to happen is it's a conversation can't argue can't yell can't go back and forth like that it doesn't make any sense it's not going to get anywhere obviously so um I just want to say, you know, uh, thanks to uh, Sean Smith. You guys don't may not notice it, but I mean, he's been really stepping up on a lot of different panels, and I and I, I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, it, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely takes a breather off of me. I, I don't think I would have been able to do the five with, unless you know he was here, because he does. He has been stepping up, so I do appreciate that, Sean. Um, it's definitely seen. Um, uh, what else? I think I had a couple other things I wanted to say. Oh, so you guys noticed. I don't know why Streamlab does it, but Streamlab bot just posts as my as me. So uh, you guys may have seen a couple things like uh, the Amazon link. Uh, it's like a little sponsor link thing. It's like I get like one hundredth of a penny every time someone clicks the link, buys, ships it, Prime, and sends it back and gets it back again. I don't even know how it works. But uh, so if you need Amazon, you see that link, click it. Go there. Go that way. Um. Oh, but. More importantly, and I don't even care about the Amazon because no one even goes to Amazon from here anyway. But this is uh, very, very important. And um, put it in the a bot command and he's going to spit it out. Um, is the website. It's still in the works, but it is at least something you can go to and check out. So uh, go ahead and check that out. And uh, if you see something that needs to be fixed, please let me know so I don't. Uh, F it up. Let me see here. What's going on? Oh, that's why. Um, yeah, but go check that out. Um, I think it's half ass worth going to check it. Oh, I don't even think the link works right now. God damn it. Hang on. Link doesn't work. I gotta kick my bot's ass. Oh, let's go right here. 
Oh, it's in my description, so go there if, it, if the command from the bot didn't work. And we'll see if he wants to. And if he does, I'll back. Yep, that one works. Yep, so I'll put, I, this is me, this is not that damn bot. I'll put that in the chat. And that way you guys will have a link. I'll get rid of this one. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, go check that out. You guys see, if you see, yeah, fix this, fix that. You see this, doesn't look right. Let me know. It's not the best website. It's literally just a place, what, a, one central place I want to be able to have everything, uh, videos, uh, any observations that people come on here with or, you know, show me or I do. But I wanted to have a place for it and where everyone can go, hey, I saw that image, that uh, conversation you guys were having about the Anacapa Island, Islands. Well, I wanted the elevations of it. Boom, you got a place to go. You don't have to shirt through everyone's fucking archive to try to find it. So hopefully that is a helpful uh, thing for and somebody. Um, there'll be more to come. Every day I'm building onto it and I'm learning more about it. So see how long it takes for me to figure it out. But other than that, guys, I'm exhausted. Time for me to get the hell out of here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the new uh, the new uh, intro, new intro, outro. <laughs>